Good morning, everyone! I hope everyone's having a good morning! Welcome on in! Hi, Shondla! First. Well, Shondla, were you first or was I first? Because I feel like maybe I was first. <laughs> I always have this fight with people. People are like, I'm first. I was like, no, I'm first! <laughs> I got here first! Unless you got here an hour ago, I got here first! <laughs> Oh, uh, how you doing? And Schleeves, good morning, welcome on in. And Geva, good morning. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing well today. Uh, let me switch over to here. Hello, welcome on in. It might be a bit dark in here today because it's very dark outside, so I've done my best. But if it's a bit yellowy looking, it's because I've had to put all of my lights on. Not first, I will take second. I'm sorry, Sean, I'm just messing. <laughs> I'm just messing, I promise. Ah, uh, dear. Yeah, no, welcome on in. Oh, again, apologies if it's a little dark today. Solemn, good morning, welcome on in. How you doing? Been up since 7 a.m. and I'm not not happy about it. Glares at the cat. What was the cat doing? What was the cat doing? <laughs> uh, I actually got up a little late today. I got up at like 8, which is uh, a bit later than I'd normally get up. Like, I normally hear Shiny getting up at like 7, half 7, so it's like I normally get up a little early. But today I had a lion and I feel great. <laughs> I, don't, I think maybe I just didn't sleep as well, so having like the extra hour made all of the difference. Um, we are doing more goblins today. The goal is, if we hit 15 today, and then I can make one off stream tomorrow, we can do two on fr a Thursday and finish on Friday. <laughs> that's, that's my current plan. <coughs> I'm doing good. Haven't slept even though it's already 1am. I'm all oh, bless you though. If you need to get some sleep solemn, you pop right off. You're all good. How's the shoulder today? Same as yesterday, to be honest, Sean. Um, if it's still bad tomorrow, I might just ask someone about it because it doesn't feel like it's got any better yet. It's not awful. Like, obviously, I can still move around. It's just, like, annoying, you know? Jelly has a lion. A lion. Yeah. Okay, I see. I see. Uh, I did have a lion. Oh, the clues. Good morning. Welcome on in. Wanted food and cut wouldn't leave me alone. Being petted on the face is cute. If you can clip the cat's claws, I can't and it hurt. Oh. That's the thing, I can't fall asleep, which is the worst. I'm not even tired. What makes me tired? Actually, what does? To be fair, I exhaust myself throughout the day. Um, what does make me tired? To be fair, there's been a lot of- Okay, sorry, I'm gonna- My inner weeb is gonna come out now. Get ready. I've been watching a lot of animes recently, and there's been a few over the last couple years, which have really focused on people that can't sleep at night. And so if you are awake right now, and you happen to have like Crunchyroll or something like that where you can watch anime, there's a few really good. There's Insomniacs After School, that was a good one. Um, Call of the Night, which was really, really good. Um, which are all like, they're all like about people that just can't sleep at night. And I don't know, I feel like it's pretty good. If, if you're awake anyway. <laughs> You can watch watch anime about other people that can't get to sleep. Oh dear, why are you always lying? <laughs> I'm always lying. Grovic, good morning, welcome on in. Life makes me tired, life makes me tired too. Oh, it's good news, I finally got all the stuff on my old computer. But do I know game PC? Oh, heckin', very productive, very nice, what the heck? Cool. I recently, it's been annoying, I've been tired during the day, but I wake up at like 8, uh, 8 p.m. I see, uh, or oh, oh, 8 a.m.? Tired during the day, but wake up. Wait, you wake up at 8? There's no way you wake up at 8 p.m. It's 8 a.m., right? <laughs> I mean, maybe you do. I'm not gonna judge. You wake up whenever works for your schedule. Oh, dear. Hell yeah. That's the same thing I do. She leaves the. My favorite. Uh, my br Oh, my brain properly wakes up at 8 p.m. I see, I see, I see. That's the same thing as I do. So you're tired throughout the day, and then. Oh, it's. You guys, I got some anime for you. Listen. Uh. <laughs> I think, I think Insomniacs After Dark is really nice. If you're interested in photography, it's about people who can't sleep at night for whatever reason. Uh, normally it's like in some form of insomnia. And so they go out at night and do nighttime photography. <laughs> Call of the Night's a bit more of a supernatural take of it, but there's, it's a very, like if you like the like, jazzy vibes, you probably like it. It's a, it's a bit supernatural, but it's kind of fun. Oh dear. Also, <laughs> What was the name of the band that does the opening? Creepy Nuts? <laughs> Good name. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, my favorite night to sit out on the back and enjoy a starry night, yeah. Like, uh, I, I, I think there's something really nice about how quiet it is at night. The only thing, and, and I also like it because there's no sun and the sun do be hurting me. 
So like, kind of enjoy the night to be honest, but I'm also a very sleepy person. So like, for me, a walk around the block in the evening will send me to sleep, whereas obviously that's not the case for everyone else. Oh dear. My brain wakes up at probably 8 p.m. So I'm not going to sleep until like 2 a.m. Yeah. Takes me about an hour after waking up to properly wake up. I'm also that way zero. Yeah, I think uh, I, I can get up pretty quickly. I'm pretty used to forcing myself awake. And I think I've just done it for so long. Like at this point, I am just that person where I just wake up. I will say I am awful for being excited about things. Chroma Court screwed me up last year for my sleep. And we realized that that's what it was. I was just... <laughs> The problem is, I get, I, I, I am a, I'm like, you know, like you have your childish traits that stick with you into adulthood. Mine has been over excitedness. I get very excited about things. And one of the, yeah, like for instance, Chroma Core, every day waking up and getting a new art prompt, I was so excited. I was so excited, in fact, that I was waking up 4 or 5 a.m. every single day, even though I was going to bed at normal times, because I knew at 4 or 5 a.m. they would stream and I could immediately hear what the next prompt was. And it's like, I would get too excited. Even though my alarm wasn't set for then, I would consistently wake up to, so that I could watch it uh, because I was excited. And so for like a whole month, and then it took me a while afterwards to get used to like not doing that again because I was getting hungry at like 4 a.m. Which is fine, but not really. Oh dear. Oh, that anime, good morning. Oh, wait, anime, good morning. And Neptune, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for shouting out Neptune. How was your stream? What did you get up to today? We're just having a little talk about sleeping schedules and, uh, and weird things that screw up our sleeping schedules. Uh, in my case, being overexcited is the big, oh wait, the wrong one. Ignore me, ignore the news noob streamer i've only been streaming for four years nearly <laughs> ignore me uh, just <laughs> there we go we got we got the proper shout out it, it got we got there it took me a minute but we got there ah oh, dear Ye Zomboti, good morning how you doing welcome on in good morning how goes things ah oh, dear welcome raiders yeah welcome on in i hope you're doing well professionalism i am big pro i'm big into professionalism <laughs> Uh, never sleepy. I'm on. Uh, so I'm on behalf, kind of. Uh, he went to sleep. Oh, well, if you need to go off to sleep as well, you're all good. If you need to go get some Z's, I am probably going to be crying all stream as well. Having another, I think we're having a high pollen day here today, and it's also been really windy. So, like, my eyes are just like constant watering. <laughs> oh, dear. It's fine. It just makes me look very emotional. I'm like waking up hungry at 4 a.m. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I was getting really hungry. I was also getting hungry, I think, because I was sleeping less. And like, I don't know how you guys handle it, but the less I sleep, the hungrier I am. And I'm already a hungry person. So <laughs> I don't need to be more hungry. Uh, I'm good, good. It's 4 a.m., but I got a bit of work to do. That's fair. Good luck with your work. I hope it goes well. I hope you get some good sleep at some point. I'm zero. Wait, you're also zero? Oh my God, welcome on in. Another, wait, we have Grobit zero, awkward zero, zero full damage. Oh my God, a little, a little posse of zeros. Hell yeah. <laughs> What do you call a group of zeros? Is it like a posse? I think it'd be a posse. Do you not have allergy medication? I do have allergy medication, but on really high pollen days, it's like, I'll still cry all day. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest though, everyone's different about this sort of thing. I don't mind crying all day as long as my nose never gets blocked and it doesn't. So I live with it. We, we all pick wherever our limits are. I'm like any other pollen stuff, I don't mind. Having a blocked nose, can't stand it. So as long as that's tackled, I don't need any more. <laughs> Fan, welcome on in with the raid. How you doing? It's not pollen. You just, I am. I'm just really happy to see you. Also, waking up and instantly having to get dressed or do pollen stuff stressing me out. That's why I like to wake up early so I can get little stuff out of the way. That's fair. I am. I think the opposite of you, Robert. In that case, because I like. I feel stressed out if I haven't done everything immediately. So I'm like, I'm the opposite. I'll get up and do everything and then do nothing. But I, I think both work, as long as you're ready by whatever time you need, right? Also, Leia, welcome on in. Good morning, 70 zeros. And Maggie, thank you for the lurk on the YouTube. Thank you, thank you. A, li a liability of zeros. <laughs> uh, and Vita Mono, I mean, got debuted. Oh, was it good? Did everything go well? That is tiring. I remember the first time I watched a model that I made debut and I was like, because you're so worried something's gonna go wrong or you're gonna have missed something and it's like, you never, your nose never gets blocked doing allergies. Not anymore, not anymore. Is it Birch's grass? I'm a grass lady. Grass, grass allergies is the one that gets me. Um, <laughs> so it's like if the neighbor mows the lawn well, 
<laughs> then again, I say that I also mow the lawn. So I wish I had your nose when I got the middle. I go into allergies. I have the biggest case of hay fever for like a week. This is what I mean, right? It's like, I don't mind if my eyes are crying for a week. If my nose isn't blocked, I'm happy because having my nose blocked means I do nothing. I am the most unproductive person in the world because I cannot work with a blocked nose. Ah, oh dear. I could work through pretty much anything else, but not blocked nose. Oh, well, everything went well. I'm glad it looked amazing. Second debut. I've had of a model made by me. Ooh! Jelly has to say grass lady to get past Twitch TOS. I do. I'm a grass lady. <laughs> I get some things flown out accidentally by chatter, so I fix those tonight. That's fair. Oh, dear. Yeah, I'm always, always a little anxious when I watch. I'm obviously, like, not bad anxious. I just want things to go well, you know? And so that's how it goes. George! How goes the trip? How are you doing? George has been on a trip, um... They went to Japan. Uh, I can't remember if you were going somewhere else after Japan, but I know you at least went to Japan. How was it? I hope it was good. I hope you got to see everything you wanted to see. Oh no, thank you for the hydrate. I will hydrate. Mm. Also for the Raiders, for Lord Neptune, good morning, welcome on in. My name is Jelly. I'm actually a cosplayer based in the UK, but at the moment we're working on goblins. So we're drawing lots and lots of goblins, we're drawing the OCs of people in the community as goblins, and we're chipping away. We had 20 submitted, which is where we've like capped it because that's quite a lot. Uh, and we've got through 13. So hopefully by the end of the day, we'll have 15. And by the end of the week, we might be done. And you didn't take me. I went well, thanks. Back home now, but sick. Oh, but if, you know, if you're sick after the holiday, right? That's all right. I mean, I hope you get better soon. But as long as you weren't sick while you were away, so that you could do everything you wanted to do. And thank you for the horn solemn. Where's you have them all? Looks like I only have a clip and a screenshot. Oh, if you pop it in the Discord, Twitch clips normally play via Discord, so we could actually have a look. But uh, it's up up to you, of course. You don't have to. Ah, uh, have you had fun though? I hope you had fun, yeah. That's the main thing, as long as you have some fun. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so you whack it in there and we can, we can hopefully see it. Um, it's, I know my Discord's been a bit funny with it recently. I don't know why it's been blocking like the, the attachments because sometimes days it does and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, life of rigging. Whichever you'd prefer. Whichever you'd prefer. Both work. Ah, uh, dear. Oh, is it okay if I put my no gaming PC? Yeah, that one I would say put in live stream chat because I don't think we have anything specific for gaming PCs. But you can pop that in live stream chat. We can have a look at that too. I've been sleeping more than I ever have. Oh, bless you. Did you pick up something really nasty then? I, again, I hope you feel better soon, genuinely. And I hope you weren't ill while you were on holiday. Yeah, yeah. But I'm glad to hear that you had a good time. Ah. <coughs> it's all very... Oh, God, I'm going to have to mute real quick. Two seconds. Let me hide as well. Sorry about this. I I, I I apologize. Also, though, I will say Zomboti, thank you so much for posting that clip. It has actually just told me why it's not posting them. And the reason apparently it's not posting them. Yeah, it's the same for me. It's because it doesn't trust Twitch and I don't know how to make it trust Twitch. How could I make this trust Twitch? Because it's not I, even mine doesn't trust, trust it, which is why it's not letting me view it via Discord. Like trust Twitch. Yes. Come on, trust it, trust it. Now will you post? Let's see, let's leave it a second and see if that works because I've been trying to get this to work for like a week now and I've not been sure why why it won't show those like uh, like the previews anymore. And I think it's because... No, it's still not doing it. Oh, what the heck? Sorry, unfortunately, so basically anyone can go watch this but unless it's in Discord, I can't capture it which is why I'm trying to make it so that it can work. But it's, it, my Discord is refusing to, to trust Twitch, which is a bit of a problem. It's been doing this for the last week, which makes me think there's been like an update at some point, which means that like, it's not gonna work. I will say I probably won't be able to trouble, if, if fixing it like that doesn't work, 
then I won't be able to troubleshoot it while I'm live. And I, I don't want people to try and do that because that's just going to stress me out. <laughs> Please, oh, let me go back to my own screen as well. Sorry. Yeah, uh, don't let's let's not do that while I'm live. But if anyone has any ideas, they can pop it in the Discord and we'll do that afterwards. Sorry about that, Zomboti. Um, I, I'm, I, I'm really sorry. I don't know why it's been like this the last week. Uh, that being said, anyone can clip it and uh, go go click it and have a look. Oh dear. Got sick I arrived the day home. Might have been from the plane. Mainly coughing, but feeling really low energy. That's fair. Oh dear. Where'd you say to post it? Live stream chat. Live stream chat, solemn. I don't think even Twitch trusts itself. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I'm gonna do something really quick. That's fair. I I again, I'm just gonna ask we don't do... Uh, sorry. I, I don't want to be like a butt, but I've had a bit of a stressful <laughs> and I don't really want to do troubleshooting while I'm live if that's okay I know everyone's trying to help but you know when it's like you know it's gonna just stress you out more <laughs> so I appreciate it um but yeah I think on today well I say I'm stressed out it's been a bit of a rough week but it's mainly just tomorrow that I'm really nervous about <laughs> it's the 10th the day before the 10th there's always that anxiety oh dear hugs jelly ah, it's fine don't worry about it it's nothing terrible it's just on the 10th i have my med day which is when i have to go and get all of my injections <laughs> which means i'm always terrifying <laughs> i feel like i've had the same same schedule for what over a year now it still gets me every single month <laughs> every month when we hit the 10th i'm just like <sighs> That's why we don't stream on the tenth ever, because I'm just I'm just a small ball of like I don't want to have my injections, I don't want to get them, I don't want them, I don't want to go in. <laughs> I'm just being a baby, honestly, I am. But uh, <laughs> I mean, there's something. I'm not speaking of things that haven't changed since childhood. I'm still a baby with injections, and I still get overexcited and wake myself up. Oh dear. Right. I do want to do an art share before we go live today, if that's okay, because there was something I specifically wanted to show. And I do think it's important that I show it because it's, it's, there's stuff happening and it's kind of cool. All right. Let me switch to, it, it, this might look like there's nothing on screen for a second. Bear with it. Yeah. So don't worry about that. It's because Photoshop is, there you go, minimized. Uh, if I then bring up is this the Discord one I want? Yes. This is what I wanted to show. I'm going to read it out loud so that everyone can hear it because that way if people are okay with it, they can answer. Because I don't know if anime is asking for the consent to use the OCs, but if they are, you can go and give them consent so they're happy to use it. Uh, we background done and sketch in there. But a little explanation, since Jelly is making a lot of art for the community, I couldn't let Jelly do it all on their own, so I'm making this giant art piece for the community with all the beans and shared their OCs. With their permission, I'm turning them into MLP. And I've uh, got this so far. I've got a few spots if you want to be added, so let me know. Thank you for the amazing, lovely... Oh, bless you. Yeah, that was just anime being really sweet. So, if you submitted your OC and you're okay with it being used here, make sure you respond to anime. And if your OC didn't get included because we, we didn't have time, put it underneath for anime and like, just make sure that you're tagging them or responding maybe like reply to the to the to the post so that anime knows you're talking to them uh because you can see they've got a lot of spots here it has a lot of different characters um so yes yes uh if if that is you get in here i was gonna tag everyone but then i thought i'm gonna tag them in a couple days and that might be a bit obnoxious are they fighting i think they're having a picnic but i think some of them could be fighting but i think generally they're just having a picnic <laughs> So yes, if you want to be included, make sure you respond to this with a picture of your OC. Uh, and if you are someone who's already submitted your OCs uh, and you want to be in this, make sure you also respond saying, yes, I want to be in this. <laughs> it's going to look grand. It is. Having them all in one picture together will look really, really good. But yeah, I wouldn't want people to miss it. So yes, um, I, I don't know how to specifically get the people who posted OCs to respond to this to be honest. I am just not that that good, but yes, I can at least talk about it on stream, and I wanted to. I have a lovely lurk as well, Solomon. Thank you for popping by. Makes more sense. It's gonna look grand. It is. It's gonna look really, really cool. So yes, if you are, if you have an OC that you didn't get to post before, so you haven't had it turned into a goblin, but you would like to have it turned into a horse. By the way, anime is very, very good at drawing ponies. Um, then yes, get it in here. And if you already have posted uh, in the OC channel and you want to be included in this, make sure you reply to anime so that you, you respond. You can go into, if you click up here, you can, uh, oh, I got loads because I, it's my server. Where's reply? Pin message, reply, there you go. You can reply, be like, 
Uh, yes, please. I would love waffles to be included. Picture is in OC temp channel at top. Waffles. I put waffles or waffles or Charlotte. There you go. There we go. Nice. And then you can go. Yep. And now I've responded. See? Easy. <laughs> people to miss out i just don't want people to miss out on this so yes if you want to be included go go get yourself included go go do it all right the other thing that we were going to look at was in live stream chat and this was my brand new gaming pc oh my god a rainbow fancy bean i love i love them i love them i also have a rainbow fancy bean. original creation original character you're very close gev very close original character um so if, for instance, if someone says, oh, these are my OCs, it's a set of original characters they've made, uh, which could be that they're going to use it in a book or a comic or just generally, like for me, I just make them for art. Orange carrot. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> these are my orange carrots. This looks really, really cool, CJ. Really, really, really cool. CJ? Why do I call it CJ? Solemn! Solemn CJ. You know, this looks really- I also do love rainbow. Ah, uh, dear orange cat behavior. These are my orange cats. They are my orange cats. You have an orange cat. <laughs> nice orange carrot. Yeah, for anyone who's curious, we had a lot of OCs uh, posted. So you can kind of- you can still scroll through all of these. Uh, all of these are still visible. They will- I will be removing this channel, heads up, once the event is over. So probably by the end of the week. So if you want to get in on this and you've- you've not seen this so far, you can still scroll through all of it. I also have my secret one, which is the ones that I picked. Uh, which at this point, actually, you've, you've seen. I don't need this to be secret anymore. But yeah, these are the ones that I picked. I picked one from every person, but we had some people submit multiples. So like Sonny, for instance, had this fella. And then also this fella. Uh, Zomboti had this these fellas. And then also uh, like this fella. So I, I picked one from people just to make sure that it was fair. But yes, we did pick one from everyone. So you can see a lot of different a lot of different OCs in here. It's very hecking cool. Uh, and not all of them I'm using. Like again, Pipia, like we did this one the other day, the pirate. But Pipia also submitted the dragon. So we had two different ones. So good morning. We'll appreciate when Anime Voice has finished the project. I could post a picture of my orange cat. I mean, I wouldn't say no if you wanted to. <gasps> oh, wait, Gina, you're almost halfway there. Oh my God. Look at these little trays. I love all the tools for different crafts. That's one thing I really like. I love seeing people's tool collection like you have these little trays for your diamond stuff i think that's really cool <laughs> it's a small thing but because it's so different to the tools that i use i think it's just really really cool oh dear it's just sick it's just sick oh and also by the way this is coming along very very nicely again this is a commission piece so they are chipping away you will realize that i guess that they are going quite quickly uh the reason they're going quite quickly i think is because it's a commission so they are zooming it's very hecking cool. Very hecking cool. Oh dear. I screen recorded the clip. Also, I have a screenshot and update on the model. Oh, hell yeah. Where have you put it? Where have you put it? Wait, what is this? Oh my god. Why, why are they eating banana? <gasps> oh, okay. Here it is. Yay! Oh my god. Look at the little ears. Wait, more again. Go again. Oh my god. I will say all their overlays and everything are also super cute. Like their their chat box is really, really cute with all the fish. I love the name at the top and like with with spaces for that. It's a really cute setup. But the model looks really good. Like look at the little ear wiggles and the hair. Look at them go and their mouth. I like the laughing at the end. Show the laughing face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The laughing face with the eyebrows going down. That's really nice. Hell yeah. Is this the model? Oh my God. Oh my God, Zomboti, you did such a good job with that. Well hacking done. I know how long these take to make. 
Really hecking impressive. Really, really lovely art as well. Really, really pretty. The layout is just really cute. It is. They're like the professional stream of the French group. Yeah, clearly they've like, my God, they got everything. It was very nice. It came along so damn well. It did. Also, Grim, good morning. Welcome on in. You've joined us for our first art share. Uh, I fixed the nose bridge because many people point out it looked like a horn. The nose bridge looked like a horn? Oh, I see, because it's a little darker. I I see, yeah, from the front. I could see what you mean. I mean, don't get me wrong, would be kind of a cool horn. I will, until you point it out, I didn't notice it. But I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Oh dear. If I ever do stream, I would have a VT, but that's very fair. That's very, very fair. Yeah, the nose lines. Yeah, it's a very solid line. Yeah, I get. I see that. I see that. But it it still looks just so good, though. So I'm, I keep playing the same 10 second clip. I think the bit that I'm really like, okay, I, it's the bit at the end. I'll let it play because it's a short clip. When they're laughing, the way their face moves, I think is really, really like. Look at that. Like that's such a good organic laugh. Oh my god! Whoa! 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 <laughs> Oh my god, Smurry! What the heck? Welcome on in! How was your stream? Sorry, we're doing a, uh, we were just doing our first Discord art share of the day. How was your stream? I hope you had a good one. Let me get you a proper shout out and everything. Oh dear. What were you up to today? Okay, shout out Smoy. Shout out Smoy. All right, who's coming in here? Who's getting in here? Small, welcome on in. And Arcadian and Rue and Nisella, welcome on in. And Shin, uh, well, how was your stream? What did you get up to? I can see you were doing some art. Welcome on in. Uh, for anyone who's new here, hello, hi. My name is Jelly. I am actually a cosplayer based in the UK, but I have a specific interest in like beads, sequins, and embroidery. And recently we've been really exploring em embroidery. Um, and what we're gonna be doing pretty soon is making another in animation purely out of embroidery. It's not our first time. But we're doing a goblin animation, which means we're getting really lots of practice at drawing goblins. So these are all OCs from the community that we've reimagined as goblins. Uh, you should be able to see their names above them if I scroll up. And then we have also started the second page, which has a couple of very sweet beans on it. And then one very, very tall bean who is all the way on their own over here because <laughs> they're very tall. Um, but yes, we've been doing that. Uh, the reason we're doing that is because we're going to be making another animation using the goblins. Uh, but we embroider frame by frame animation and it looks a little, a little something like this. All right, thank you. Part of the country club. <laughs> I feel like I should get my class first, you know. You have to be a part of the country club, Connor, play along. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd love to join the country club. Good. I got my snakeskin boots ready. Four big guys, and they f***ed on my eyes. They eat my ass just like apple pie. If they keep f***ing me like this, I might just die. They pipe my booties till I cry. He lit my f***ing and the f*** start dripping. Took a bite of the f***ing, it tastes like lemon pepper chicken. He throw me up in the air, my booty flipping. What the f*** is this? He f***ed my booty like he's got he pippin'. It should've been me! Him! It's not fair! Yeah. So I made this for the Iron Mouse animation competition. It's the only example I have at the moment of uh, like embroidery made with hand, oh sorry, animation made with hand embroidery. So we want to go pretty hard. Also here are all the frames. Proof, I did embroider it frame by frame. Here are the frames. <laughs> but yes, so we're going to be making another one of those later this month. Um, we have been basically making some goblin OCs for me and i want to get better at drawing goblins so what i asked for from the community i was like hey if anyone has any ocs that you don't mind me turning into goblins uh would you mind showing me and i'll draw them on stream but as a goblin and as you can see we've had a wide variety of ocs submitted um we have had to close submissions because i've got 20 to make <laughs> <laughs> and they do be taking a while. Um, I also do all of my drawing with mouse and keyboard. Again, I'm an embroidery artist, so most of my uh, funding goes towards embroidery, not not this. <laughs> so it takes a while, but we've been getting there, and I really like how they're all looking so far. Uh, also, I should say, Mandis, thank you so much for the follow. That's very kind of you. Rube, welcome on in. How you doing? Do you want to play with brushes? Oh, they're so good. Thank you. Also, you were making eclipse art? And, you know, very on topic. I did see a lot of that when I woke up this morning. Here where I lived, we didn't get like, really, we had like a 2% coverage or something, so, and it was cloudy, so we didn't really get anything. 
But I've seen the pictures online from like in America and you get like really good eclipse. I hope I hope you had a good time with it. And Jake, good morning. All of the goblins. I love the animation, but the heavy echo voice is unintelligible for me. So the reason that's like that, Gev, uh, that's not me. None of none of the audio is me. So the the Iron Mouse animation competition, the what you had to do to enter was animate a clip of Iron Mouse. So when I was there, I, I took a clip of their stream and I animated that. That's why the beeps are in there, that wasn't me. Uh, that's why the uh, the echo is effect because one of their mics is using that echo effect um, and all that kind of stuff. So it was, the competition was specifically to animate a clip from Twitch, which does mean that you, you do get like some scuff. <laughs> because it's a live stream. Uh, I did actually have a few people come into my comments after I posted that being like, I hate that you bleeped it. And I was like, do you? Because I didn't, I didn't touch the audio. <laughs> I, I just did the animation. What the heck? You draw these with a mouse? Yeah, we're mouse and keyboard people. So what we do is, uh, can I get the one we drew yesterday? Let me get a Somne out of, let me pull out Somne. Uh, where's Somne? Give me, give me a Somne. There's a Somne. So what we do is, you can kind of see because the line weight is a bit weird at points, right? We draw the line and then we go back into it and just like fill it out like this over time so that it looks like, oh yeah, I want a little bit more of that in there. All that could do with a little bit of a, there you go. And we, and we do this over everything. So it does mean that it takes a little while, but uh, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it for the effect. And so, <laughs> yep, mouse and keyboard, everything. Ah, uh, the tube set's basically nothing. Oh yeah, we we had like no coverage. I have heard people have been searching my eyes uh, on Google. I guess thought that we're getting superpowers tomorrow. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh dear. That being said, we're not working on Somne today. We did Somne yesterday. Somne is a done bean. Goodbye, Somne. Uh, what we are working on to start with today is, I believe, Powers, who is Jesse on, on Discord. I just got the uh, the Discord name so I can tag people when I finish their things. Um, who is a little, look, a little astronaut fella. So what we did was, again, I'm not really an artist. Or like, I'm, a, I'm an embroidery artist, right? Not like, a, not like a digital artist, really. I'm trying to get better, but it's not where my interests lie. So what we did was... Let me get to the bit where I drew them all. We drew them all first in like a sketchbook. So there's Orti, actually, I think I have Orti on stream right now. So like there's Ortosaurus, we drew them all in like a sketchbook and we have loads of them and all, all of them, they're all in here. They're all in my sketchbook. So we drew them like this and then I took pictures with my phone and then voila, I, I used that as my base. <laughs> Cause otherwise I get lost. <laughs> there we go. Ah, dear. Cute. Is it so Sonne or Somne? It's Somne. And this is not, it's not really their name, but I've been calling them Somne for too long. I posted some progress screenshots on the model because I can finally do that. Hell yeah! Well, in that case, we'll, we'll have that at our next break if that's okay, Zomboti. Ah, dear mans, welcome on in. I'm not really an artist, but when I art, I make sure I nail it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It was a long weekend to wait for the day debut, and it had to be the one... <laughs> debut oh dear we had totality here but clouds the darkness was still very cool made better watching a streamer buddy camped out in my oh quebec canada and they got very emotional and it was really cool for a lot of people it's really important it's like a really big event the goblins are looking good thank you i should say snow and anyone who's popped in with snow if you need to go look after yourself if you need to get a drink go get some food if you need to sleep please do as much as you're super welcome here we are literally just starting stream so we are going to be live for a while um so yes if you need to be going please do as much as you're of course very welcome here uh, i totally get if you need to pop off i'm going to start my timer the next discord art share will be in an hour so you have an hour to get your stuff in now and we are going to actually get some work done because at the speed we're going I think we're gonna finish on Friday. But that does kind of throw me off a little bit because, <laughs> so so, basically, this week, we are we're streaming today, yesterday and today, and then Thursday, Friday. We're not doing a, a horror streams anymore. I need to actually make a proper announcement about that in the Discord, my bad. Uh, just while we're working on the goblin stuff, we're not gonna be doing any of our spooky Thursday streams, just because we have a little too much on our palette and I think I wouldn't enjoy them as much being as busy as we are. So we're going to be taking a little break from those uh, just to get all of the goblins done. And then we're doing our animation. So no, no, no spooky streams for a little bit. However, however, 
Sunday, I can't stream Sunday, but it is my four year anniversary. <laughs> on Sunday. So what I was thinking of, I'm still trying to put together what I actually can do, but Monday might be a little bit of a special stream maybe, because as of Sunday I would have streamed for four years, the 14th of uh, April. That's when I started. So I'm trying to think at the moment and put together what we can do that would be fun, that I would enjoy, but I haven't quite worked it out yet, to be honest. I've just, my head's been full of goblins. So I haven't, I haven't thought too much outside of goblins. All I can think of is goblins right now. All right, there we go. That's the, that's the bit that I needed to do. And then I can go back in with my eraser and fix these up a little bit. And then, oh, not like that. Like so. And then up here. Oh dear. Oh yeah, Vods are very talented artists. Thank you for shouting them out. I highly recommend visiting Totality if it's ever within your means. Yeah, I think in the UK in general, we didn't get it really at all here. Like I think the most we would have got was like 10% if you lived in Ireland. So, so here we didn't really experience it. But if it happens here when we can experience it here, I would definitely give it a go. Just, yeah, I'm not gonna travel to America to see it. It doesn't mean that much to me. But yeah, if it was closer. I had to get the bed and go, fine, small, go get some sleep. Thank you for popping by. And again, thank you for bringing your peeps here. It's very egg and kind of you. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> Come on, lungs. We've just started stream. Do you want a cough sweet already? I don't really want to give you a cough sweet already. I don't think you deserve a cough sweet right now, but I'll have one if I need to. Two seconds. Sorry about this. I'm not sick. <laughs> Hay fever be getting to me, you know? Um, oh no, delicious sweet. What should I do? I, I am a tired mouse. Oh no, no mouse. No, you're fine. Go get some good Z's. It's lovely to see you, but go look after yourself. We'll, we'll have more goblins for when you wake up. <laughs> Fear not. There will be more goblins. Actually, I think I want to start on this side. Yeah, I think this side this side is where I want to go from. All right. So the eyes and the mouth, so the eyes and the nose even, I always do with a slightly thicker brush. Just because I don't really want to go back and thicken them up too much and I know that I want them to stand out. But the rest of everything else, basically, we do with a size 10 and we just work back into it and thicken up the lines over time. This one, I'm actually quite happy with how this looks. I think the little chin is cute, makes them look a little younger. I kind of like that. We don't have too many young beans. Most of them are pretty jaded, so I think having one or two little younger, slightly younger ones is a, is a good vibe. I think I'm gonna put this one at the end next to Goat, because Goat kind of has a space feeling, and this one kind of has a space feeling. So I think, uh, I think that'd be good. Also, once again, apologies, I'm going to be doing this a lot, especially with the bigger lines because drawing with mouse and keyboard is a little janky trying to get like the lines in but it's okay and at some point i will buy a uh, a tablet one day yeah that's pretty cute that's a cute little face me is back also the question if about the art i'm making i did it i did not get one already if they were okay i should add this in the discord too but i have final page for people to ask no you're fine i literally went live anime and i showed the art and i said if you want to be in it make sure that you're letting anime know so don't worry if you go back in the vod like 20 minutes there was a good five minutes where i was like let anime know if you want to be included <laughs> fear not but i have been i have been promoting Oh dear. There we go. The one thing I'm good at is yelling. I'm very good at yelling. You kneel till, till the cows come home, and I will. <laughs> and I will, actually, for a good cause. There you go. Nice. Oh dear. Ah, at least Mother of Dragon's Comet isn't there to see, I guess. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, don't worry, you're already in it. Nice! Hell yeah! We got the time change in my country mood means I, uh, I see your streams earlier, but it does mean I have to be more uh, night time. Night when my boyfriend's asleep. Sob. Aww. No, you're fine. Listen, it happens. I know, like, for instance, I remember, so our first moderator on this channel that wasn't, uh, that wasn't shiny is zero full damage you may see from time to time but i remember the first year we had zero full damage as a as a mod 
I remember when it, we had the time change, they were like, Hey Jelly, I, I don't mean this in a rude way and you can completely remove me as a mod if you like, but the time change means that you're like now on a kind of a silly time for me and I don't know if I'm going to be able to moderate. And I was like, that's yeah, fine, don't worry about it. Oh uh, dear. But yeah, they were... They can only really pop by for half the year because the time change throws it off to the point where, like, they're asleep. <laughs> oh dear. But I'll be honest, I think that's hilarious. We also don't really- we're not like at a size where we have too many problems to be honest with moderation. Like, very very rarely do we have instances of anything like bad happening. It's pretty- it's pretty uncommon. I think also like we don't exactly do anything massively controversial here. Uh, it's just art, crafts, and chats. So I feel like we're not normally a target for that sort of thing. It still happens sometimes, of course it does. I think it's difficult to completely avoid that stuff on Twitch, but it's normally not at a level where it's... Uh... Well, also, to be fair, I've been streaming for a while, so I have quite a bit of experience of handling it. But like, also, yeah, it's normally not at a level where we can't handle it. So we've never really... We've never had to worry. And I'd rather the moderators not feel like they have to be here, to be honest because I am grateful that I have them for help when I do. I don't I don't want them to feel like they have to pop by ever. Here we go. And yeah, we actually reduced the moderation team because I was feeling so, I was feeling bad <laughs> because we have moderators that were doing Boobtober and also uh, moderating my channel and I was like, Jesus Christ, they're doing too much. Cut them off, it's too much work. <laughs> ah, dear. Like I used to sleep and wake up by, uh, uh, they like to say to him at 5 a.m. But now for me, it's like 4 a.m. Ah oh dear, Gobby, get at me too! I just really need my sleep, not you, other, other, other zero. Your time zone and my time zone, I'm pretty sure are the same. <laughs> oh dear, alright, we need, this one's got little bent back ears, they're like, tucked in. So we need to get that in there. And get that up there. I'm just gonna fix this up a little bit because I think some of the ear shape has been a little lost where I've been sketching it. That's okay, but I think something like that would be cute. Yeah, like smooshed up against the side there. <clears throat> ah, excuse me. It's like uh, when when the cough sweet is spicy. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Ah oh, dear, we don't do too much controversial stuff except with the live chat. Oh my god, I was gonna say actually, I need, I might say like pop a little rule in because. I can't access the food channel right now, which, you know, as a joke here and there is fine, but consistently I might I might just be like, hey guys, the food channel is, I appreciate the memes, but I think from now on the food channel is really meant to be for people to celebrate food. And since I can't, I, I just, I really struggle with visuals like that. <laughs> since I cannot actually look at the food channel anymore, uh, it means that I might be missing people's meals and like, Stuff that they've done so I might have to I'm sorry I might have to crack down on the rules speaking of moderating I don't like cracking down on rules but I might have to because otherwise I just can't I can't show that channel on stream anymore <laughs> oh dear it do be like that sometimes I'm sorry I am but but a what do we call it a weak bean a weak bean there we go. Oh, thank you for the egg smash. Oh, thank you for the hydro- and thank you for the save work. You know what? These are all things that I need. Egg smashes and saving of works. Mm. I thought Wales were like 52 years behind. Eh. Eh. Sometimes. <laughs> Not all the time, though. Ah, oh, dear. Nyo, good morning. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Oh, dear. All right. We are, we are currently working on Jesse's. Little fella who is a little astronaut and we are going in and we're just gonna be getting I'm gonna give them the little smiley face because I like the little I, I did it originally and I still like it just a little cheeky like oh, oh, oh. and then get that going around the corner a little bit and get this up a little bit there you go and then like so and there we go And get that a little bit, yeah, like that. And I think I can clean this up a little so it's a bit more. I think that's cute. I think that's cute. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Teresa, good morning. How many goblins have you got left to do? Um, including this one? Seven. <laughs> but by the end of the day, I think we'll only have five left. I've been given permission to do a couple off stream as well, which I do really appreciate because it means that tomorrow I can I can do those. And then we'll have probably after tomorrow four more to do. And at the rate we're going, I think we'll be finished on Friday. If nothing, if nothing dramatic happens, I am actually pretty confident we'll be finished on Friday. Uh, which means that everyone should have their goblins by the weekend. What I might do is, uh, again, I did need to just grab permission from everyone to post their line arts. Um, because it's it's a bit more alterable. Uh, I will post the finish art regardless, but I'm also going to put like a little, hey, are you okay with me posting your line art and having other people specifically color it in and get people to react to that post so that we can have those. And if people don't react to it, then I won't post it. That's just because I'm not going to do that to people. But as long as people do react to it, then I will post it. So yes, we'll finish the comic next week then. I don't know, anyway. This is what I'm saying. Like, we've got a weird week coming up because on Monday, it's, again, we're going to be celebrating four years on Twitch, but I don't know how. And I don't, I mean, I can just work on the comic, but it doesn't really feel like a celebration to do something that I was going to work on anyway. I'm kind of, I'm in a weird place, anime, right? Because I want to celebrate. Uh, you know, Twitch is, the stuff we've done on Twitch is stuff that I'm genuinely really proud of. And so I, I, there's a big part of me that's like, yeah, I, I want to celebrate. Um, but also, what do I actually want to do? I'm really enjoying drawing goblins. <laughs> which, which is not really a celebration when it's the same thing that I've been doing for weeks at this point. So that's where I'm at, anime. There you go, that's where my brain is at right now. I want to celebrate, but the only thing that I can think that I want to do is the project that we were already going to do. And I mean, li listen, I did give myself that project because it was something I wanted to do, so... I don't know. I'm kind of lost, honestly. I'm not exactly sure how to approach this. So, and I I'll be honest, I've been worried about this for a while, and I've just not worked it out. It's been a, it's been a minute. I knew that this was coming up, and I just haven't been able to work it out. I can't do a charity event because we have one coming up very shortly. Uh, I'm just being a little quiet about it because I want to get my final permissions in. But we have a charity event coming up like in about a month um and so i was like i can't really do a charity event for this one because then they'd be too close together and then they can have a direct effect if you do charity events too close you get donation fatigue so i can't do that because that would have been my go-to otherwise like oh celebration let's do a charity event but it's not a good time uh and everything that i want to do is what i'm already doing <laughs> no, no, no. If you have a couple ha eggs handy and throw them at wall, like some of egg fresh is redeemed when you are moved into your new room and everything is sorted that doesn't make a huge mess. <laughs> I don't, I think once the room is sorted, Maggie, I don't think I'll be throwing eggs around it. I think I'll just be rolling around in happiness. Fen, good, oh no, you're fine. Get some good sleep. Take care of yourself. Thank you for popping by. Good night, Fan. Go for cheesecake mukbang. Sit here with our slices too. Do you want to have coming up with an idea? I mean, if you have any ideas, I, I again, my brain is completely empty. I can't say, like, as long as you're okay with me not necessarily 100% doing them, I'm, I'm open. <laughs> I, I mean, let's be honest, I haven't come up with any ideas myself. Normally, I'll either plan for it for a while, which in this case, I, I think actually it's a good sign. Here's the thing, right? I think that this is not a bad thing. Like I have been enjoying myself so much that I have not planned for this event because I've been enjoying everything I do. I don't think that's a bad thing by any means. So it's not like it's a bad thing that I forgot to plan. I've just been having too much fun, uh, which, oh no, what a shame. Been having so much fun, I forgot to plan the event. Um. So I'm not, I'm not upset about that per se, but it would still be nice. Cause again, like out of everything I've done over the last few years, I think Twitch is the one I'm most proud of. All the stuff that we've done on Twitch is what I'm most proud of. I mean, quite literally because of Twitch, I got to speak at parliament uh, and I got to, you know, fight for people similar to me. So it's like, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of what we've been doing on Twitch. Not gonna lie. Uh, someone like me being able to speak at that kind of position is madness. And that only happened because of the stuff that we did here. So I'm I'm very proud of that. And that literally only in the last few months. And like more stuff has happened since then. Tide Pod Challenge? Oh yeah. <laughs> you like goblin like you uh you like party, maybe like a small goblin boy with the O season party outfits. I do kinda like that actually, that'd be really cute. 
Community Tide Pod Chat. No! <laughs> we do a lot of embroidery. We do do a lot of embroidery too. Yeah, that would be kind of cute. Having them in a little party outfit. That would be cute. Yeah, I have an event coming up next month, which is for charity, but I think you're going to really like it. I think you're gonna really like it. I'm very, I'm very, very excited about our charity event next month and what we're doing during it. Oh, thank you for the party. Hell yeah, we do like to party. You're right. We've always liked to party. We've been partying for nearly four years. Jesus, who remembered? Scott, good party. You're right. We've been partying for ages. We like to party. We like to party. We like to party. We like to party. We like, we like to party. We like to party. La Venga Bus is coming, and everybody's jumping. New York to San Francisco, and interstate free disco. The wheels are still are turning, and traffic lights are burning. And if you like a party, come on and move your body. Damn right, we like to party. How could I forget? How could I forget that we love to party? It slips my mind sometimes. Alright, let's get this down to here. I just sorry, I just think this needs to be a little longer. There we go. <laughs> Are you on a stream I, I, I talk about when I talk about streaming my family or someone? I'm like, oh, bless you! Jesus Christ on Bodhi, that's too nice! Too early in the morning, how dare you! <laughs> how you dare you be so sweet! Thank you so much! To be honest, I never... Never thought we'd do half the stuff we did when, when we first went live. I just wanted people to talk to. <laughs> I went live because I was lonely and I was stuck in the house all the time and uh, I never thought I would get to talk to so many people. I have been very, very lucky. Oh, I also, I love <laughs> big, big old wee wee on the top of the head. Oh, if you can't decide, maybe do a little bit of everything. So make like a fun goblin sketch, do a little bit of embroidery, a party hat, do some sewing for a cosplay, you know, sew, switch it up. And you can also make a redeem for chat to make you switch. That does sound nice as well. I think this is, I mean, I don't know if other artists get this, but this is the problem when you're always doing what you want. Like when I think about what do I most want to do on right now? I want to draw goblins. <laughs> or I want to do embroidery. Uh, and then I do embroidery. Or I want to do cosplay. And then I do cosplay for the day. The problem is I'm always doing what I want to do most, which is like, great, don't get me wrong. Wonderful way of doing streaming, would recommend. But uh, also, when it comes to doing like a special event, you're like, oh, but what do you really want to do? And it's like, no, you don't understand. What I really want to do is what I do every single stream. <laughs> so, so like, you know, it's not switching it up at all for a celebration because I'm, I'm already doing it. I don't know what to tell you. I'm always doing what I want to do. Oh dear. I'm gonna actually do like a little curl here as well. I wasn't going to, to be honest, but I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the drive to get a little curl in here. If I do one more of these, and then I do like the end bit can be like a little curl. I think that would be cute. And then I can go one like this, you know, just a little one, not too much bigger than what was there anyway. Also, don't mind it being a little messy right now because ah, we can fix that up. That's not a, that's not a problem. Yeah, something like that, just to kind of match. Yeah, look at that. Look at the cute bean. Okay, I might even go a little bigger than that. You know, I went small. I was worried, but in in reality, I think I actually have a lot more space here than I think. So I could even go to like here, or oh. and then. So actually, let's uh, let's erase this. Yeah, yeah, big brain coming through up in here to there, and then yes, that's nice. Oh yeah, that's what I was that's what I was thinking about. Yes, and then in there. <laughs> okay, actually, let's get this bit a little more curly. So we can we can join this bit with this bit and just be like skadoosh. And then we'll neaten all this up. It's fine, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Yeah, it's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> I love them. Oh dear. Are you biggest rage on Big Oh change anything related to my life? Because I learned a lot with Booptober, got a lot of good stuff out of it. Like kids, community and friends. I feel like I was able to give something back to the world outside of my bubble. I always say for anyone who's feeling like that, like everyone's a bit different right and we all handle stuff differently 
but sometimes like charity when you look back at the achievements you've made over the last year any money you've raised for charity whether it's like five quid or 500 or 5,000, that's what you remember because it feels like you helped somebody else. And so like, I, I'm a very big believer in like, even though charity is something you consistently do for other people that you also can get a lot back from it yourself. Big, I'm a big believer in it. <laughs> Left handed embroidery challenge. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that, Schleaves. That's actually a fair consideration. Yeah, Schleaves, I have a, well, <laughs> Hopefully I'll be fixed soon, but my shoulder's not any better than it was yesterday. We have uh, we've actually done a proper injury where <laughs> it is what it is. But my, my left arm is the one that's injured this time, which is why you're not noticing it much because my right arm feels fine. But my, my left one's actually really bad right now. <laughs> oh dear. A community art piece. Every part fits the puzzle. Oh, that would be kind of nice. Oh no, his poor arm. <laughs> his poor little arm. Unstable, good morning, how you doing? Oh dear. I can do the spicy Korean noodle thing. I mean, I eat those regularly. <laughs> but you're right, I can. If I wanted to feel strong and powerful, I could bring it onto stream and eat it in front of you all and be like, yep, there you go, that's what I eat. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> oh dear. I just start talking at least, interacting more with your community and friends because I. Uh, uh, I learned to be more open and talkative. Well, like, people won't hold being talkative against you for the most part on streaming. If anything, it's always nice to chat with people. If you want to be quiet, you've nothing problem with that. Like, you, you view as you enjoy, but there's definitely, like, how to put it, people won't normally put you down for talk- unless you're saying absolute garbage. Like, you're coming in and you're being like, uh, I don't know, what's a garbage thing to say? Um, you're a butt, and you look like a butt, and your face is a butt. Then, like, unless you're saying stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, people in this community get away with that anyway. <laughs> Charity to get me away from my house. Joke, joke. Unless. <laughs> I mean, streamers do do stuff like that. They'll have like a bar on the bottom of their stream where it's like, you know, and people want to support you to get you out of a bad situation if that's ever the case. I, I see it as a suit and not as bare arm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a little astronaut person. Yeah, you're, he's got his board in your thing as well. What about the reverse of what you're doing? You make a character and we read it. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to put that pressure on everyone within a week, but I do, I do think people are more than welcome to redesign my characters anytime they want. I'd be very interested to see what you do, uh, specifically with, where is he? My favorite bean. Where's my favorite bean? Uh, here he is. If you ever want to redesign this sad, sad bean. <laughs> Please, please. He's so sad. Look at these puppy dog eyes. He needs redesigning. <laughs> please. <laughs> He's so sad. <laughs> yeah, if anyone ever wants to, listen, I'm down. <laughs> He's just my little fella. This is my goblin. Um, bear in mind, I did have my goblin a while ago. For, uh, this is this is my fella. He he's. I'm very attached to him. <laughs> Oh dear, also, he got the Mama Jelly stamp of approval. My mum likes him too, so I love him. <laughs> He's just a sad, sad fella. <laughs> oh dear. Remember this was a long time ago? Oh wait, my friend I just made the model for. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah. Which is really fun, that is really fun. I wanna draw waffles, he looks like he's in so much pain. <laughs> I mean, like, hell yeah! <laughs> you hear that, waffles? You hear that? People are gonna redesign you. No more sad. You can be, you can be happy, waffles now. Yeah, look at this. Oh my god. Yay! Oh, you made him so happy. <laughs> I love him. I love him so much. I'm, I think we do get very attached to our own OCs. I'm very attached to waffles. I like him very much. I love drawing him. I, I love putting him in places. He's just a sad little guy. What's the law behind the flowers? You'll actually get this. This is going to be part of the animation. But when uh, when Charlotte reanimates him as a corpse, he has, his, first of all, his arms fall off. And then it's pretty obvious he has a pretty big hole in his head. So she grabs some of the flowers off the grave and just goes... Pfft. But uh, specifically the flowers that I choose, chose to do, I believe they're called Feverfew, which is a natural home remedy for headaches. <laughs> It's a little, it's just a little meme. 
<laughs> I was like, I wanna, uh, he's got a big old hole in his head. The idea is she just gathers him up and plonks him in and then walks on the way because, oh my God, fluff is falling from the ceiling. Where did this come from? Uh, but in reality, it's fever for you. So it's meant to be good for headaches. <laughs> I don't know if it actually is helping, <laughs> but you know, it's it's it, an effort was made. He needs a hug. He does be needing a hug. He's got hands. Yeah. He's got a little amulet. See? A little amulet, which means that he can use his hands because his real ones fell off. <laughs> he is but a zombie. Uh, I mean, I'm already going to draw Waffles as a pony. I'm really looking forward to seeing Waffles as a pony. Oh, makes me think of traditional tattoos. Yeah. I mean, when I do colour, that is kind of... To be honest, a few of my friends might be tattoo artists and might have been training since I knew them in school, right? So I think when, because you're inspired by the people around you, I have been very inspired by my mates and the art that they create. Uh, and thus, here we are, that's how I shade. <laughs> like they taught me a lot about art and I, although I don't do tattoos, it's like that thing, right? Where it's who's taught you, they taught me. <laughs> oh dear, right. Back to, back to the fella we're currently working on, though. Back to our current fella. Cannot forget the current fella. Uh, go to a doctor, go to a doctor. Yeah, so just put fever fuel inside your head. Oh, dear. Like the shading. No, no, you are right. And it wouldn't surprise me if that was the case because of the people that I learned from. Like, not at all. Wouldn't surprise me. You have to work, Maggie. Good luck with work. I hope it goes well. I love zombies. I love zombies. <gasps> George! Oh, but for 39 months, Jesus Christ, George, does it feel like 39 months to you? Because it does not feel like 39 months to me. I feel like I met you last year, maybe. <laughs> Why, Twitch? You cut, like, time's going too quickly. Like, God, I'm not ready. Thank you so much for the 39 months, George. That's a heckin' long time. A very long time. It does not feel like 39 months. <laughs> Oh dear, what do I want to draw? Can you, do you do ever, you, you've got like your new things, right? Grab it. A year? Thank you for the milk. You know, you. I didn't say this the other day, but you guys have been spamming Welsh milk in my channel so much that I, the other day, saw, like when we were driving along, saw a roadwork sign, which said 400, like roadworks for 400 yards in Welsh. But the Welsh for yards is very similar to the Welsh for milk. <laughs> And because I've seen so much milk uh, in my channel, I turned to Shiny and was like, is there like an ice cream place around here? What do you mean 400 milks? <laughs> and it's your fault. And I blame you that I, I live in Wales. I can't afford to be reading things incorrectly. <laughs> oh, dear. no. Roadworks are 400 yards. Not roadworks with 400 milk. It is similar though. It's very similar. I think it's like one letter different. Oh dear. Uh, my zombie, uh, my zombie goblin blade also has an amulet. Hell yeah. Good, good taste. It's good taste. <laughs> oh dear. They got milk. They got so much milk. I don't think so, right? No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I'm sure not. Cause normally I get a little an uh, announcement if that's the case. Aha. We were actually talking about that yesterday because I find that's really helpful because I don't notice otherwise. I need I need someone to be like, Jelly, Jelly, it's happening. Jelly, you need to you need to say something about it. And meanwhile I'm just here like goblins? What if what if another what if we did another goblin? What about that? What, 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 what about that? We, we feel we feel good about that? Alright, I need to go out and then down. Oh dear. And then in here. And then the next one would be the curl, which I've kind of, I think what I might do, I think I might do like straight into there, but then have like a little 3D bit here. So I'll just draw this on a sec, put layer and just have it like here and just have it pop around the corner as if it's been like almost slicked down. But I do think that would kind of make sense anyway for uh, for someone who's in space. They need probably gravity, weird things, slick your hair down, you know? And then what I can do is erase this. It kind of looks like the inside of the ear. Ah, oh, you know what? I, I'll do that. Sure, sure. Sure, brain. That's what you want? That's what I'll do. I'll just make this little hairpiece cover the inside of the ear. And then we don't have to worry about it. There we go. And then... 
Like that. Nice. I shouldn't look too busy then, like they're fighting. Yeah, I think that's cute. I think cute bean. Hell yeah, goblins, goblins. No, gonna get some rest with all dinner. No, George, thank you so much. And Robert, thank you so much. It's very heckin' kind of you. Thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, dear, they've exceeded 400 gallons. They're like, please, there's so much milk on the roads. We've had to do roadworks. Come on, guys. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear, it's one of those weird things with language that you don't notice. If it's your first language, I don't feel like you notice so much if one word is similar to another word, because, like, of course they are. Loads of words are similar. But when you're learning a second language, suddenly I feel like I've noticed. I'm like, oh, yeah, that, that word's really similar to that. And it keeps throwing me off because I don't expect that. There. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I've never, I've not, I don't get that with like English per se because I'm used to, I'm used to things looking similar in English. I'm not used to it in Welsh yet. I'm still learning. There we go. And then uh, let's have a go up a little bit more. How did I, how did I do this? Up one, okay, up one and then around two. Got you. Thank you. Highest me. There you go. And then. Like that. And then like that. And then. Oh, did I draw that? No, I didn't. Okay. And then. Like this. And then like. This. Nice. I think that should look pretty cute. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little bit. So like, this is just so much milk in the world. Wait, who uses yards? We do. <laughs> four hundred yards is like four hundred uh, half, half, half. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly because I've only seen it written down half. But half, 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 half. <laughs> you get me. It's a bit of a tricky one. Oh dear. Bongo, welcome on in. How you doing? Welcome to another day of goblins. We finished the two goblins from yesterday. Uh, they're very zoomed out. Here's, here's the two yesterday's goblins. We had Grey Mouse and Somne. Grey Mouse is very small. <laughs> Grey Mouse is a very small bean. But Somne is also done. So we got those two. And right now we're working on Jessie's, which is kind of like a little vampire-esque, but not quite. I learned second language and I learned words from the first and there's so many words that English have that belong to my native language which is really really cool! I mean, um, what was I gonna say? In Welsh there's a lot of very very similarity ones just because like any any older words will likely have like a full Welsh translation but newer words they kind of just take the English the Welsh alphabet is different to the English alphabet so they'll just adjust the word so that it fits within the Welsh alphabet but it's like you'll have bus is bus you know, it's not that dissimilar. So there's a lot of words you can pick up quite quickly just because if it's a more modern, like buses weren't around 300 years ago. If it's a more similar word, or like, sorry, a more, a more recent word, uh, then it will likely have like the English, like bus, bus. <laughs> as long, they just might have to alter it to fit it within the alphabet because the alphabet is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a, there's a lot of stuff which you can pick up really, really quickly because as long as you know one language, because it's not that dissimilar. Oh dear. Which is nice though, to be fair. I think that's really good confidence building stuff. Uh, yeah, I personally at least I find that to be really good confidence building stuff. Just being like, because that was one thing that Shiny, not so much because we don't go out as much anymore, but like when we used to go out, Shiny would point at things and be like, what do you think that is? And even if you don't know what the word is, if it's a more modern word, translate how it'd be in the Welsh alphabet and you can kind of work it out, even if you actually have no idea, which is really nice. Bus is bus. No. <laughs> no. God damn it. An ultra bus. Exactly. I remember Jenny didn't know what bus was. Yeah, but that's a different kind of bus. I'm talking about like the public transport bus. Uh... <laughs> Juggernaut is a word that comes on name. But he's named it. Oh, that's really cool. Hell yeah. I mean, yeah, English is pretty... That's the other thing. English does be taking a lot of words. Gets me in words on stream sometimes, where I'm like, that's not an English word. Like, on one words on stream, we had voila. I'm not being funny. Voila? Voila is not not an English word. Or was it words on stream or was it wordle, actually? That might have been wordle. Can't remember. But I remember voila coming up. And, like, I think most... 
English speakers will know what voila means, but it's technically not a, a it's like lingerie, you know? It's not, just because we use it doesn't mean it's us. <laughs> ah, but that's how it is. Not the bus, yeah. I mean, English is mostly German. <laughs> English has its roots in German, French, Latin, yeah. It, it, it steals a lot, takes a lot from other things. We're basically, you know like how in K-pop there'll sometimes be English words or other languages mixed in? That's just the English language. We were just built for K-pop, you know? But... <laughs> oh dear. We've got so many other languages mixed into our language. It's just a big old, a big old mess. Big old mess. There we go. Get that in there. Pop, 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 pop. English stealing a lot? Couldn't believe. Yeah, that doesn't sound like us at all. <laughs> English is K-pop. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, no. I mean, this is all to say, you're trying to learn Welsh. There's a lot of very similar words, which are really good for making you gain confidence in speaking another language, which is nice. Not always, but you know, a lot of the time. With more modern stuff, at least. There we go. What? And in there. Bump. And then I'm just gonna I'm gonna thicken some of these up around the outside, but I do just wanna neaten some of these up on the inside as well. They're a little I, I don't mind them being round, but they're a little they've lost some of their sharpness, you know? I want them to be a little sharper. Like so. There we go. Yeah! Because like a really big one. Uh, Lutz, jungle, pajama, gur, cheetah, bungalow, bandana. Some of the words I read from my noodle language are the same in English, yeah. English literally steals from everywhere. Fish and chips are from Belgium. Tea is Chinese. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh dear. I do think it's interesting though. I do think it's interesting. I don't, obviously, stealing is bad. I don't, I hope I don't have to say stealing is bad, but stealing is bad. You should try not to steal, but uh, it, it it does make things interesting when it comes to languages and stuff like that. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. Please excuse. Please excuse. There we go. Around there. That's nice. That's a nice one there. I like that. And then just get like, oh, that's a bit thick. That's a little thick. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's what I wanted. And then fill that in there. And then skadoosh. And then I think that bit's lost some of its sharpness, so just... Yeah! Yeah! Ah, uh, no, it's a tea is a UK thing. The historical thing should be, you know, in the in the country of history, yeah. <coughs> what is that? It's Britain colonized India for hundreds of years. Literally, that has been the thing. I, I feel like that's the big one, right? When you look online, you're like, British memes in it, bottle of water, Britland. They went and stole every spice in the world, and then they only use salt, if you're lucky. <laughs> oh, dear. What is, what's the other things? Tuesday, in it, bottle of water, all that, all that, all the good stuff. Oh dear. There we go. Nice. Nice. What was that? Oh, hi. Thank you so much for the sub. That's very hacking kind of you. We're drawing uh, followers as goblins. goblins. <laughs> Welcome to Goblin Land, of which there are so many goblins so <laughs> there's so many more more gobbers gobblers goblins goblins <laughs> oh dear thank you thank you oh right let's get the ear in the ear's looking a little bit meh over here meh meh i will say actually to any ta people that use tablets how do you move around the drawing? Because like with mouse and keyboard, you can like scroll the mouse wheel and it scrolls up and down. If you don't have the mouse wheel to scroll, how do you how do you move around your canvas? I don't understand. <laughs> Me quizzing all of the all of the actual artists in this community. I don't understand how you move. How do you move? 
Because for mouse and keyboard, it's super easy, right? You just take the scroll wheel and you're like, dun, 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 and then you've moved around. But how do you, I don't understand how you do that. If you don't have a scroll wheel, I do see chat moving. Have I said something bad? <laughs> Take a shower, have a nice shower. I might have spice, spice was a luxury thing, no wonder people didn't use it. Yeah. Well, also I think we were having other problems at the time <laughs> when it comes to food preservation and stuff. <laughs> oh, the, the bottle on the left of the tool and you drag, oh, you drag. I click on the little hand tool on tablets and you, okay, okay. Oh yeah, on mobile you just scroll. Yeah, like with uh, with this one, I just, you know, scroll with that. And I just, I don't know, that's nice and easy. Uh, I guess I do have to like manually go in for the zoom though, but like for going up and down at least, I can use the the mouse. Oh, uh, I guess you have that covered then. You're a mobile animator? Sick. Hell yeah. I am an embroidery artist. I don't really do a whole lot of other things, but I'm trying to dip my toes into animation more. Uh, with using embroidery because that's what I enjoy. I love embroidery. I want to I want to incorporate embroidery because it's something I love and I like sharing with people. So I'm dipping my toes into animation more, but I am doing it within my comfort zone, which is embroidery. <laughs> but it's fun and I enjoy it and we're going to make another one and I'm looking forward to that. It's just a nice little challenge, isn't it? There we go. Get that little hair in there. Get a little hair in there. Okay, that ear should look a little normaler. Normaler now. Yeah, a little normaler. Wondering why no sound, but I had headphones in. Oh dear. Oh yeah, pal, this should be your one. I like arson. Nice. Not like serious arson, but like light arson. Mobile animator? You run while animating? Is that even po <laughs> Oh my god, I wish. I wish. No way. Absolutely not. <laughs> That's too much. No, I think they mean I think they mean on a mobile phone. Which to be fair, like I I am I, excuse me, I'm just being a boomer because I'm like you can do things on your mobile phones like that, but like yeah, mobile phones are a lot better than they used to be and they can do a lot more and they can handle a lot more. They they really are just tiny computers. But oh my god. It doesn't feel like that to me though. And it's it still freaks me out a little bit the things that people can do on their mobile phones. But I guess that's just me getting old and being like, what the heck are you youngins doing with your mobiles? Your tiny computers? But listen, I think it's cool. Just because I don't I do not do it myself doesn't mean I don't think it's cool. It's cool that people can do that. Oh, duh. There you go. Get that in there. And... Get that. Oh, no. Nope, don't like that one actually. Not nearly pointy enough. No, nope, there you go. <laughs> yeah, and then we can just stick this up into there. Like a really nice thick line on that one. And then... Oop. Go, and in there. And then, oh, no, not like that. That's that's too, too going into it. There you go, more like that. There we are. And then just make sure those bits inside that are a little messy look a little nicer. And then pick that up there. Okay, I think I think this is alright. Ah, oh, dear. Leopard coin is the only animation I can app of, and it's uh, sad to use. Oh, is it? Transit from my stream is animated on my phone. Whoa. Look, see? That's the future right there. Anime is the future. I cannot. Not yet. Maybe one day though. You know what? I say I cannot. I have not even given it a try. So, I cannot now, but maybe one day. This darn use with their avocados and their animus. <laughs> I always love the be animated food. I do, but I'm not strong enough to animate on phones. People who do, not a computer, have my respect. Oh yeah, 100%. Phone must be hard. Struggle just to get my letters right typing. I can't, yeah. Yeah. I think you get used to it though, I'm assuming, right? Like, whatever, whatever you do would become your normal, and then if it's your normal, you're not going to feel like you're doing anything too difficult, right? So if, uh, that's my assumption, at least. But again, I haven't- I have- cannot say that I have done it, and it does sound hard. There we go. Alright, let's get these a little more pointy, shall we? There we go. 
That looks nice. That looks nice. Also, just get that cut off there so I can come back wherever I like on that one. How is this looking? Yeah, it looks cute. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Looks really cute. <laughs> we just have to thicken up the hair a little bit and get some eyeballs in. And I, I've been waiting a really long time to put the eyeballs in. I've done this on all of them recently. I just keep forgetting, honestly. Like, oh yeah, you know what needs to be thickened up? Everything else. So we'll come back for the eyeballs. And it means every time I do the... Oh, let me double check. It looks kind of terrifying because it doesn't have eyeballs. There we go. And get that in there. Get that a little pointier. And then we'll just... I'll use my eraser to make that nice and sharp later. And then... Oh, actually, no, I'll do it right now, because otherwise I'll forget, won't I? Let's do that now. Let's do that while I remember. Go. And then just... Oh, not quite like that. Not quite like that. Uh, a bit too much, maybe. Try that again. Try that again. I wasn't like completely off, but I wasn't quite there either. I think it just needs to be a little sharp because it's the first one. It's just a little one. It's just a little guy. Ah, dear, I got thick sideburns. I'm amazed at how you uh, didn't get a mustachio goblin. Well, I guess it's because people people were like submitting the OCs they love, right? People were OC, uh, submitting things that they really cared about. It wasn't so much like, oh, what does Jelly want to draw? Which it's more like, what what you know, what do I love? And that's what I wanted. I wanted people to submit OCs that they loved, that they were passionate about, and that I could do. Because the thing is, if someone submitted an OC and was like, oh, don't really care about them, they're just like, whatever. I Like, what? where's my motivation as an artist to try and do a good job for them, right? I wanted I wanted pieces that, you know, people, people really cared about so that I could do my very, very best to make them look as cool as possible. And, I, you know, I didn't want to put too many rules or boundaries in place, which is why we had people enter with just text or with their initial sketch ideas, but nothing too concrete. Because, again, this is meant to be a challenge. This is meant to be forcing me to come up with rules for sorting out my goblins going forwards. And I would say that it has done a really good job of that. Like, I feel a lot more confident when it comes to approaching goblins at this stage because I kind of, like, you can kind of tell, I think, that I've sped up because I feel more confident, but I kind of know what design principles I want to put in place when it comes to redesigning things as goblins. And I'm getting pretty quick at it, to be honest, because I'm doing it a lot. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really, really happy. As far as a little, a little experiment goes, it's been really, really nice. We've got to make art for the community, which I don't do very often. Uh, I, I'm still kind of growing confidence as an artist, to be honest. So like, it's not something I normally offer <laughs> because I'd be a bit anxious offering it. But um, no, no, it's been really, really nice actually. Uh, and cute. I like, I like, I like the big, the big old hair. All right. And then it's important with this one that they're looking down because I want them to be looking at the bird. So. Let's remove that really quickly. I think the other eye needs to be just a little bigger. Yeah, there we go. Cute. They need eyebrows still, but cute. Ah, dear. Good nail the metal animation you're drawing on hard mode right now. I, I'm not. I, I, <laughs> I'm not drawing on hard mode. I, I think this is this is nice and easy, and I, there's, it's it's fine. It's, I've not, I've not come across any issues with it. Ah oh, dear, mustachio man is not loved. I'll make a quick mustachio man for Discord art shit. Oh bless you. I mean, actually, to be fair, Sean, while while my my goblin things are closed right now because we've had plenty, anime is about to do a collective art piece of everyone's OCs that permits it. Again, if you submitted an OC and you want to be included in an anime's piece, please go into the art channel and just let them know that you're okay with it and all that kind of thing so they can include you. But um, yeah, anime is about to do a really, really big art piece with a lot of the OCs that were included here. But if, if you have an OC that wasn't included in this and you wanted it to be included, they said just, you know, send them the picture and they'll do their best to include them. So, if you, Sean, missed out on this one, but still wanted to have an OC redrawn or reimagined, might I suggest having a little look in the art channel in the Discord, seeing what anime is doing, 
and seeing if you'd like that there. Especially if you're planning to draw them anyway. It's just, it's just an idea, you definitely don't have to. But if you wanted to, you know? Okay, we haven't done any eye wrinkles and I do think he needs a couple. But I think for a start, looking very cute. Ah oh dear, yee, yee! All right, let's get this all together because that all looks good and I like it. I'm just going to get some little, uh, a couple little wrinkles in because they're goblins. They need to have a little something something. I can't leave them without anything. So let's uh, let's do the ones that go around the eyes here. And then I'll, I'll cut them down a little bit so they're not too big. There we go. Oh dear. I would love to include Jelly, but I don't have any lovable OCs and I don't want them to uh, overwork themselves. I love whatever anime is doing super suit. I love the fact that I'm accepted in this week's video. Oh, bless you! I'm sure, well, to be honest, first of all, you can't stop anime overworking themselves. Have you met anime? Um, whatever you do, <laughs> anime is always working on like 10 projects at once. I'm sorry, anime, I am gonna out you. <laughs> out, of, out of everyone in this community, there's a few people who I'm like, yeah, you're not gonna stop them. Zomboti is another one where I'm like, you know, people that, that create a ridiculous amount of art or always have a ridiculous amount of projects. There's anime, Zomboti. We're speaking specifically uh, cross-stitch sleeves. <laughs> uh, most of the cosplayers in the community are somewhat masochistic when it comes to the projects they take on and how many they take on. Uh, so it's no, I don't even need to name them individually. They know who they are. <laughs> I feel called out to what you are! <laughs> oh, what do you mean do love of OCs? Give me! Give me! Give me! They told you. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sorry. There's no helping it. Everyone's a bit of a workaholic here from the sounds of it. People don't think they're workaholics. They're like, oh, I only did like a little tiny thing today. And then you look at what they did and you're like, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? How dare you? You only did a little tiny thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is it? And then it's like Picasso. Like it's, it's like up in an art gallery somewhere in France, you know? What the heck? There we go. All right, how do we feel about these? Uh, maybe move them a little bit. I, I, do, I do want them, I just think maybe a little more. There, there you go. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. There just needs to be a little something else going on because otherwise, I, I, I don't want to make them look old, but I also don't want them to look unmarked, if that makes sense. I want them to have some markings because that's kind of what makes the goblins, you know, goblins. They're like, Oh, they're slightly messy creatures. Oh my god! It's all booty! Burp, burp. <laughs> thank you so much for the three months! What the heck? Thank you, thank you! That's very heckin' kind of you. I was about to draw Mario. Is I think Mario could be your original OC, and I wouldn't tell anyone. Thank you so much, Zomboti. Very heckin' kind of you. What the heckins? <laughs> Oh dear, Mustachio Man, a jelly Mario. That's the cutest bark bark I have had. Bark bark. <laughs> there we go. I love, I love them. They need their helmet. But I, I think, oh, blushing. Did I want to have them blushing? If I'm going to have the, oh wait, I haven't done their hair either. Should we try? I haven't actually tried doing a blush on anyone. So maybe this is a, this is a good opportunity. I wanted them to just look really happy about their little bird friend, you know? And I'm gonna draw it by hand because I always draw them by hand. But, uh... Ooh. I'll probably erase the ones that have gone around the eye just so that it doesn't look a bit odd, but... I put them too close together can't tell. I also don't know what colour a goblin would even blush. I'm not even sure. Uh, go a little larger than this. Donk. Like, is that too much? I think that is too much, isn't it? Like, uh, actually, can I cheat? <laughs> Two seconds. If I do this? Oh no, that doesn't work. I... 
Nah, it doesn't work. It's too big. That being said, I think that spacing is better. If I... Hmm... <laughs> I think the spacing is better. I think I put them too close together. That's fine. I can learn from my mistake. They were too close together. We'll try again. Space them out a bit further because I just have a habit of drawing things really close. That's not me. Like this more. And then... On this side, just do the same thing, which is one. And then two. I don't know if I like the blushing yet, but we'll give it a go. Because worse comes to worse. I just deleted again. That's okay. Hmm. I think what I might do actually. Ooh, a thought. What if I erase it from one side? And I just copy and paste one to the other. That might that might do it. Hmm. Purple blush? That would be quite cute. A little purple blush. <laughs> hey, Jenny Mario. I saw when the road train was coming over, but just I mean, oh, I just notified you. Oh my god, that's like an hour delay. Jesus. Ah, dear. I guess I'll include you. Give me your favorite colors and hairstyle. Like, oh, that would be really good. Even Mario doesn't count as original. The irony of making Luigi scared of everything to make him different and accidentally give him a personality. Well, they did that through Mario. <laughs> yeah, I will say Mario is very. Uh, well, I, I, I don't know. He doesn't really do very much. Luigi's kind of interesting. Yeah, like you said, like he's afraid. He I he does things. He goes to mansions and clears ghosts. I will say I am not Oh wait, actually I I needed it the other way around. I can't say that I am the most knowledgeable about Mario games in general, uh but I do know that Luigi does things in them. And I don't know if Mario does. <laughs> All right. Do we like goblin blush? Do we like goblin blush? The question for today. If we don't like it, that's fine. We don't have to have goblin blush. But we could have goblin blush if we wanted to. Do we like goblin blush? Uh, I think this one's a little... Higher, maybe? And then... Mm. I kind of like it. It's something a little different. I do think it kind of makes them look extra special happy. Hmm. It's tricky, isn't it? Design choices. Tricky. But he has to do harder dance. He's a better jumper than Mario. True. I don't know if Mario is anyone's favorite car ca character from the Mario series. I I am not. Yeah. I'm an amateur like this. I'm never taking too much. Oh. Oh yeah. You know what? We're gonna keep little blushy fella. We still need to draw the hair anyway. But we're keeping blushy fella. He's just a little blushy fella. I like him. He's just a happy to be here. And then we just need to sort out the hair. Which, ah, uh, here we go. Here we go again. That's all right. We can do this. I believe. <laughs> a horn. By any chance? Is it my break time? Oh, I'm getting a feeling. A distinct feeling. It might be. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. I'll just keep going. I'm sure no one would mind that. No one ever minds. I'll just keep going. <laughs> Oh dear. Listen, we all have our faults. Mine are, I just really don't like taking breaks. Just really like, just keep going. Work forever, you know? Uh, actually what I might do. Yeah, like that, I think. Maybe a bit neater than that, but you get the idea. You get the vibes. Like that, and then like that. And then I just need to erase a little bit. Oh, big. A little bit around there. 
Same. I just making sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Break time. Take your time and redeem me anytime. Ah, doing this truly amazing. Also, save. True. I can't redeem it until two minutes. No, you're right. I should save. You're shit. You're right. I mind. The only thing is, you're an obligated by timer. I know. Okay. Well, this is where we got to. This is where we're at. I like them. They are. They're a little friend. They're a little friend-shaped bean, and I like them. We still have a lot to do, because of course they have their whole body and also their hair. However, for a start, I like it. I'm pretty happy with this fellow, actually. Bye! Good morning! Welcome on in! How are you doing? We're actually just about to do a Discord art share, because uh, it, my timer has run down again. Just make me a mask guy. Don't push yourself too much. Uh, just a guy with the smiley mask who wants to give happiness a little emote. Oh dear, he's so cute. He is. I'm, I want to get the, the, the big thing, like the thing around the head soon, but I I am pretty pleased with he, uh, the, little, the little hair thing and the little teeth. He just looks so happy. <laughs> I like him a lot. Also, Pi, good morning. Welcome on in. Right, let's have a little look at Discord and see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on. All right, so we've got some stuff in the art. Um, there we go. Let's let's go get this over here so you can all see as well because right now I'm hoarding it, I'm hoarding all of the Discord arts to myself. So Zomboti's got some stuff they're working on. Oh, is okay. Listen, I see the shape of the flag. Is this for Pride Month by any chance? <laughs> is this is this a little Pride thing? Are we gonna see this blur burst into rainbow? Blurst burst into rainbow. Oh dear, the little antlers and the sparkle and the big old. I love big chubby cheeks like this, like the boof. <laughs> I like them very much. Oh, the little feet, very hecking cute. Oh, and a full fairy. Oh my god, fairies difficult because they they obviously pose in a lot of very unusual ways that humans wouldn't normally. Very hecky. Oh, they're such a pretty model as well. Oh my god, not for Pride Month, but it is Pride indeed. It's for a friend section about Twitch. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Fairy with the booba. Yeah. Oh dear. And we've got. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh. Wait. This is. Wait. What is this? Is it Persona? Is this a Persona thing? Or like based on a Persona thing? Maybe. I'm sorry, I am a- I am not always- I, I sometimes recognize things and I sometimes don't. I- it feels like Persona. It feels like a- the like King Frosty guy. Oof, big stretch. Sorry, you can't see me stretching when I am stretching. Oof. Ow. Okay. <laughs> oh, they cute as, yeah. Look at the little shark ghost. Yeah, that's the vibes. Oh, a Persona themed PNG tuber. You got five to do in total. They're very cute. They're very hecking cute. I love the big smiles. The big hecking smiles. I love them. And then we have, oh, I probably, this is a slow flash, right? Oh, it's very small. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I always have to be a bit careful about flashing images, but I think this is fine. This is really cool. What's this, like a, what is, oh, what's Jacqueline Hyde kind of vibes? But it's Eddie, Eddie Glue Skin. This is another, I'm assuming this is another OC done by Dark Zeus. Dark Zeus, we actually have an OC to draw for them. Um, but you, oh, we've already drawn it, but we have the, to ink it up, yeah. Oh dear. This is very hecking cool. I don't know how I would portray this as a goblin with the two sides, but I do think it's really cool. Hell yeah. Oh dear. And then in rigging, this, she finally out. I can share some of the progress pictures. So this has all had to be very secretive behind the scenes. Uh, because of course they hadn't debuted yet and you don't wanna you don't wanna share someone's debut before they're out. Uh dear. Oh your laptop's dying. If it need if it needs to go have a charge or have a little break, completely understand. Hi, welcome back. We're just doing a Discord art share. So people have just shared some of the art they've been working on at the same time. In this case, this is specifically more rigging work for VTubers. Um oh my god, the socks! We didn't see those! Those are so cute! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so here's a lot of the layers. We saw them with the other hair. This hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they're so cute. Yes, the socks. Oh my god. So do they have multiple hairstyles then? Because you've got, yeah, like the long hair and the and the short hair. I'm assuming. I'm assuming they have like a, a way of changing that. The ears are so cute. The ears are so cute though. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Also, and then we have, yeah, from the, again, specifically more rigging side. This is like the body movement and such like that, which is really, really cool. Um, oh, look at these faces. Look at these faces. 
Aww, I love. Then I finished them, and the next day I saw the clothes in the store. And yes, it's feminine masculine. I see. Got you. The socks are really cute. They are. They're so good. <laughs> I see you beeping in chat here. Oh, dear. <laughs> I see you. Oh, dear. British short and British long hair. Oh, like the cats? Yeah, it could be. Do you know what cat they're based on, or is it just generally like a, a house cat kind of vibe? That's so good. So good. Ba -ba -da -ba. Claps. Sparkles. Stars. Again, I know how much effort goes into these. It's very, very cool. They're just an, they're an orange cat. <laughs> they're just a silly orange cat. That's all they are. Just silly orange. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, finished this one yesterday. Ooh, wait, is, this a, is this a Hell of a Boss OC by any chance? Uh, anime just because the horns are very similar with the this way that scars are going that's really hecking cool well done well hecking done got something very cool smiley for yes is it an imp oc for a friendo very cool hell yeah oh dear that's yeah that looks i mean i i recognized it in seconds so like i think you've done a good job <laughs> very good very good instant recognition there oh dear cool yeah that's really cool it's always lovely to see all of the work that people are doing at the same time. Because a lot of people do do art alongs here. So it's, like, it's nice to see what everyone else is doing. Uh, it kind of does feel in some ways like the way that we did life drawing back in the day. Obviously very different because we're all doing different projects. But like at the end of each hour, we would look at each other's work and we'd have a little zoom around and we'd go back to our own kind of thing. Just to get a vibe and like some inspiration and like refuel a bit. So it kind of, I honestly really like it because it kind of does just feel like what you actually, or like what we actually would do in a life drawing task class, which is just, yeah, pop around, have a look at what everyone else is doing and then feel revigor invigorated. Yes. After a little break. Oh dear. All right. Well, let's get this hair in. This hair will wait for no one, myself included. Although I do like, I do like doing the hair, so I don't mind. I don't mind it not waiting. I like doing this bit. I think it's really fun. It's getting all the lines in, making it look like kind of textured. I will say, I hope this doesn't bother people when it comes to if they are looking to color them in. Um, again, for anyone who's just popping by, uh, these are all OCs from the community. So I've redesigned them as goblins with their permission, of course. But um, these are not my OCs. So like what happens with them is not up to me, right? Because they're not mine. I've just been redesigning them. Uh, so we ha what we're gonna do is we're going to ask in the Discord if people are okay, if anyone wants to color them in and stuff like that, that they can. Obviously it doesn't guarantee that they'll get colored, but because I personally don't have time to color these, um, we're gonna put it to them if, if they like it. But I hope all of my lines don't get in the way of like people coloring it in <laughs> because I do have kind of a dramatic style when it comes to hair, which might make it a little difficult. Well, it's not dramatic. It's not that dramatic, but it's a bit more there. Ah, oh, dear. Uh, cool. And they are really cool. They really liked it as well. I mean, I'm not surprised. It's really good. Ah, uh, did, did somebody say a colour? <laughs> we might have. We might have, Zomboti. Yeah, so basically, when all of the OCs are finished, I'm going to tag everyone in a big group drawing, and I'm going to say, hey, listen, Here's all of the art for all of your OCs. However, if you're okay with me sharing the line art specifically, like the PDF, would you be okay with me sharing it and letting other people color it in and stuff like that? It might not be 100% accurate to your color scheme or your taste. So again, you, and also if you have an OC that's a bit more hidden or secret right now, completely understand if that's not up your alley, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if anyone is okay with it. And if they are, we put it to the community. And if anyone wants to color it in, they can. Uh, again, can't guarantee that anyone will color any of them in, but it's a not nice option considering that I, I won't be able to, because after this project, we have to finish the web comic part of this. Um, actually, have people, how many, does, does anyone remember how many streams we worked on the web comic? Was it just one? just suddenly realized we might have a few people that have no idea what I'm talking about when I say the webcomic bit. Um, basically, because the animation is based on my own OCs, I, I figured it'd be good to have like a little bit of a background so that anyone joining for the first time when we start working on that isn't starting from scratch. But I just realized that because I haven't posted anything, people might not know what 
I'm talking about. All the time. Thank you. Thank you. You better memory than me. I like animating. Hell yeah. Good to do what you like. Ah, oh, dear. Maxine coloring project. You, me, dramatic? Never. Pfft. Me? Drama? Nah, doesn't sound like me. Oh, uh, the beliefs are also timer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I also noticed why my laptop is bad. It has 20 gigabytes left of memory. What have you been saving? Is it is it like VODs? Actually, to be fair, VTubers take up quite a bit of space as well if you've been doing a lot of that. Oh dear. We did seven panels in the first stream or something. No, I'm not sure. I can't remember if we did more than two. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either, honestly. You'd think I would know since I was the one who streamed it, but I, I have no memory. I still have to post that somewhere as well. I had a little look. Kofi had some interesting fee stuff going on, so I'm... I know some people suggested I just post it on Kofi, but because I don't have a Kofi account right now, and because I was a little... a little iffy about a few things I was seeing, uh, I have decided that we're going to just... I'm just gonna upload it as a free webcomic. I'm not a comic artist, and I'm not gonna become a comic artist. Just to be clear, I've also... I've heard stories of web comics being one of the most like intense when it comes to like your weekly workload and stuff and I'll be honest I have a lot of respect for people that can do that but I am not that person I just I love embroidery and stuff too much can I just post it on insta no so anime what I kind of need is a way that people can quickly access it and instagram if you don't have an instagram account you can't view it so I don't want people to have to make an account on anything to view it. That's been a big one. So new. No. I will just put, but like, don't worry. Again, I've looked into it. I've already done the research for this. So I don't actually need any advice at this point because I have in fact been doing some research and making sure that I get it somewhere where everybody can see it. So yes, fear not. When it is posted, you will in fact be able to view it. I make sure of that uh, and yes, I'll be very open and honest that I'm not going to become a comic artist. Uh, I, not just because I'm, I'm a cosplay. <laughs> I'm a cosplayer and I like embroidery, but mainly because yeah, I've heard that it's a very, very... Like, out of all of the jobs, you have to be really, really committed. Like, it's a really hard one, you know, where you can do a lot of work and expect very little back kind of thing. And because I don't necessarily have that passion, I feel like... If you're gonna make a webcomic, you'll be someone who has passion for it. And I don't have a passion. I have a passion for reading them <laughs> and seeing other people's, but I don't I don't think I have the passion for making them, you know? I think that's kind of important if it's going to be like a hard job. Massive respect to everyone who does do it. Like again, if you like goblins and you are interested in goblin comics, Grey Mouse on Twitch, really good example, uh, who we met because of the lovely Sonne. So, there are people making really, really cool goblin themed things and goblin themed webcomics and such. So the, the world doesn't need me to make a goblin themed webcomic. But I do want to make the animation and I do want to do more stuff with the OCs. So, and that I am passionate about. There we go. Whoa. How's this looking, by the way? This is a big old spiral. Hell yeah, it looks great. <laughs> I don't know that. Alrighty, yeah. Now you can just have fun, exactly. Oh dear. I think I, I want to meet more people. I just want to meet more people, actually. I could have. Full stop. I want to meet more people. No, I want to meet more people that do different types of art. I've been in the cosplay sphere for so long, and don't get me wrong, I love cosplay. My feelings upon cosplay have not changed. Not at all. I still absolutely love cosplay, but I really want to meet more artists that do different things with that art. I want to be inspired in new directions. And yeah, web comics is one of those ones where like I do find it very inspirational. It's not something that I'm gonna do myself, but I love seeing people work on it. I love seeing people talk about the stories in their heads that aren't on paper yet and all that kind of thing. And I'll be honest, in the last like year, I wanna say, I've actually followed a few people that do some form of web comic, webtoon, stuff like that. It's really interesting. It's really interesting to hear people's thought processes and why they do things in certain ways and like how far ahead. I'll be honest, people writing stories, it feels like chess. It feels like watching a chess game where people know the moves that they're gonna make like 20 moves in advance. It's really, really cool. <laughs> I don't I don't have the brain for that really, but I think it's really cool watching people that do have the brain for that and uh and can and can do that so many so many moves in advance. 
I think I think it's awesome. I mean, animation is the same, right? Maybe not to the quite the same direction, but it's not dissimilar, right? You know where you're going to be ending up, so you you know what steps you have to take to get there. I don't know. I just think it's really cool. It's again not something my brain is very good at, but I think it's really interesting, and I love I love seeing it. I love watching people go through that process. I love it when people talk through the process. I love it when people are like, oh, this is why I'm doing this and this is why I'm doing this. It's like, oh, yes, tell me, explain to me in detail why you are doing these things. I, I love it. Absolutely eat that up. Um, in some ways, I wish more people do it. I, I, I remember watching someone a while ago. Bless them. They were a very sweet bean, I will say. But they kept apologizing. They were like, oh, I'm sorry, this probably isn't interesting to everyone. And me, a lurker in the background, was like, no, don't stop. It's so interesting. I think it's really cool. But I was not feeling very well, so I didn't say anything, which is my bad. I, I probably should have said something. But yeah, no, I think it's really, really cool. I want to know why you're doing things. <laughs> Give me the explanation. Screw everyone else. I care. Oh, dear. I have started watching. I have actually talked in a few now, actually. For anyone who's new here, they're gonna be like, Jelly, that is not an achievement. Talking in someone else's stream is not an achievement, but I am such a lurker. <laughs> I am I am such a big lurker that uh, I do not really talk in other people's streams at all. Uh, even if they're people that I talk to regularly, like or like one stream I might be really, really chatty and the next stream I might just not talk at all. So I'm a I'm a big a big hecking lurker. But I'm I'm there, I'm taking notes, I'm interested. <laughs> I'm interested. Also, Small Good Ghost, thank you so much for the follow. I feel that same way about art. I make music, but I've been meeting a lot of visual artists and set builders and stuff, and it's like fascinating. Yeah, like I don't need to just see cosplay. Like for the longest time, I've I've been following cosplayers and stuff like that. And again, don't get me wrong, I still love cosplay. I, st I still absolutely adore cosplay. And I don't want this to come across as like, oh, you know, I've gone off. No, I've not gone off it at all. <laughs> <laughs> I I still love it as if not even more than when I first started it. However, I'm just really interested in other people's processes. I want to know the why you do things. I want to know how you do them. I want to know if I can implement them. I'm just I'm just very curious. I'm just really curious and I think it's really cool. I also think the problem with okay, <laughs> very first world problems maybe uh, incoming. But like, when I watch a cosplayer and I see them do something cool, I'm like, I want to do that too. How can I do that? Which is great, but it is not great for my wallet, nor is it great for my general space. But when I watch an anime to do something, something that I would never do myself, I'm still interested in why they would do it and what they're doing. But I don't need to buy the things myself and I don't need to do it myself. I can just, I can stop at just being curious, you know? <laughs> so honestly, if anything, having more people that I follow that aren't just doing the same hobby as me is also really good for my wallet because when I watch cosplayers oh my, I'm like I want this I want this I want this and I want this and how can I get this and how can I start this skill I'm like that's great obviously for inspiration that's wonderful for my wallet it is absolutely awful <laughs> <laughs> I need to watch scrapbooking's been a really big one actually. I really enjoyed watching people do scrapbooking. That's a good one. I like that. The computer goes normal. I hate having to delete stuff. I feel the same. Like deleting stuff, especially when it's like if you've worked on a long time, I get it. It's not fun. Not fun at all. Actually, do I want that there? Or do I want this here? I think I want that there. Yeah, that emphasizes the curl nicely. Okay, okay. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. It had to be somewhere. I think there is good. Where it looks nice nice and curly. Hell yeah. Ah, oh dear. I'm also going to do it for fun, but I have two stories. Well, you're, you're playing the chess game, anime. You have a full story plan. <laughs> uh, do you collect a lot in house too? Not any more power. These days, I, I, I'll be honest, I'm very careful with how much I buy. I used to be much worse. Uh, I grew up somewhere where we didn't have haberdasheries and like so the only way that you could pick stuff up really was second hand and it was very much em 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 emphasized yeah emphasized that when you see something you like you pick it up because you don't know when you'll see it again right but now with online being a much bigger thing and like well if I see something I, I can just pick it up I, I've tried to change how I approach buying stuff and only buy the stuff that I need. 
even if there's stuff that I really, really like, like maybe, you know, treating myself to a small packet of beads every now and again, rather than buying stuff for projects that I've not even started yet. I'll only buy stuff for projects. It's why when I purchased beads the other day, they were all stuff that matched the collector because that's the project I'm working on right now. That way I can still buy things when I see things I like, but I'm not hoarding. And I think, I think that's been like the, I've got to be more careful because otherwise, even if I feel happy and fine, it is effectively hoarding. And I know there's such a thing about hoarding in the craft community where it's like, it's very normal, but I also don't want to cause problems for the people around me. And I don't, I don't want to be, I also, I guess there's a vibe, right? And I don't know, this kind of has helped me a lot with it. If I've got something that I'm never going to use and I have a friend who's interested in trying that thing, I'll just give it to my friend, you know? That way, I still know that it's going to get used by someone, but that someone doesn't have to be me. And that's been that's been a good one. I mean, that's kind of what we did with the beads, right? Although the beads, I can't remember if you were around at the beads, I'm so sorry. But uh, yeah, we, we had like a lot of secondhand beads and I basically packaged them. I packaged them like this, like they were all in little pallets and such, right? And then if you paid for, um, if you paid for, whatchamacallit, the postage, then I would send you the beads. Because I, I couldn't afford postage for everyone. We sent them to like 20 different people. But uh, yes, if, if whatchamacallit, if you paid for the postage, you would get the beads. And that way, I didn't feel bad about giving all the beads away. And also, people got beads. People who maybe normally wouldn't be able to have that. So I thought, you know, that's that's a, I think that's a good way of doing it. That's for me, at least. Then again, that's been newer. I used to be much worse. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I, not enough uh, many followers do to be creative. You could do stuff like this and sell prints and stuff. You think? I don't think I'm good enough yet. I feel like if down the road I, I felt more confident with drawing goblins, then I would be happy to draw goblins for people. But I'm still pretty new. I'm still I'm still feeling that new kind of vibe. I think down the road, maybe. <laughs> maybe once I have a drawing tablet and I'm not f constantly fighting my mouse to be like, please, you drew a line really well just then. Can you draw it again, please? That would be great. Oh, duh. Oh, see? We draw one really good line, but then when it comes to drawing a second good line... Oh! Oh, well that was a good line, actually. <laughs> I just stopped halfway. That was good, I like that one. I like that one. Yeah! Okay. Happy days. I like that. <laughs> we got a line! We got a line! Like a drawing tablet, Flix! Flix, welcome on in! How you doing? Your eye's definitely good enough. I don't think it's good enough yet. <laughs> I appreciate, though. I appreciate the vote of confidence. <laughs> oh, dear. Thank you, thank you. But for now, I'm happy doing this. We are, I am planning again, we're doing a charity event next next month and we will be doing some art stuff there. And that way, I, I'll be honest, that's generally how I feel more confident with stuff. Like, especially if I'm a newer, newer something, is instead of doing like commissions for it, I'll just give it away as like charity art. And that makes me feel good about it. I feel, I feel good about that. <laughs> so we're using charity for selfish reasons again, which is, I don't feel confident about my art to sell it, but what I can do is you pay me, a, you pay the charity a certain amount and I'll make you a goblin. And then no one could be mad because it's for charity. <laughs> you know? Oh dear. That's good. And then get that in there. Oh dear. I missed the beads. Fair enough. The fact that your lines are straight, let alone with the mouse, is really impressive. I mean, people don't think it's good enough. They have the option. That's true. They no. Wait, what was it? What did you say yesterday? We raided into Blackwell and you claimed you were chained to a radiator or something. So do you have the option not to buy it? Because I don't know. I feel like from your own words, you don't have that option. <laughs> oh dear. Or did you sell it to me? I can't remember if you sold it to me or to Blackwell, to be honest. I don't... I know that it was said, but I'm not sure who it was said to. Actually, I don't know why I undid that. That was fine. They were fine. Uh, I was thinking... Uh, this. Could be fixed a little bit. Oh dear, how you doing, Blux? I hope things are going well for you. We are still making many, many a goblin. But I love them. I love them very much. They are they are getting there, and they're looking pretty neat, you know? They're looking pretty, pretty swell. 
Uh, let's, uh... Is that there? Yeah, you go. And then if I do this... <laughs> Look at them go! Look at his little flicks! They're so cute! Oh dear. Oh dear. I was six tiles, but uh, why do I remember the uh, mama uh, carrying a baby in the garment? Roughly seven panels. I think so? That was your second day? Nah, Sean, you've been here for years. <laughs> Wait, let me have a look. Uh, was it in this one? Comic start? Uh, two seconds. Uh, it would have been maybe page six? Yeah, there she is. The, sim the simple stuff. <laughs> there, there she is. <laughs> With her big old pancake hair. Oh dear. I said it's a blap or vips are more to different. Everyone else has a choice. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you, got you. <laughs> Understood. Uh, dear. Went to restaurants four days in a row. Oh, that's so... Did you get any... Okay, what was your standout food? What was the standout food? If you got to eat that many restaurants, there must be a couple, right? Also, let's merge those. That looks... Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Let's start... Oh, actually, wait. We still need the... I might cheat here because this is a big circular shape and I just don't know if I have the skill to do such a big circular shape. What I might do, do this, get it like relatively close, like there, right? And then we will go around and draw it, but just for the base, I think I'll find this a little hard. Oh, no. Uh, yes, there we go. Might be a little hard if I don't get to alter it at all, you know? And up there. Like so. And then get this in here. Yeah, I think something like that. Uh, should I have this be a bit thicker? Let's have this at a 10 at least. There you go. We can, we can work on thickening that up a bit. Yeah, it just does a bit of a hard shape to draw. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, went to beef eat it to any place in the pub? <laughs> nice. Hmm, what would my standouts be? Hmm, if it was between beef eater, two Indians in a pub? Hmm, and pub food can be good. I don't think pub food is always good. Not all pub food was created equal. Some is, some is better than others. <laughs> I do like it. Pub grub is good. Sometimes. Actually, yeah, sometimes sometimes it's good, sometimes it's... Yeah. There you go, get that in there. Ah, oh, this was my second day. My first day was when you were doing smocking. I remember that because I said I hate chewing away spoons in the corner. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, God, it feels like you've been here a bit longer than that. I mean, like, I, I'm not... You know, you probably know I'm not going to claim against you. I feel like that would be a silly bet to make. But it feels... Then again, that's just the thing with Twitch, isn't it? Like, once you've been at a couple streams, you've been at all of the streams. Like, I had the same thing with Power then, because Power feels like they've been around longer than Beats, right? But in reality, I think I think we'd had this conversation before where I was like, I don't think they actually have. But it, it feels to me like they have. Time to stand still on Twitch. <laughs> it's also why people come in sometimes and they're like, I haven't seen you for ages. And it's like, you haven't? You sure? I'm like 99% sure we talked yesterday. It's because uh, time stands still here. For me, at least. Uh, I don't notice when a long time has passed. <laughs> Both ways. Either once you've talked a couple of times, you've been here forever. And then also, yeah, once uh, <laughs> once you've talked a couple of times, you've been here forever. And if you've left for a while and come back, I, I, I don't mean it in a rude way, but I have not noticed. Because to me, it felt like I talked to you just a couple days ago. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why stuff like that happens on Twitch or why it feels like that, but it's felt like that since pretty much day one for me at least. Uh, and I've talked to other streamers, you know, over the years, and I'm definitely not the only streamer that experiences that kind of phenomenon of just time, time just stands still on this platform. <laughs> but like, not in a bad way. It just means when people come in and says, oh, it's been a few months, it's like, has it? My god, that's news to me. I didn't realize it'd been a few months. Like 99% sure I just talked to you, right? Okay, get that in there because I do want that to be a little thicker. And have that come up to there. There you go. Nice. And then, yeah. Oh dear. 
The one they made is pretty good in my opinion. Nice. My parents are over, so my dad tried. Why did he tried haggis? Did he enjoy it? Uh, I think good haggis is nice. Uh, dear. I've been at some of the best, some of the worst food I've had ever at bars. I feel the same. It feels like you know you from years. Yeah. It's just like you. I came in December. Yeah. See, it feels like you've been alone a lot longer than December. But if you come daily, it feels a lot longer. Like it really does. Pretty much every day. Yeah. That's it. Power. I remember because I remember we had this conversation before because I was talking to Power about Starlight and they were like, sorry, Jelly, I genuinely have no idea what we're talking about. And it's like, oh, wait, you weren't here at Starlight? And it's because Power joined. Uh, the day after the Starlight event finished, which meant, yeah, they they didn't they didn't see any of the Starlight stuff. But in my head, they were there. Oh dear. All right, that's a that's a good that looks better. I think. Also, I think Stardew music has given up. Yay! <laughs> Look at you in your little pod. <laughs> All right, let me get my music back really quickly because it is it has given up. Come back. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Get that music back in. Oh dear. And uh, let's. All of my stuff has disappeared again. Come back. I require you. We have more goblins to make. Uh, pretty much every day since December, apart from last week. Yeah, this year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, again, it just flies by. It just flies by. He was not looking forward to it, so he had to try it. He made me eat the chicken hearts, so he had to try haggis. I thought chicken hearts are fine as well. I've had those a couple times. Um, I, I don't know. A bit chewier? thing is, if meat tastes good, I don't mind it being chewy because it means I get to eat it for longer, but I don't know if that's a popular opinion or not. <laughs> but in my mind, it's only when something tastes gross that I don't want it to be chewy because then I'm like, oh, oh yeah, oh, now I have to keep chewing it. But like when I had chicken hearts, they were delicious. I didn't mind chewing them a little longer because they were delicious. <laughs> but maybe that's just me. Ah, uh, duh. How you doing, Prism? Welcome on in. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. We got the goblins from yesterday finished. Here they are. They're definitely both sides of the height spectrum for goblins. <laughs> and today we're doing another another shorter one right now. But they're a little astronaut. They're very cute. Ah, uh, duh. Oh yeah, I love chicken hearts. He used to make me eat it as a kid and it, uh, it's not really like, oh, yum, when you see it. Yeah. I had it for the first time in a restaurant, which probably helps because it meant that like, the first time I had chicken hearts, it was like, oh yeah, it's delicious because a restaurant prepared it. And then after that, it's not bothered me. Oh, dear. Although I guess it does give you high standards if you have it at a restaurant first, because then as soon as your family cook it, you're like, it's not as good. <laughs> My family are good cooks, I will say, but uh, I thought it was Sean, but it wasn't. It's Sean, Chandelier, like Chandelier. Like, like they hang from the ceiling, like Chandelier. Like, a, like, like the Pokemon. What's the Pokemon called? The one... Is it called Chandelier? Chandelier? It's something like that. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, uh, anyway you like to use my name. Yeah, Chandelier, Chandelier. I thought it was Sean, Sean Adler. Oh, I've been called the Chandelier. <laughs> I, I was like, oh yeah, it's Chandelier. <laughs> um, to be fair, I normally just call them Sean because I, I shorten everyone's name. But <laughs> I probably would have said Chandelier. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, Sean Lewis, what are my faves? I like, it's got a really striking, like the whole line to be honest is really nice. I love the colors, I love the vibes. I love the weird Pokedex entries for it. It's a good one, it's a good one. Chicken liver pate is nice. I am not such a fan of, of pate. I, I think liver though. I think I have other pates I've had and they're fine, but liver, I can eat liver and I've eaten liver many times, but it's not my favorite. Like it's not my go-to. So like when it comes to liver pate, I'm like, it's also not my go-to because like, it's all right. I will eat it with most food. I will eat it, but uh, it's just not my favorite. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, where we're at. So this is the eclipse. I can probably put that on here and merge it with part of the head because yeah, it's kind of like the same vibes. Oh dear, I thought it was Sean Adler. <laughs> you cut me up. <laughs> pate is nice, but I try to avoid duck liver pate. I've had that one. It's all right. Because like, isn't duck liver pate, is that fa, fa, gua, fa, gua, fa, gua? I don't know how you say it, I'm sorry. Fa, gua. I think it's that one. Fine. It's not my favorite. I wouldn't go for it on a menu, but it's fine. Oh dear, I'm officially Sean Adler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, because Sean and Shan, like Sean and Sean Deleur and Sean Deleur, they, they would look the same but with different spelling. So I just always thought your name was like a play on Sean Deleur because like instead of Chandelier, because <laughs> it's very similar. 
But that's that. We all read it differently, clearly. That's how I read it. What do astronaut necks look like? They probably have like a little thingy thingy here, right? Let's uh, let's get that in. Probably have like a little something something, like a little scarf or something around them. And just to have it like keep you nice and warm. Probably be quite a small one though, I think. Yeah, something like this, maybe? Yeah, I think. Also, <laughs> the big the big thing in the way. There we go. Let me just let me just remove that for a second. As much as I do like the head as well. Uh, I think I just need a little more a little more detail here. And get that there. Get that there. We're gonna go in with a little eraser and we're gonna make this look nice. Don't worry, don't worry. It'll look real fancy by the end. Real fancy schmancy. And then I take my teeny teeny tiny eraser. Smaller than that, thank you. Size. Hmm. Yes. Yes. I can go in and I can just. Yeah. Not that you'll see most of this, but I will make it neater anyway. And like so. And then do the same thing here. And. There you go. And just do the same thing there too. Nice! Yeah! I think that looks fine. And then we can bring this back in. It's still gonna look a bit odd, but that's fine. <laughs> bring this back in, have it go up to the head. I think they would have a something something there, you know? I, I couldn't quite tell what. I've never been to space, in my defense. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I think they'd have a little something something there. So there's a little something something. <laughs> Fagwa! Yeah! Sean <laughs> looking. <laughs> I eat foie gras. I, I get it though, how it's made. Chardonnay. I just don't like the taste that much. I'll be honest. I think it's fine. And once again, I will eat anything that you put in front of me, pretty much. Um, but yeah, are we all technically in space? It's pretty early. I don't know if I'm ready for that kind of deep hypothetical situation. It's foie gras. Foie Foie gras. It's not foie gras. Foie gras. Help. <laughs> oh dear. All right, shoulders. Now, I had an idea for shoulders and I can't quite remember, but I think I think the whole idea, okay, let me like, get rid of the head again. Get rid of the head again. Uh, I think the whole idea is that if there's one point where the bend is here, that it would be like, oh, actually I probably want, okay, we'll do it like this. And then I think it'd be over the top of that. So we're actually gonna lose some of that, I think. I think what it would look like would be I'm gonna do all the lines connecting them in uh in what you call it the lines connecting them are gonna be in a size five which is why I'm not drawing them here I'm just drawing the zigzags it does make it a bit difficult actually there we go but I have this base so I know kind of around where I need to go this is gonna be a a pain isn't it <laughs> It's okay, you know what? I decided that they were going to be an astronaut. I'm going to have to thicken up all these lines. <laughs> but we'll do it, we'll do it. For the good of the character, we'll do it. There we go. And I think I'll just have all the lines coming from the same place. And at this point, then we have it coming out. Yeah, there we go. Like so. Save work? I can do that. I can do that. Oh dear. We got a lot of pate where I live. Beef, pork, and different varieties mostly. I love fried pate with mushrooms on tooth. Oh my god, is it time for fish? I wet my feet. Is this unrequited or are you just quiet? I'm stuck here on this one way street. It has been a long week. Since I was just swimming here, what's on your mind, my dear? I think that we need to speak. There you go. So I'm making sure they all line up, basically, because otherwise it's going to make my job later hard. So if I, if I'm careful now, then I can make future Jelly's job much easier, which is lining up all the bits. And then this bit's going to be another bit where it tucks into a corner, so to about here. 
So we have to go around that. Fish! Fish whispers. Well, that's all I can hear. As he whispers to me. Like a fish. And oh, well, you know. Thank you for fish whispers. I am now I'm I'm avoiding the elbow because the elbow is a little difficult, but that's okay. Because I'll come back to it. I'll be good. I will do it. Uh bring that down there and then and then have that one. And then we have the little the little wristy bits. Very important. There you go. Okay. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there with the funky two bombs. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. A charcuterie board, not charcuterie. Ignore, ignore Grobbit. They are misprint, misspelling things. It is a charcuterie board. Although I don't know when the last time I saw a charcuterie board was. Then again, I don't really go to places where they would serve, like, because I feel like that's a house party thing, right? And like, I'll be honest, most of my friends, if they're doing a house party, pizza. I'll have pizza. Most people like pizza. You can get vegan pizzas and vegetarian pizzas, so there's options for people. Yeah. They don't really do charcuterie board. I figured out what the cheeky grobbit was doing, yeah. Oh god. Jesus. Don't do that to me. I just wanted to change my uh my 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 thingy. Oh my god. Actually, do I want to add this or do I want to add that? Mm, oh dear, now I don't know. No, I think I will do it at five. I'll do it thinner because it adds some visual interest. Sure. Let's, uh, let's do that. Uh, now is the tricky bit, but I've put it on a new layer so I can work it out. And that is to line up all the bits that we just did. And um, actually it might be easier here because I know that there's one here, for instance. That's one. And I know that this is one. Let's start there, just to make sure I don't get it wrong, you know? Because honestly, easily done. I'm gonna line all these up and we'll thicken them out later a little bit. But for now, get that in there, that in there. And then, yeah, this is this is where I was gonna get confused if I wasn't careful, which is where's the last one here? It's, it's here. And the reason is because then, have it like this. Oh. There we go. Oh my god. There we go. And one more. Nice. So yeah, we in the elbow bits. Those are the bits I'm gonna get lost at because that's where they. Yeah, that looks cool though. I think that looks about like it's like one of those hoovers. <laughs> you know those hoovers with the with the bits that come out so you can go around the corners. Like a little hoover, a little hoover suit. And in there. So, and then we have these ones, which are a little lopsided, but that's okay. Again, the arms would be moving, so I think that would make sense. And then like so, around the wrist. Not quite, nope, absolutely not. There you go. And then I'll hold off on that last one because that last one's probably gonna be where the hand is, so. I think that looks pretty good. <laughs> you know? I like that. If I remove this and bring this in, that looks like a little a little space arm, kind of. Oh dear, fair. A friend of mine doesn't have a sweet tooth either. I prefer cheese over sweet meal. That's very fair. That's very fair. Uh, who orders that instead of proper dessert? Blocks of cheese, not dessert. I do get it though, yeah, because I'm the same. Like sometimes I will say though, if I'm not fancying a dessert, I normally just get a coffee. But yes, don't get yeast chocolate, my sister buys me a cheese board! I feel like I need both savoury and sweet tea feels fully satisfied. You could have a cheese egg. I'm, I'm happy. Cheesecake is the perfect in between then, right? I'm happy with a 24 pack of cheese and onion crisps. Mmm, egg. Mini cheese egg. 
<laughs> Trademark it. I mean, I'm, I think I know a few people that would like that. I mean, personally, I don't get Easter chocolate because I can't eat chocolate, so it'd be nice for me. But then again, cheese is the other one that people with migraines aren't meant to eat, so... <laughs> but no, technically I've never had any issue with, uh, with cheese, so I can't complain. The only chocolate I have a problem with. Oh dear, alright. <laughs> so cute, so cute. Okay, we need to give you a zipper. That's very- that was like I didn't put in the original design and I regretted it. You need a zipper, a really big zipper going up the front, I think. Um, so what I'll do is, if I- I'm gonna do all this on different layers and be very annoying. Uh, but I would like there to be- where's the legs? The legs are like here, right? But yes, what I would like is a zipper that goes the whole way up the suit, you know? And it just goes vroomph. Actually, it could go further than that. Emphasize goblin shape, like that. And then go the whole way up, and yeah, I, I want it to be a really big zipper on it because it's like a, it's like a space suit. Cute. Ah, uh, there, there you go. Get that out there. Uh, actually, could maybe go a bit further. That's okay. That's okay. We can we can work on this. We want it to go to about there. Um, I go... Like that. Yeah, that's a bit better. And then I can also have... This. Mmm, more like... Mm. There we go, there we go. Get that in there for ya. <laughs> and then we need to put a big old zip on him. Big zipper, yeah, he chunky cute belly. Yeah, I, I am a big believer in goblin shape is pear. Cause like, look at that. Doesn't that just look like a perfect ratio? Oh my God. Yeah. Look at them. Unless they are royal goblins. Unless they are royal goblins. Eh. That's a goblin right there. <laughs> it's perfect. And it makes it really easy to draw them if you're just like, there you go, that's a, that's a goblin. <laughs> oh dear, I love them. And they give me big joy, my little pear-shaped friend. He looks very cute. He does, he's got his little bird friend and he's going to space. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if goblins belong in space, but he is doing his bestest. What we could say is maybe he thinks he's going to space, but in reality, he's just got like a rocket ship in the garden or something. And I feel like, I feel like that would suit as well. All right, we need a big chunky zipper, very important. Because maybe he's training to be the first goblin in space, but he's not quite there. But no one tells him that, you know? We don't want to dash his dreams. I gotta get a nice big zipper. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, he's chunky. Alright, get rid of the, the bit underneath. We don't want to... We want the zipper. Oh, wait, no. Okay, sorry, sorry, my bad, my bad. There you go. Big chunky zipper. And... Yeah. <laughs> the... <laughs> he reminds me of Flick from a bug's life. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. Also, I never said that. Sam, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Oh my god, yeah. I could give him little sewn on patches and badges. He's got a little bird friend, so maybe like, maybe like little wings or something? He could have a little patch. I don't know, but the problem is I guess the patch would probably be under where his arm is. I could put them on his shoes or his legs. <laughs> That's a very large zipply. Hopefully it won't weigh him down. Could put little weights on it to help him keep his gravity. His <laughs> but all the weight in his neck might not be the safest, but maybe. All right. <laughs> okay, we need to stop just zooming in and zooming out. I need to get some some more baselines in. That's the problem when you en when you're enjoying the art you're making, you just want to zoom in and out and giggle, and it's not very productive. But I do, I really like him. All right, let's do a little challenge real quick because once again, shapes, curves with mouse and keyboard. Uh uh. But I do need a really good dome here. And what I want it to be is kind of like a little, like a bell kind of shape. It's a bit rough there. Depends if we can stick the finish. Oh, that's not bad. That is, that is not bad. That's a pretty good dome. <laughs> I want it to be like a little out at the sides. 
Just so it's a little more interesting. That's not bad, actually. Cool, okay, well. That's gonna be the hard bit of matching up my lines. Ooh, no, not quite. Come on, mouse. Come on, mouse. Work with me. Ooh, no, it's not quite. Come on, mouse. Keyboard's doing all the work right now. You wouldn't want keyboard to get all of the, the well dones. I think that's acceptable. I think that's acceptable. You know, you know. Gonna go make noodles? Delicious. Go enjoy your noodles. Hell yeah. Maybe by the time you come back, I'll have more space goblins. <laughs> oh my god, mouse, please. These are the shapes that maybe would be easier if I had a drawing tablet. These are also the moments that make me genuinely consider getting a drawing tablet. Because it's like, good lord, please, please, draw the thing. All right, let's get a little base on this. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a nice base right there. Oh, look at that. Space base. And then... I will fill this in and it's gonna look bad, but that's okay. Because I can come back and fix that later. When we're doing the line weights and stuff, I can come back and fix that. That looks cute, okay. Little dome with little friend inside of it. Yeah, I like that, I like that. I literally stay at my mouth for like a week straight and pat myself and I'm like, yeah, good job, me. Good job. There's Yorkshire space base, Yorkshire space base. <laughs> oh dear, yeah. <laughs> All right. Real quick, oh, I, I don't know if I want to have like the back kind of like filled in almost as if there's like a backdrop to it because he looks kind of young. I almost feel like he'd have like made like a little landscape for the for the bird to live in. But I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. You did such a farmer accent. I'm sorry. <laughs> I I slip between them a little bit. If the thing I think of when you've lived in a few different places, you pick up a lot of vocalisms, right? From a uh, from the different places you live. And I grew up in deep in farmlands. And so not everyone had like a strong farming accent, but like I'd be lying if I said it wasn't there, you know? <laughs> there were a fair number of people around me who did have very very strong farm accents because there's a lot of farmers but not so much my family more the people that I grew up around to be honest I never got it very much unfortunate it is what it is we live with what we get right we can't all have cool farming accents unfortunately my one is annoying because my one makes me sound really posh not posh <laughs> dude I wish Imagine, if I was posh, I could commission all the art that I wanted and no one could stop me. Not even me. But no. Nah, it is what it is. It just means people are like, oh yeah, Jelly, nice posh accent, must have a lot of money. Dude, I wish. <laughs> if you could get me my money though, that'd be great. The money that suits my accent so that I can sound posh and be posh? I wouldn't say no. <laughs> you know, I'd, I'd be like, okay. You wanna, you wanna make me posh? Let's do it. Uh, I don't know if I like that. I want the fingers to be like a little mismatched, but I don't know if I actually like how that looks. Because I feel like, okay, let's, let's, okay. I think I like the first two fingers. But I don't think I like the next one. Oh dear. Jenny was raised in a barn. I was not raised in a barn. Uh, we did have barns in the area, but you wouldn't want to live in that. Mikey, good morning. How are you doing? How are Gobbo's going? Look at Space Goblin. He's just, he's having such a good time. We're just working out how his hand's gonna be sitting. I want him to look like when kids are holding things and like they're too big for their hands, so they're like really stretched apart. He's so cute. I love him. I should say all of the goblins we've been making. This one doesn't have a name on it yet, but they're all by other people. So it's like that I'm reimagining them as goblins, but they're not my original designs. I can't cannot claim as much as I would like to claim every single one of these beans as my own. I can't have them. <laughs> I'm having to be very good. Oh, dear. Do I know this is my 20s? The only thing that happened is I started playing Jesus voice. 
Delta Majora's Mask lost an argument. Oh dear. Is that that film the Wait! Is that a fellow goblin person? Oh my god, it is. Sorry, I just noticed. Grey Mouse! Welcome on in! We literally drew Grey Mouse yesterday, but Grey Mouse already has the most adorable goblin that you ever did see. If you like goblin art and you've not checked out Grey Mouse, uh, I, I have saved that art. I might be able to find it uh, because I was using them as a reference yesterday. Uh, where did I- where did I put it? I put it somewhere. Where have I put your faces? There they are. Look, look at the art that Grey Mouse does. You see this? You see this? Oh my god, they're so cute. Also, we did reimagine Grey Mouse, uh, or Ratchet, I should say, their goblin as, <laughs> as one of our goblins. I can't match the cuteness levels, unfortunately. Not yet. Not yet. But uh, soon, maybe one day, we'll get further along in our goblin journey and we will have goblins as cute as Grey Mouse. But right now, this is this, this, here you are. Here you are. <laughs> You're very small. <laughs> How was your stream? For anyone who doesn't know, we were literally talking about you earlier. Grey Mouse is doing a webcomic centered around goblins, so they're drawing a lot, a lot of goblins. Oh, uh, they're all for welcome on in and Grey Mouse, welcome in. You love the hair textures? I had so much fun with them, to be honest. Look, look at these beans. Look at all this. Look at this mess. God damn it, Sleeves. You're such a messy character. <laughs> But they were so fun. They were very fun to do. I've been really enjoying it. We're just doing them as line art because I don't have the time to do all of these fully coloured and everything. But we're getting through. We're getting through them. We're getting more and more done every day. Ah, uh, village. Uh, if you leave, people think uh, Buddy has eaten you. And if you, in reality, you just pass through a thick forest to the city. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, dear. Grey! Oh my gosh, you sound like a, a squashy quick and- Oh, you sound like squashy quick and you remind her of Azel. Why do you sound exactly like her? I don't know that- I, I'll promise I'm not a Minecraft VTuber- uh, Minecraft VTuber? Minecraft a YouTuber yet. Sorry, I haven't- I haven't made my Minecraft debut just yet. I want to see gobbos. We have so many gobbos. So many gobbos. Oh, uh, Raja looks so cute. I love them. They're so small though. <laughs> I made them like two foot something. They're tiny. Fenigma, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the hydrate. How you doing? Oh dear. Them mushies. That's my town, the village. Oh, is it? Nice. You were talking about me? We were. We were talking about you behind your back. Terrible, right? Terrible. <laughs> welcome to my comment tonight. We're almost done with page four. Congratulations. Hey, congratulations. Ooh. Oh, I didn't do a proper introduction, did I? Sorry, I was so excited to show you your goblin that I didn't properly introduce anything. Sorry. <laughs> Hello, hi, my name is Jelly. I'm actually a cosplayer based in the UK, but I do have a, a, a bit of a, a, a draw towards goblins. The reason we're doing goblins is because last year we took part in an art thing called Chromacore, where you have to make your own OC, and that was the first time I'd ever been forced to try and draw an original character before, because I'm a cosplayer. I don't make original characters. I, I cosplay characters that already exist. So it was very new for my brain. Um, but what I got out of that was one, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed being surrounded by so many other artists and I had a really nice time. But two, I wanted to get better at drawing original characters. So late last year, I basically came up with what I wanted my cadet to be. And this is my zombie goblin. His name is Waffles and I'm very attached to him. <laughs> I love him. This, I love him very much. So this is my first proper OC where I started working at it. And they are a goblin and, but they are a zombie goblin. They are a little zobelin. <laughs> <laughs> and I love them, and but I'm very new to drawing digitally. It's not like I do a lot of. So I wanted to get some practice in before we went to Chroma Core and did more stuff. So what I said was, hey guys, if you have an OC that you don't mind me redrawing as a goblin, would you mind me doing that? And we had 20 people donate different goblins or people to be goblins. And we've been naming them as we go. I'm, a, I'm working on the 14th right now. We've done 13. And we, so we've got these again, the name of the person who's the, the OC belongs to is above them. I've made them a goblin, but they are an OC in their own right without me working on them. So we have Comet's OC, Schleesrun's OC, uh, Diana's, Anime's, Jean's, Pink's, Cthulhu's, Pippias, uh, Shifty's and Grobbit's on this page. And again, these are all their OCs just turned into goblins. And then on the second one, we have Sonny and Grey Mouse. And all the way over here, we have Goat who is very tall, too tall unfortunately for this because we made them a royal goblin so they're a little bit bigger. <laughs> but yes, uh, Ratchet, yeah, Ratchet was number 13, yes. So I think we're working on number 14 right now, which is yours. 
but we're getting there. We're getting there. That hopefully introduce what we're doing a little bit. <laughs> oh dear, Zobolin. Yeah, Zobolin, a little zombie goblin. Hanging in there lurking and plotting a ton of stuff. Got like 20-ish art projects in the works. Nice. We love to hear it. Uh, the hello, fellow goblins. Hello, fellow goblin. Welcome on in. How are you doing, Queena? Also, I should say, Grey Mouse, you need to go look after yourself post-stream. You need to eat, sleep, anything. Please do. Uh, anyone here who is enjoying goblins and has not checked out Grey Mouse, go check out Grey Mouse. They are a goblin connoisseur. <laughs> they have so many good goblins uh, in, in all of their art. So yes, if you haven't checked them out before and you like goblins, and you like art, you should be checking out Grey Mouse. Yeah, I'm having a bit of problem because what I want is I need a bigger object that I can put my hand on. Um, oh, maybe I can use Timothy. Um, what I what I want is like when kids are like trying their best to like spread their hands out. I think actually I would only have the fingers. I think the thumb would be on the other side, wouldn't it? So maybe that's part of the problem. I shouldn't have all four fingers on one side because. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me while I just use like. What do you look like? <laughs> Yeah, they're like spread out. You know when kids like spread their fingers out because they've got tiny hands? That's what I want it to look like. Thank you, Timothy. Good. <laughs> All right, so I think we only have fingers on this side and I think that's why I'm getting confused. I think it would just be fingers. Like so. Oh, actually even... Ooh, difficult, huh? Difficult, huh? Hmm. That maybe? It's a bit long, isn't it? It's a bit long. I think it's a nice idea, but it's a bit long. There you go. Try this one then. And then I'm kind of sort of just getting an idea because I'm not getting it right very quickly. <laughs> I think something like that. Yeah, that looks that looks like a stretched out child pan. <laughs> uh, let me just make that a little bigger as well, I think, because goblin hands are quite big. Well, for me at least, they have little talons. Even when they're small, they got little talons. Yeah, I think I think that kind of makes sense. The hands and the feet have consistently been tricky, but we're getting there. Oh dear, I think it's okay. No, you're fine, Grey Mouse. Thank you again for uh, raiding in. Very heckin' kind of you. Have a lovely rest of your day. I said Grey Mouse, so Cockney ac uh, the accent. I said Grey Mouse. <laughs> you know, well, Sonny is my friend and I randomly named a triceratops. You did? This is little Timothy. He was named by Shiny and he's my desk buddy. And so when I'm having a bad day, he's just got good squish. Good squish ability. I mainly like doing this to him though, like this. I, I don't know what you'd call this action. But this action, where you like just get your knuckles and you just do this. <laughs> Poor Timothy, it's like a massage. I'm sure he loves it. But like if I'm having a stressful day, it's just a strangling. No, 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 he's not being strangled. He's very needing. <laughs> I like to need Timothy. It's the only one with John, but shh, that's fine. Ratchet has a cockney accent, so you're reading my mind. Oh, I used to try to top to that one, but it's less shaped. I mean, I'll be honest, Timothy's pretty round. He's it's just a little round fella. I love him. He's my desk buddy. He pops out every now and again to help me get angles right. Um, I think we're gonna put like a scene behind him. I think something something behind him so it looks like they like you know like in fish tanks where they put like a backing on it. I think we're gonna put a backing on this and I'm gonna put like a little scene inside of it because again I'm trying to think like maybe more child mentality. I think you maybe would do something like that. Yeah, that looks like he's pressing on it. Like, eh. don't, like, don't want to. Oh God! Ah, too close. Yeah, that's cute. And then we need to just do the one at the bottom. He, he's holding the thing. Oh my God! I guess you could say you really need him in your life. I do. Oh wait, actually, Prism, you've been gone for a while. We have a new stream friend. We haven't named this one yet. He's still, he's, he's still gonna get. But it's a whale shark dressed as a sea slug. Like a bunny sea slug. He's so cute. Oh my god, I love him. He's just a little guy. Yeah, so we have a new new stream friend. He lives with my other whale shark. They're all living together. They're a little happy family. I love them. I don't get whale sharks very often because they don't come over to this country very often. And even when they do, they don't ship to me. So it's very rare that I ever get a new whale shark friend, but I do have a new whale shark friend. I love him very much. Alright. Okay. Sorry, Timothy, real quick. 
Uh, other hand? Yeah, like that, I think, is kind of what I want. From underneath, but not quite hitting underneath. He's trying his best. You know, he's doing his best. You have a little orange dino, but he has no name. I did have, uh, I did call Pumpkin. There's a little Aslan. Oh, do you have an orange cat, though? The little guy. I have an orange cat in my life, but it's my friend. <laughs> oh, dear. Nice. All right. Let's get, a, let's get a hand in really quickly. Well, before we have to go on break. Oh, no. What a shame. Uh, <laughs> let me let me get a, a second hand in really quickly because otherwise the hands will be on my mind and I'll just be thinking, oh God, I'm gonna have to come back and do a hand. And hands are still a struggle for me. I'm, I'm getting better, I will say, but it's still, it's still one of the bits where I'm like consistently having trouble with them, you know? I'm sure there'll come a point where I will click in my head and I'll be like, ah, oh, yeah, hands, no hecking problem. Uh, I can do hands for days, like Zomboti. One day, one day, Zomboti's mindset will click in my head and I'll be golden. But until then, uh, I will struggle a little bit, probably, and that's okay. okay. Get rid of that quickly, just because that's a little distracting. And like so. Yeah, I mean, that's basic. <laughs> it's not great, is it? It's not great, but it's basically what I want. I just wanted to look like he's holding it not quite at the bottom. You know when you give kids stuff and they're like, oh yeah, I'll hold that, and then they hold it like midway down, you're like, no, no. I understand you're a child and you're still learning, but that's not that's not a good way of supporting it. That's kind of what I want this to look like. I want you, you handed this kid your bird. Silly mistake. And this kid is holding it like this. <laughs> that's what I want. Also, I keep making the hands too small, but I think, I think we get the vibe. Yes. Ah, oh, you do hands. You do do hands. Free. Good morning. Welcome on in. How you doing? boti has got the heckin' hand skills. It's very unfair. If there are seeds like my name suggested would be Adam. If any Bioshock fans out there, I, I'm, I'm. He, he sits. We what we have with plushies. They sit with us for a bit, and then we decide their name. Oh dear, taking care of ourselves. Oh no. Okay, hand, hand me your hand in marriage then, JK. Oh my god, I'm joking. No, do not marry me. <laughs> oh my god. You know, normally your female Twitch streamer, people come in, they're like, marry me, but in my stream, no, please do not marry me. <laughs> it's the opposite. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm not like the other girls. No one wants to marry me. <laughs> Every, yeah, I'm not like other girls. No one wants to marry me, but everyone wants to marry my partner. <laughs> oi, oi. No, you can't have him. He's mine. <laughs> uh, it'd be an autumn wedding. We fell in love in October. Aww. I didn't name her. She was a stray kitten. My friend. Oh, took in. Aslan came home to us during summer from uni. We ended up with zero to two cats, two females, and four kittens. Marry me. Am I not the only one? <gasps> oh no, I'm being caught out. How are you? I'm good, free. I'm good. Just wondering what to do. I'm. I'm very lucky in that I have like a full roster of things I need to do. But we are slowly but surely getting a goblin son, and I really like them. I'm. I'm really, really pleased with how how stuff is coming along. Uh, I have to go and break in one minute, so I'm just trying to get as much done possible before I go on break. However, generally, pretty happy. Like, I, I, one of those things, isn't it? I guess it's a learning curve and it's not perfect, but I'm very proud of myself for giving it a go and I like, I like the work that I have done. So, yes, yeah, that's where we're at. <laughs> Not not everything I'm making is perfect, and there are errors and stuff if you look closely, especially. But I'm still really proud of myself. I'm happy. I could have him on weekends. No, not like other girls. No one wants to marry. In fact, I'm not even a girl. <laughs> is Jenny now a sister wife? No, stop trying to marry my partner. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. I'm very proud. I'm very heckin' proud. Thank you for the hydrate as well. Yeah, I'm I'm really pleased with how it's going, and I'm very proud of myself. Especially for giving it a go on stream, because, yeah, I think I think trying something new on stream is a little more nerve-wracking, at least for me personally, than, than, you know, giving it a go off stream when no one's watching. As soon as people are watching, it feels a bit more nerve-wracking. But generally, generally, I'm really, really proud of myself for trying, and I like what I've made, so I can't complain too much, honestly. 
That, I think that's kind of all you can ask for with art, right? You know, I like what I've made. It's not perfect, but I'm proud, and looking at them brings me joy, actually. That's why I keep zooming out and- oh, broad. That's why I keep zooming out and looking at them more, because the more I look at them, the happier I am. There we go. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. He's so cute. He's just got his little friend, who is not actually drawn yet, so he hasn't got his little friend, but he will have his little friend, and he's just gonna be a happy guy. Break times. Good job. Thank you. So cute. Save. You're damn right. All right. We'll save that, and then we'll do our next Discord art share. What time is it? Oh, I've got time. I've got time. I don't have to have lunch yet. I can, I can keep going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's, I'm gonna when when we when we when we finish this one, I'm gonna put him next to goat because goat's meant to be like you can't really see. Unfortunately, if I move goat down quickly, there you go. They've got like stars and more celestial stuff, and this is meant to look like clouds as if they're going through the the clouds, right? They're just really tall, but um, I I can't fit them all in because they're too tall. But I'm probably gonna put this one next to goat because I feel like this is space themed and and this one's also kind of space themed so I feel like I could put them together and they'd kind of go. Oh, Dev Dan, good morning, how you doing? Welcome on in. Aw, oh, yeah, no, I, I like goat, but goat's hair. You see all this? You see all this hair up here? <laughs> <laughs> They've got so much hair and they need a friend, they do, because they're standing like opposite side from everyone else because they're so tall. <laughs> so they do need a friend. All right, it is in fact, it is in fact break time. Let's have a little look. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my, what the? Okay, wait, I have things to show you. Oh my god, we've got so much. First of all, chandelier. Uh, we are all set up from deep into news later, and here I am as chandelier! Because Jelly knew I didn't- yeah, no, 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 you came up with the name yourself, I just noticed it. It's cute, chandelier! This little sh God, you're good at hands too. I see that, it's subtle because it's in pencil, but I see those fingers! <sighs> damn it. <laughs> all these people in this goddamn community that can draw hands. Oh dear, very heckin' cool. Very heckin- oh, You literally <laughs> God damn it, Chandelier! <laughs> I thought the Chandelier, like with Sean at the front. I thought that was. <laughs> damn it! Oh, uh, <gasps> yeah, this one. Waffles. Look at my sad little man. I love him. I'm gonna send this to my mum. Two seconds. My mum. My mum also likes waffles. The, I, the first thing I did when I created my OC was like, Mum, what do you think? And my mum was like, I like that one. That's a good one. I was like, perfect. That's what I needed. <laughs> so, so they, they got my my mum my mum's approval. Zombo T. There we go. Oh. <laughs> I'm sending this to my mum. I'll get back to you. She's probably at work right now. <laughs> She's like, why are you sending me things? Hey, there's wilting daisies. Well, they're meant to be fever few, but yeah, they are kind of wilty. They've been in there for a while. I love him. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I did a pattern on the patch. I did see that. I like that a lot because it's fancy. So he's meant to have like a really fancy like shirt because he was a king once upon a time, but he's been buried underground for a long time. So the shirt's kind of Ugh. But it's like, it's meant to, it, once upon a time, it was really fancy. So patching it with a really fancy fabric, I think he would have liked that. I think he liked that. Ah, oh, dear. But yeah, we love you too. Are those rings? Yeah. So the idea is that the rings, there's like a necklace around him and the rings are like, they're all connected so that while he's wearing the necklace, he can use his hands. Because otherwise he can't use his hands. He hasn't got any arms. <laughs> also, we have been blessed. I know that they're, they're lurking now. But they have shown us, Grey Mouse has shown us what they are working on on stream today. So you can actually see, like, look at this panel by panel. Isn't it stunning? Again, if you're interested in goblins, and get out, Grey Mouse, I'm talking about you behind your back. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you're, you're welcome to stay. <laughs> yeah, no, look how, look how nice it is. If you are looking, if you are looking for, uh, for more goblin content, I'm leaving. <laughs> That's very fair. That's very fair. The sword coming out of the page, yeah, with the swish motion, and then like all the little expressions, the wavy art, oh, it's so cute. It's just so cute. It's just so cute. I love them. Oh my god. So yeah, if you're looking for more more goblin content and you haven't met Ratchet and uh, and Grey Mouse Inc., there you go. Me outside. No. 
<laughs> Grey mouse. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We just we just like to gush about your art. We love it very much. It's really hacking nice. Here's to the preview of the three projects I'm working on. Uh, a few event or oh, two seconds. I'll double check it. Just before thank you for letting me know. I'll double check it just before popping it on stream. Um I don't know if that one's okay to show. I'm not sure. Because I'm not sure, I won't do it, but anyone else can double check it. Thank you, thank you so much for spoiling it, by the way, for Nigma, I really, really do appreciate it. Um, a few of these event art and centered one isn't really graphic, but it does look so stabbing. Yes, like I'm never sure exactly what I can show. So the rest of it, however, I should be fine to show. So that's fine. So we have some plans. We have an eclipse or something, some dusk, there's a doggo sitting. Uh, ooh, okay. Mushrooms, oh mushrooms, more, yes, more mushrooms, love, hell yeah, good plans, look forward to seeing what this turns into, the, oh yeah, that's really cool, <laughs> that's really, really cool, oh my god, I love the colours on the back, I love the stars, I love how detailed the grass is actually almost, interestingly, with this kind of art style, I don't know if this was your intention, but this is almost like a scene you'd see in like a, you know like when people would put art into like the old RPG style, like RPG maker games and you'd have like scenes of art like to the moon and stuff like that? This feels almost like that, like a scene that would be in an RPG maker game where they'd like cut away from the game for a moment to show some sceneries and such. I don't know how to explain this. I do not know how to explain this, but it's it gives me those kind of vibes and I really like it. Uh, dear. Ooh, okay, plans, plans, doggo, maybe. This looks like a friendly doggo. Ah, the stained glass. Oh, stained glass. <gasps> That'd be so pretty. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Very hecking cool. I look forward to seeing this one as well. <gasps> oh, hello. oh my god. Oh, I think I know what this is symbolizing. But very hecking nice. Very hecking nice. I get it. Ah, dear. Oh like a detail shot oh i always find this kind of stuff interesting to be fair where people take like you can still see the base shapes and you're like building off it i always find this kind of stuff really interesting because it shows like the method that someone else has like put together to draw something at a certain angle or a certain style i think it's really cool i think it's really cool that's snout though yeah that's snout though it's interesting it's genuinely i it's part of the nice thing about being on twitch as an artist right you get to see all of the in-betweeny bits where people are taking it from one to the other this is really really cool really really cool i again look forward to seeing more and this this already is looking pretty hecking good hell yeah let me, let me send some hearts your way that's very heckin nice really cool thank you so much for sharing that's how it's actually it's a vent piece Oh my god, so it might not be finished then. That's fair. If you ever want to post like more of these like where where you can still see the baselines and then what you've done on top, I'm sure everyone would be very interested. Myself included, of course. Alright, let's have a little look. We're, sni we're nipping over now. Sock is coming along nicely. Is this the one that you initially had the frog? I can't remember if this is the one you had the frog initially. But it is It is coming along really nicely. That looks like you've done a really good switch uh, from, from the different stitches and it looks very heckin' neat. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Look, good on you, good on you. Frogging sucks. This looks amazing though. Let's get some little hearts, some little stars, maybe even a second star, because good on you for picking it back up again. I'm pretty sure it was you, right? Last, I'm trying to make socks. Tried it a month ago, but I pulled the wrong needle, so you had to rage frog it, and you, you came back to it. Also, Diana, thank you so much for the 100 biddies, gobble goobles. Diana, how are you doing? Welcome on in. As you can see, we're just doing our art share. I hope we're doing good. Oh dear. Jenny, do you know the game Medieval? I do know the game Medieval, but not very well. I mainly know the art from the game Medieval, if I'm being honest. Sock tic-tac-toe. Cool. Yeah, really cool. Also, uh, I think live stream chat is safe. I had a- oh. <laughs> Out of me. I think it's- I think you need a new pencil. <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong. Well done. You really did be using that whole pencil. But, uh, that's so small. <laughs> I love it. Size matter. I see that underneath. I see that underneath. That's great. Thank you, anime. You're right. You did, you did need to share that because that's given me a good giggle. It's so small. <laughs> oh, dear. 
It's going to be a series. I plan to make it every year. It's going to be Hella Symbolic Mars, my personal growth and mental health journey. Oh, hell yeah. That's a really lovely idea. Like doing the same piece each year. Very nice. I showed the fan art I did to a friend and they said they thought Waffles could easily work as an NPC in that game. I would be down. Put Waffles... Put, listen, Waffles is sad. Put him everywhere. Waffles wants to be everywhere. <laughs> oh, they're teeny tiny pencils. Just a teeny tiny one. I have another one the same size I had last year's exams. <laughs> like, what do you do if a student puts their hand up and says, Yeah, miss, uh, I, I finished my pencil. <laughs> What, what do you do? What do you mean you finished your pencil? <laughs> oh dear. I have another one that's... Oh god. You make friends. Hey everyone. Oh bless you lady. Welcome on in. How are you doing? Yeah, sorry. We actually... Uh, we, uh, we we actually redrew Ratchet in our own art style the other day. So we have we have a little grey mouse friend here. And lady, thank you for the follow as well. We're, we're redrawing people's OCs as goblins right now. So we have like a bit of a, a variety of different of different like, goblins who has been joining our, our, our line. But uh, at the moment we are specifically working on a little astronaut goblin. Ah oh dear. Waffles mod for medieval when actually Waffles mod for any game. They're just sad. They just want to go places, you know? You did nothing and suffer with no pencil. <laughs> yeah. Make Waffles happy. Yeah, no, I just wanted to draw a little guy and I wanted to take him on adventures and cheer him up a bit. And that's Waffles. And I love Waffles. Uh, he's... He's just a- he's gonna be my cadet. I've already drawn him. I need to do him a proper embroidery at some point so that, uh, so that I can- Oh god, stop zooming in. You don't need to see my pixels. I need to do him a proper embroidery at some point, but yes. For now, I love him. I love him very much. I love his silly ruffly shirt, his little patches that are like, he's done his best, but, you know, <laughs> they're kind of falling off. <laughs> I'm very attached. I'm attached to- Oh, that's Orty Swords. We're doing Orties later. He's a best pal. He's a pal. Don't you see that first off? It, he looks like he's a doctor. He needs a doctor. I don't think he is a doctor. Oh, dear. Oh, okay. We need to get the bird friend in here, though. That's very important, because right now, every time he looks down, he doesn't even see the bird. And so let's get the bird in, and then we can... Oh, wait. Reset the timer. I remember this time. I remembered. Probably at the next time we hit a Discord art share, probably then I will go grab some lunch or something, maybe... We'll, we'll work something out. I think around that time sounds about long enough. There we go. So we get this, and then we're gonna get our plump little bird friend. There he is. He's just a, he's just a big little little. I kind of want to make him a little rounder because I'm making things pretty round in this universe. So like, I feel like the bird could be a little round fella as well, and it would fit in just fine. There we go, and then. And get his little feet in. And there you go. They're probably too small for me to worry about colouring them in. But I'm quite happy just to do them like little zigzag feet. DJ! DJ! There he is. And then. <laughs> How do you drop it? <laughs> I guess if he's looking back, then yeah, he would have his little beak. That's probably too big, isn't it? Oh, it's difficult. Like that, maybe? Yeah! <laughs> Look at his little round friend! <laughs> okay, we could, we could work with this as a base, I think. Yeah! He's just happy and round. I love him. Sweet! Good morning! Welcome on in! How you doing? Are you seeing Bird be naming too? Ah, oh dear. My haunting through the stash of embroidery fed the colors about my mental image of Eris Gobby. Oh, dear. Not sure when your last save was. No, you're right. I should save. For I've just drawn Bird Friend. Ah, uh, this is... Diana's one was... Where is Diana's? There they are. That's Diana's. <laughs> with the... Oh, God. With the teddy bear. I didn't mean to draw a spot there. With the teddy bear. There they are. <laughs> and all the celestial stuff. Yeah, make sure you say, very important, a chubby little bird friend. A chubby little bird friend. I love him. I could give him little wings as well, if I wanted to. But, uh, I don't know if I need to. Well... Wah. Like that, maybe? Wah. Yeah, like that. Wah. 
Give him a little feather. <gasps> a little matching feather, maybe? Oh my god, wait, no, sorry. Slight design change. I'm giving him a matching hair twirl. It's gonna look so fancy. I don't know if these birds normally have hair twirls, but like, look. Because then they match! <laughs> He matches his bird. It's cute. Saki, good morning. Welcome on in. I was like a child. I mean, they look like a very, very tired child. I will say. Look how sleepy this this lady is. She's so tired. Give him a little bow too. Look like a little business buddy. The hair twirl. I love little hair twirl. I love little hair. I I think the bow would be too small because we haven't thickened up the lines yet, unfortunately. This is- I guess everyone's art style has upsides and downsides, right? One of the downsides of the art that I create is, uh, it, it can't really be very detailed because, like, the, the- the- the majority of the work is done in, like, a size 10. So, like, tiny details are a little difficult, unfortunately. Uh, but I guess that comes with the territory, right? Why it's important to have different artists for different things. Because if you wanted something very detailed, I'd probably not be a good artist for it. But if you want a goblin, now. <laughs> now that I can do. But uh, yeah, no, unfortunately, it's one of those ones where, yeah, thick lines is kind of the vibe. But everything else gets a bit, gets a bit, oh my god, he's so cute! All right. Let's just get a smaller eraser really quickly and and start fixing stuff up. Also, has my music abandoned me again, do we think? Do you think it's been long enough? I think my music's abandoned me again. Also, can I just... What? What? There you go. Oh, so cute. Okay. Um, and then just get that a little sharper too. Nice. And I think it has. I'm gonna say it. I'm sorry, music. Why must you abandon me? Come back. There we go. Ah, oh, dear. I think it looks a bit busy, busy bit to be too old for Gobbo. Maybe, maybe. Tweety has the little hair swirl. Yeah. I think Eris looks like a... Uh, I think... I mean, normal Eris also looks like a child. Baby, you gotta get cosy? Go get cosy. Oh, God. Yeah, go get yourself some coziness. I actually need to pick up some cosy things at some point for an... For an un undisclosed future stream <laughs> where I need to be especially comfortable, which I'll be honest, not mad about. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm gonna have a stream where I'm just gonna be disgustingly comfortable. It's gonna be great. Not that I'm generally uncomfortable on streams, I guess I should say, but I'm gonna be even more comfortable than usual, you know? Extra comfortable. Oh. There you go. That's cute. And then we just need to get the head bit. I could maybe use the five to give him some slight texture. I don't know if he needs it though. I don't know, he's pretty, he's pretty cool. I don't know if he needs any extra texture. He's already so cool as he is. I don't know if he even needs this. I'll do it, but. Like, look how cool he is. <laughs> he's already so cool. <laughs> oh, I love the, I love it. They look so happy to be in each other's company. All right, that's the bird. I need to get the stick a little thicker, I think. Uh, and then we need to do the background for the cage. So we'll probably work on that bit next. I probably will do that in a size five, just so that it looks like, I guess, kind of more detail-y. Also, Steven, thank you so much for the follow. It's very heckin' kind of you. Thank you, thank you. We are drawing people's OCs as goblins. And we have been doing that for like, actually, how long have we been doing that for? A week and a half, maybe? 
Sure, not sure. <laughs> but we, we've got a, we're becoming an army, an absolute army. <laughs> but we have a happy off in pretendy space. Yeah, they're just in their own world together. I love, I love them. All right, happy bird with happy goblin. I do need, oh, they're all connected already. That's my bad, I shouldn't have done that. So what I was thinking to do was maybe have like a little foresty background as if the goblin made it for him. Like, oh, he wanted the bird to have like a really nice foresty background. So he's like, been like, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put like grass in it and like stickers almost, you know? Like, yes. Oh my God, yeah, like that. I'm trying again the mentality of like what kids do for their pets because they want their pets to be happy and it's stuff like sticking cute decorations on them you know and putting they, they have good intentions even though the pet probably has no idea what you're doing but like yeah well like what they do with fish tanks where they put like stick on decorations to make the fish tanks look cooler and they're like oh yeah my fish is really gonna love that when in reality the fish probably has no idea what you're talking about right but the, the, the sentiment is good. They're trying to make things cool for their fish. And that's the, <laughs> that's the vibe. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like when they give dogs like human toys and stuff, they're like, yeah, because I like this toy. You're going to like this toy. And that is kind of vibes. That's kind of what I'm, I, I'm going on of like, what would, a, what would a child do? And I think they would make like a cute little background with like bushes and maybe some trees like so where they felt like their bird could be really happy even though in reality the bird probably has no idea what's going on <laughs> but the thoughts are pure and nice there we go and Get like one around here and here. Nice big fluffy trees and to make that line up in a minute, that's okay. There you go. <laughs> I think that I think I think that's what they would do, right? They do something like that and it's like, you mean the best and we appreciate you for that. <laughs> I'm making pom-poms for my kittens to play with. Oh, also Schlees, welcome in on our YouTube. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Ah oh dear, we're getting in the, the mind of a kid making cute things for their bird friend that they love very, very much. <laughs> oh dear. I think that's pretty cute. I think there's a little, there's a whole little world in there. Jelly, Atlantic, how are you doing? Welcome on in. How goes it? How are things in Atlantic world? I hope they... Who's calling me? Someone's calling me. Can you, if, if it's you, can you not call me anymore? <laughs> because I'm busy streaming right now. I can't answer my phone. I can't answer while I'm live. Otherwise everyone's gonna hear my private phone calls. That's no good. So could you, could you call me back when I'm not live? Thank you. I actually don't know who the number is. It is, it is a, a spam number. I'm like 99% sure. There we go. Cute. Cute. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> all right. I think we can start working a little bit more on this. Yo! Get, oh my God, listen up. Here's a story. God, I got so much to say. Lives in, he lives in a little blue world all night. Oh, the anime, thank you for liking the YouTube as well. Probably have a weird question. How do you pick characters to cosplay? Um, I am in a position, unfortunately, where I have been cosplaying for so long. I have a folder with like a hundred characters in it. <laughs> <laughs> which I which I will scroll through and be like, hmm, are any of these a good option right now? Maybe they are. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, dear. Double D, double D. 
Ophi! Ophi, oh my god! Welcome, you raided at a very loud time! Ophi, how was your stream? For anyone who doesn't know Ophi, Ophi does massive cross-stitch pieces. Absolutely huge. And actually, we were speaking about Zelda earlier. If any of you are Zelda fans, Ophi is doing an absolutely massive Zelda here. I don't know if they were working on that today, but I know they are working on it. Uh, they're welcome on in Crayon and Valiant and Elizara and Akuma and Jay and Hath and Onion and Billiam and Alfred uh, and... Oh. I think, did I catch everyone? Uh, Ophi as well. Uh, also Ophi, maybe. <laughs> Come on in, Ophi. What is going on in the background? Well, <laughs> you joined us while we were having a party. I'm looking to apply for natural. Ooh, are you? Good luck. If you are applying for that, best of luck. I hope that it goes well. You got this. You got this. The Ophi bus is coming. Damn, there's a big raid. Ophi, what the hell were you doing today? I was supposed to work with you, but the wrist pain was too much. So you played Professor Layton? Do you enjoy Professor Layton? That is the only game. Why is there so much fluff around today? That is the only game I've ever played on DS because I borrowed someone else's DS to play it and I loved it. I hope you had a good one. Yes, don't forget Ophi. She probably mentioned Ophi. <laughs> welcome on in. Sorry, Raiders. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, my name's Jelly. I'm actually normally a cosplay crafter. You'll normally see me doing embroidery and sequins and beads. However, however, we are about to make an animation, our second animation, purely out of embroidery. We've done it once before. We're about to do it again. And it's using my own OCs, which are goblins. This is my little friend. I love him. He is a zombie goblin, a zoblin. And we're going to be using, making him an animation for when he crawls out of the grave, but using only embroidery threads. So I wanna get a bit better at designing and making goblins. So people from the community have very, very kindly offered up their OCs and I have been goblinifying them. So basically they're like, here's my OC, turn them into a goblin. And so we have, and here are all of the OCs so far. We have turned into goblins. Uh, we also have a second page because we're on the second page now. We have 20 to do. Uh, we also have a very big fellow over here. We love them very much. And right now we're working on Powers in chat, who is like a little astronaut goblin. <laughs> They're very hecking cute. Also, when I say embroidered animation, I can give you an example. Also, Crow, thank you for the follow. It's very kind of you. Uh, we entered the Iron Mouse animation competition late last year, and we used only hand embroidery. And this is kind of what it looks like. Get ready. All right, thank you. Part of the country club. <laughs> I feel like I should get my class first, you know. You have to be a part of the country club, Connor. Play along. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd love to join the country club. Good. I got my snakeskin boots Four ready. Four big guys, and they stole my eyes. They eat my asses like apple pie. If they keep <laughs> me like this, I might just die. They pipe my booties till I cry. He lit my in the start dripping. Check a back. It tastes like lemon pepper chicken. He throw me up in the air. My booties. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Ah, it should have been me, not him. It's not fair. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> so it's very stop motion esque because obviously you're embroidering it frame by frame. Um, I do a technique called Fred painting, which is a little different to what Ophi does. It's a bit more messy, unfortunately, than what Ophi does. This is what all the frames look like at the end as well. We finished embroidering 124 frames for that 30 second piece. <laughs> But we're gonna go bigger this time because I've learned things. Uh, my brain, it's expanded. We can do bigger and better. So I'm getting used to drawing goblins because you do have to draw all the frames digitally, print them out and then embroider them. So I still have to get used to drawing them digitally. And that's why we're here practicing to get better so that we can do another one of those. Oh, uh, damn. Dabble dee, dabble die. I was supposed to work on it, but the rest, yeah, that's fair. That's very fair. Definitely don't forget Ophi. Ah oh dear, and we played the fascinated too. Definitely haven't got irrationally upset at anything. <laughs> Hell yeah, embroidery animation. So many goblins. Why do the goblins look so cute? I love goblins. I think goblins are underutilized. We've had a few goblin artists popping by though, and it's so nice to see other people making their goblins and how they do it. I got. I think goat's goblin needs to be a little taller. You think they need to be taller? You think? <laughs> This poor fella, look at them. They have so much hair detail as well. Like, look at all, look at all this work that's being hidden by the fact that they're just like there. <laughs> oh my god, Astro Goblin! Yeah, we got a little Astro Goblin. I wanted to try needle painting. It's really fun, very very fun. I am very biased towards it because I do it, but I find it really fun. We make like a when we. Wait, there, there we go. Here's a goblin's. Here's a little goblin needle painted piece, or we, what do I call it? Fred painting. Yeah. Here they are. They're my little friends. We also do like, you know, characters people are more likely to know, like Vivi, we have some Final Fantasy ones. I did a really big one from Spirited Away. 
earlier this year, which I think is still, I think it's my favorite one so far. Um, it's, it's done with gold thread, so it sparkles, but I don't know how obvious that's gonna be to you, but I'm very proud of that one. That one? Yeah, that's, that's got me. But yeah, no, we can't put that much detail in when it comes to animation because you have to do so many frames. So it takes a little bit longer. <laughs> but that's why it's important to be able to draw them out because God, oh dear. You should be that Ross. I'm really pleased with that one. I, instead of outlining it in like a darker color, I outlined the whole thing in like a, a metallic gold thread and I just love it. It's so shiny. Also Kit, good morning. Welcome on in, how you doing? I hope you're doing good. Just breathtaking. And like, they don't even take that long. <laughs> Like, I think that one took 22 hours, which might seem bad, but actually, no, you came in with Ophi. <laughs> it doesn't seem bad at all. 22 hours to finish a piece? Yeah, that's not bad at all. I think Ophi's on, like, several hundred hours. <laughs> How many hundreds of hours is Ophi's piece in? I know it's a lot. So, yeah, no, actually, my pieces, comparatively to Ophi's, uh, actually really quick. Really, really quick. Really small, really quick pieces. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, we normally every month we'll have a community vote where we vote on one embroidery that people want to see made because we can get it done in a week or so normally. The, the the Spirited Way one took a little longer, but we could normally get it done in a few days, right? But this month, because we're going to be making an animation, kind of instead of doing a community vote, we're just making free art for people. <laughs> I'm not the best artist in the world. I'm, I'm more embroidery focused, so traditional art is still something, like, I guess digital art is still something that I'm like, practicing a lot but uh yeah no so we're making we got we're making it for at least 20 people at the moment and maybe more in the future because i i will say i've been having a really good time with this um like it's it's been really really fun like getting all the little eccentricities in and adding little bits and bobs i've been having a really good time that's it reference for people for my stream that's like a little more than a week's worth of streams yeah yeah no they're really quick um i think so far Pomni took a while because of the background, because Pomni has like a lot of background stuff and filling. This one took about 18 hours, I think. And then the, so this one was 22 hours, which is smaller, but because this is thread painted one, one piece at a time, whereas this is three pieces at a time, there are ways you can make it quicker. But yeah, most of these you can finish within a week if you want to, if you go for it hard, right? You can finish them within a week. It's just like a week of a lot of work. I do like the Pomni one as well. I, lo I love my little friend Pomni. Just a little frayed, she's just a little frayed. She's just a little Pomni. It's a little teeny tiny Pomni. We, we try to go a bit more neon with her and I love her. I actually, I, lo I love her too. Not as much as the Spirited Away one, I'm sorry, but I still love her. Ah oh dear. Sits on sleeves. You are the source of my cookies. <laughs> Ah <laughs> oh dear, those are excellent. Yes, no, you're fine. Ophi, go look after yourself. Thank you so much for popping by and sharing my goblins with all of your community. I do other things that aren't goblins, but it is going to be goblins for a while. So if you follow today, there's going to be goblins. We're doing goblins pretty much for the next few months straight, but I just really like goblins. They're just a really good vibe. Um, we've been writing a little bit of a backstory for some of them and it's been a it's very out of what I normally do again I normally just I normally do embroidery right normally the embroidery artist. That's what I do But uh, it's been really really fun to, to, to experiment with something a little different and also Because we've been doing something that's slightly different I've met a lot of new people which are really really nice and also really appreciate goblins We've also found a lot of people that were already in the community that are like, yeah, you know I've never had a good opportunity to talk about it before, but I also like goblins and it's like, oh <laughs> We all love goblins great. I finished off the eyes that I like with the model and I'm changing them again. Oh my God. Prism prism why I mean listen, I can't say that I haven't done the same thing but lord <laughs> The work the workload it just gets bigger Ah oh dear, well these- ah oh dear. I should have hidden under the blankets while you were chasing the thrown cookies. Yeah, at this point it's too late. They understand now. They know where they're coming from. They- they got- they want them from the source. Understood. Understandable. They were too cutesy and I want to be cool. Oh, that is a vibe to be fair. Actually, respectful and I get it. The amount of times I've drawn something that I'm like, it's really cute. And then I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this the vibes that I'm trying to be? Am I trying to have cute vibes? No, no, I'm not actually. God damn it! You, you can it was it that you can be really proud of the work you've done and still not have it be right. <laughs> it's still still not quite correct. I feel that. I I do get that. Yeah, listen, understood. You you have my full support in your in your cool eye, self expression. 
Oh, there, there we go. Get that in there. Get a, li get a little bit of this in there. A little bit of that in there. A little bit of this here. There you go. Slightly thicken the hands up because otherwise, we because we've just drawn all this. I will say that's going to be a lot more subtle. Yeah, when we when, when we remove all of this, the lines are a bit more obvious. I do really like that. They're, they're, they're another little old one, and I think it's really cute. Oh dear. Yes, this was Powers OC that we are, we, again, we are kind of very much reimagining this one because they are definitely not a goblin. A lot of emphasis is on their body and we were redesigning everything as goblins, which means that the goblin bodies are not so dissimilar. You can have like a strong goblin or a young goblin or an old goblin, but they're all vaguely round, <laughs> pear-shaped, but sometimes upside down pear if they're particularly strong, like, like Somne, for instance is an upside down pair because they're meant to be particularly strong but generally most of the goblins are not like i think you'd have to have a particular job type to be that level of strong and most of the goblins don't seem like that they don't seem like they'd have those jobs <laughs> i think we have two specifically quite buff goblins and everything else is a little softer a little softer <laughs> oh dear Gotta boyify those eyes. If I'm too cute, I still was told what's I was creepy and I, I still need to be that. Yeah. That'd be creepy. That, no, that's a vibe. That's a VTubing vibe right there. Yeah, I thought I could be a cute, cute bean, but I then someone said I could be creepy and now, well, that's the goal. Oh dear. I like smug. Smug is my favorite. I like rigging in smug faces. I enjoy being a smug bean. Very fun. I mean, I'm often- I need smug, but I also need shock, because I'm often not smug. Or, like, I'll be smug for two seconds, and then someone puts me in my place, and I'm like, oh, damn it. So, those are the ones that I always needed. But I also, you know, would put up when I'm- that's when I'm making VTuber models for myself. If I was making them for other people, I guess the considerations are quite different. You want to have, like, I guess a standard range, but, yeah, for myself, smug. I want smug eyes. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I like- I, I like this. That's a bit out there, but I think I think we can work with this. I think it looks pretty cool, and I think the hand is looking pretty good. And yes, happy happy hacking days. It takes a bit, but when it gets there, it's a really nice feeling. Is that from this? Yes, it is. Is that from this? Yes, it is. Let's just get that in there, and then let's neaten that up a bit. I'll be honest, I thought I was going to have to redraw these hands from scratch, so I'm quite happy that that hasn't been the case. I drew them quickly before break because I didn't want to have to come back from break and then immediately draw hands because they're like the hardest thing. Mm, Alright, again, we're going more Talon-esque with our goblins, so they have like more talon feet and more talon hands when they're not wearing shoes, that is. In this case, they've got astronaut boots on, of course. I am a goblin with wheels and interchangeable engines! I would love that. Like a little steampunk goblin. You wouldn't be our first steampunk goblin either. We do have, uh, we have Grobbit who I think goes a little bit more steampunk-esque with their design. So you would fit in. You would already fit into the world, I promise. Uh, dear, can we get settling starting, uh, by the things they say? I have big eyes and no riz! <laughs> oh no. I need to rig a lot with eyebrows and my eyes because I use those a lot in my own expressions. Express a lot with my eyes, yeah, and the same type that smiles with their eyes. I love reading eyes, they do say a lot. The stepfather of my friend once said I smile like an anime character. I'm a very expressive person so I need to put my whole Prius into it. My, I, I'm, I have no idea what a Prius is, so I can't stop you. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm so, so sorry, I'm but an ignorant bean. I'm not sure what that is, but good for you. Unless it's a bad thing, in which case I'm really sorry. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. Okay. I think just the edge of this and then we should be. I'm really glad we went slightly different with the shape, to be honest. Just to make it a little bit more interesting than just a bloop, the bloop, there you go. That in there. And I think it, I can make that a little neater. Also, oh, I didn't say, for anyone who popped in with Ophi, if you're wondering why I'm drawing a bit odd and I'm not using line weights, uh, I'm not really a digital artist, so I don't really have the setup. I just do all of my drawings with mouse and keyboard, uh, which means that when it comes to things like adding line weights and stuff, I have to go back in and do it manually because 
I, I don't have the technology. <laughs> One day I will, I will have the technology, but right now I do not have the technology. So I go back in and I manually add all of my line weights, but I don't think you can really tell too much once it's done. I think it just looks like the style. But yes, that's why I draw the lines first and then I go back and I'm like, oh yeah, let's get a little bit thicker there and then let's just put that there and then have that go into there and then put that in there, have that come out a bit further, put that back into there. Yes, uh, that's that's why it looks like that. Mouse drawing, gang, yeah, I, I like drawing by mouse and keyboard, but I will buy a tablet at some point. I have promised people that, uh, but not for this project because I, I just don't have time. Like, <laughs> this is this is quite imminent. So when I have a bit more time, I, I will look at it a bit more and see what I like and what I don't like and test some things out and I will then get a tablet. Because that's the thing, I, I'm being quite picky with when I get a tablet because I already enjoy drawing with mouse and keyboard, so I have to enjoy drawing with this tablet more than I enjoy mouse and keyboard. And if I don't, there's no point in me getting it, is my thought process. So yeah, I will do some testing until I find something that I like. But until then, we'll just be going in and thickening everything up. Person with like boyfriend's eyes, he's just a little guy and I find his way of looking at things. He's just so kind, he's a gentle look in his eyes. Why does everyone seem scared of technology? Well, you do hang out with a lot of people that focus on very traditional skills, right? <laughs> ah, technology! <laughs> I do. Wait, wasn't that a, wasn't that like a meme where someone's like, technology, and it's like, oh. <laughs> mouse drawing gang. Oh wait, you draw with a mouse. I do draw with a mouse. Yeah, I'm sorry. But like, listen, you can have your mouse drawing gang. Don't really do digital art, but when I do it, I do it in Blender with a mouse. I get made fun of. I will say no one's made fun of me. People are just like, would you ever buy a tablet? And I'm like, eh, eh. Me. maybe if I use this more. But since, since it seems like I might be using it more, and to be honest, I have used one for quite a while. I've been doing quite a bit of digital art the last few years, more than I normally would. I Maybe I'm getting to a point where it's like, if it makes a lot of things significantly easier, eh, you know? Maybe. Maybe. I I'm considering my options right now, but I, I do think it would somewhat make sense at this point. There we go. Specifically only though if it makes my life easier. If it doesn't make it easier, then I'm not interested. Go. That's not quite right either. There you go. That's a bit better. Nice. Yeah, they were just in the wrong, the wrong order, but they are now in the right order. They look great. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. <laughs> it's a meme. Yeah. I thought it was. Oh dear. You are a mouse who draws. Not yet. I'm sorry. Soon, maybe, but not yet. I find a digital artist helps me uh, because I can do it from when I'm in bed. Yeah, which is very fair. I have heard a lot of positive testimonies about digital art over the last week or so that we've been doing these. To be honest though, I'm kind of welcoming it. It's It's been really interesting to hear why people switch to digital art from traditional. As someone who is potentially looking to do more of the same, I'm like, well, what's your reasoning? Can I, can I understand that? And there are some people who give reasons where I'm like, yeah, that's not me personally. Like, fair enough for you, but that doesn't ma matter for me. But then there are other people putting in their, like, two cents, and I'm like, oh yeah, that would actually, that would actually be a benefit to me too. So I think what I want to do is test some things out. I do have some friends with drawing tablets. So when I'm, when I'm doing a little hot, hotter, I'll maybe go over to their house and be like, can I try your tablet and see what I think? Uh, and then yeah, go from there. But I, I don't have any rush on it. I'll do that at some point. I don't need to do it now. Ah, <coughs> oh, damn, I'm a rat that is in love. It's what I said to the me and my friends as my sona. I am rat. You're a good rat. Rat hole. The, uh, the acceptance of a rat, rat Bodhi is a fault of Vile's chat though. Does not surprise me. That's, that feels like something Vile would do. I'm so sorry. <laughs> or, it's, or I'm glad for you. We will still evolve into mouse and join Grey Mouse game. We will. We'll evolve. I'll turn from a jellyfish into a into a well, I guess more like a slime. I'm, I'm a jellyfish esque slimy thing into a what do you call it? A mouse. <laughs> oh dear. Soon. Soon. Tablet is also great for hospital time or sensory overload in public space. So I can find a corner and just draw. Yeah. I my fear is to be honest. Be be vulnerable for a second here. A tablet is a screen, and the one thing that I am meant to limit a day is screen time and chocolate. But screen time's a really big one, and my fear is if I fall too much into the 
I'll, I'm doing digital and that's what I want to do, that I will no longer be able to do art for as long as I'd like because I'll make myself ill and get migraines and stuff like that. I know there are things you can do to put on screens to protect them, uh, but as someone who has tried all of those, I can pretty confidently say they've never worked for me, unfortunately. So I do have some fears, yeah? And that's part of the reason I've always been so hesitant about tablets is because I'm like, it is a screen. And, you know, after stream, one of my favorite things to do is to like do some doodles and stuff like that when I'm watching somebody else's stream. But if I was going to like a tablet more consistently, I couldn't do that. So I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm weighing up my options, I suppose. It's like, again, it's something that I would like to test, but I wouldn't go buying one head first. And I would definitely wouldn't like, I know a few people have very kindly been like, you can have my second hand one, which is really, really sweet of you. And normally I'm very, very for that. But in this particular case, I'm like, I think I need to do some tests with it first, where I see what kind of effects it has on me. Because to be honest, even the digital art streams have not been the easiest. And like, that's part of the reason I've been so strict on like, we go for six hours, but we don't go for too much longer because the times where I have gone for longer, I've been not the wellest, not as well as I'd like to be, that's for sure. So I'm having to be a little, a little strict on myself, unfortunately, which just sucks because I'm having such a good time drawing the goddamn goblins. I don't want to stop drawing goblins. If I could do like a 10 hour stream drawing goblins, oh, I'd be, I'd be all on it. But yes, n no. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not gonna be me. I can do a 10 hour stream doing smocking though, or embroidery, now that, now that I can do. It's probably really lucky that I do like a lot of very traditional skills, honestly, because I do. Embroidery, embroidery and beading and sequining and cosplay are still all of the things I love the most. So it's probably, it's probably a good thing that those are the ones that I really, really like. So I don't really feel like I'm missing out on very much. But yes, I do have some, some slight hesitation. But I'm also not against giving it a go. Like, cause what the worst case scenario is I try someone else's tablet and I find it doesn't work well for me. Oh no, at least I gave it a go. And it's not like I've lost anything because I've been drawing with mouse and keyboard for years now. It's not like I can't just go back to it. So I, I, I have come around a little bit more to at least trying it. And yeah, my, my, my goal basically is when I have a little bit more time to give it a go see how I find it. If it doesn't go very well, that's okay. If it goes really well, amazing. New options. I'm trying to be a bit more open-minded, you know? <laughs> Trying new things. Being less afraid of technology. <laughs> oh dear. Yay! <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, I really, I really like you. He's so cute. That's my limit on drawing tablets for sure. I find happy with traditional skills. I cannot replicate the te techniques I know in IRL and digital. Have you seen the gay rat stream? I have not. Two gay rat wedding. I have not seen this. <laughs> no. Oh dear. Make our mouse and especially jiggly mouse. I could. I could be like a a slime that's decided to become a mouse. Yeah. I feel like that's possible. There's a possibility there. I could. I could be something in the middle. Not quite slime. Not quite mouse. Mime? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> oh dear. Slouse? Why is mouse and, and mouse and slime are not easy words, it seems, to make sound good together. I mean I guess I could go for slouse. I don't I don't know. I don't know if I wanna be slouse. Uh and then just get this over this. And then get some nice baggy. Baggy, baggy trousers. I like this. Yes. He, <laughs> there he is. Oh, <laughs> his trousers are too big. We fight for gay rats. <laughs> It's a teach from Afro Marriage, another man of the show. <laughs> Wait, I kind of love that. I haven't seen a whole lot of Arthur, to be honest. Uh, to, to, yeah, just to, like, get that out there quickly. I haven't seen a whole lot. However, I do know the show you're talking about. And uh, I didn't know that was the case. But I like that. That's cute. Okay, I'm gonna give them slippers, kind of. 
but uh, I'm going to get actually I'm gonna get those slippers I might put some little patches on them so they're a little more detailed than just plain slippers so I might put like some little space patches on them or even maybe some bird patches like some little wings or something 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 that's a little bit more detailed on there and then that's gonna be the bit at the bottom which we'll have to use the smaller pen on we can work this out go that's too far isn't it that's too far i've taken things too far again uh, i want to go donk donk and then donk and then donk donk like so yeah something like this just a lot of creases just a lot of little creases <laughs> oh dear He's trying, but his, his trousers are just too big. It's too big. <laughs> oh dear. Smouse. A sweet mouse. Become Scouse. <laughs> Become Scouse. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's the way to go. Oh dear. Slime. Mouse. Equals. Scouse. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. You're right. This is why you're the artist. You've got that- you got that brain. That imaginative brain. Hell yeah. I like that. I'm gonna become Scouse. I don't know if that is something you can become later in life, but I'm gonna become Scouse. <laughs> oh dear. No one is ready for my Scouse arc. There we go. And get that in there. Oh god. Oh lord. Oh lord, 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 lord. There we go. Nice. Oh dear. Reminds me of the name Klaus. Yeah. Uh, his mum got him the big boy pants. They did. Like his mum was like, oh, she's he's really into he's really into the, all of this like uh, astronaut stuff, but it only comes in adult sizes. But you know he can grow into it. And then they they give him this. And you know what? He loves it. He will grow into it. There we go. And then... Oh. Nice! And... Nice. There we go. We got some little shapes. More like that. More like that. Yeah! Yeah! He's gonna- he's gonna grow into them when he gets a bit older, but for now they're a little- little long for him. But that's okay. He doesn't mind. He's just happy to have proper astronaut pants. That's so cool. Also, I don't know when I started calling them pants. The American the American influence of media has been getting to me. And I've started to call trousers pants, which is not great. Because definitely pants means something else over here. <laughs> underwear. Not as underwear. Oh dear. I'm sure that's not just me though. I watch a lot of Americans and they're rubbing off on me. And now... I'm also American. <laughs> I have no excuse, really. <laughs> oh, oh my god, he's so slouchy! Oh my god. Yeah! Oh dear. Just sitting here waiting for you to read my Scouse joke. I, it took me a minute, I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm flying a line in my eye at the time. I did not move. You're like, she's gonna say it. I am, in fact, Scouse. Oh dear. Thank you, thank you. It did make me giggle. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. And get all of this a little bit bigger. There's his belly. And then we've got that on this side. And go a little thicker on there. There we go. Nice. And I think, I think that looks, that's a, pr that's a pretty good leg right there. Oh God, stop zooming in. There you go. One, one leg. Small bean. <laughs> oh dear. Doing what to you? Excuse me. Excuse you. Oh dear. They're they're rubbing off on me. Is that not the phrase? Yeah, that, that, that is the phrase, right? They're rubbing off on me. The Americans. I watch a lot of Americans, and they're rubbing off on me, and they're making me call trousers pants. <laughs> trousers are not pants in this country, but they are making me say it. I hear too much pants and not enough trousers. And now I say I'm calling them that. 
There we go. Little space boots. Little space boots. It's got like British sign term that's offensive. Does it? Wait, what? Wait, you're not talking. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm gonna Google it because I'm not sure what you're talking about. It's just an accent. Yeah, I was gonna say Scouse is an accent. It's from a, it's a person who lives in, in Liverpool. I don't believe it's offensive. <laughs> uh, Scouse offensive? Is is Scouse offensive? No, it's not. They but there are words that are specifically in Scouse that are offensive. <laughs> But they are like s slang for the area. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh dear. I was gonna say like I'm like 99% sure that's just a regional dialect. <laughs> like <laughs> I like to double check though because I I don't want to say anything that offends anyone generally. Like I make goblins and embroidery online. But uh no no no. Scouse is like yeah it's just people from a certain area and I think that's a joke that gray rat uh gray rat. Oh my god now that's offensive. Grey Mouse was making was because uh, it's a different dialect. It's not the dialect that I have. Ah, oh, dear. And that's that's kind of the joke. Oh. I appreciate I appreciate you keeping me on my toes. It is important to be kept on one's toes. There we go. Get that nice big old boot. Nice big old boot. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, we love trousers, crisps, and elevators. We do. But wait, no, lifts, not elevators. Trousers, crisps, and lifts. <laughs> I'll say butter and better instead of butter and better. I literally said them the same way. Do not eat scouses. No, it's a liver puddle food. Scran, I mean. Uh, no, like you call someone scouse, but because they shit, not actually offensive. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I, I don't. I think it's. I, I've only ever heard of it as like a. You're from Liverpool. Or you sound like you're from Liverpool, maybe. Ah, <laughs> uh, the lamb scouts. It's diver shoe. So it's a scouts a Liverpool traditional dish. Yeah, yeah. It's all Liv it's all Liverpool stuff. It's all the Liverpudlians. It's a great word. Scouts is fine, but Liverpudlian. Liverpudlian. I feel like we're sleeping on Liverpudlian there. You know. I just feel like it's better. Liverpudlian is so fun. It does sound odd, to be fair. But it's also real fun. Liverpudlian. <laughs> I love it. It's such it's such a fun mouth word. Liverpudlian. Love it. Go. Okay, that's a nice round shoe. Oh my god. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that one. Uh, bad for your feet and possibly constantly on the show. It's very true, very true. <laughs> oh dear. What's the other type of stew? Mop, welcome on in. Scouser, okay, food, okay, from. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The food is named them Scouser, yeah. I agree so much. Liverpudlian is brilliant. It's just such a good word. Such a fun word. Liverpudlian. Oh. I mean, Scouser's is fine, but it's just not quite the same, is it? It doesn't have quite the same ring as Liverpudlian. Oh dear. There we go. Get that around there. That's a very big. Actually, is that too much? Have I gone too far? That might have gone too far. Also, I don't know if I said, but Mop, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. We're still working on goblins. Still goblin season here. We've got many goblin. Oh, where did I go? We've got many goblins to make. This is our little space goblins. So I've just given them little space boots so they can walk on, on the moon. They're a bit young right now, but when they're a bit older, they could probably walk on the moon with these. There we go. Uh, uh, I'm trying to imagine a non-native person saying Liverpudlian and Scouser might be easier. Yes, oh, don't get me wrong, Liverpudlian is not an easy word to say. Uh, it's a long word, and it's- I, you could pronounce it probably in a couple different ways. I feel like with how British goes a lot of the way, or a lot of the time, so <laughs> probably Scouse is easier. <laughs> oh, the, all right, let's get the trousers in on this side. Uh, since that is basically- we, we're, we're getting pretty close with this one. This one's getting closer to done now at this stage although we have been working on them for a few hours so you know what that might make sense it might make sense that they're getting close to done because we've been working <laughs> and we've also been pretty productive i would say like you know we've had a few distractions here and there but generally i think we've actually been really good today uh you know we've uh we've we've watched some distractions when they've come up but generally we're pretty good like, look at all this Got a lot of progress done. Uh, 
Uh, is that what I want? Yeah. Oh, no, actually, not quite. I think I want more like that. There you go. Yeah. Get that outline in there. Good. And then you won't see the the shoe bit on this side, I don't think, because it... Oh, mm. or maybe you could have this bit be the shoe bit. Yeah, okay, okay, we could do that. We could do that. We can have this bit be the shoe bit. Yeah, it could be like a little wobbly, and I think I think that would work. Otherwise... I can probably get rid of this for a bit. But we'll still have to get the tail bit in. The tail? It's not really a tail, but it's what we're using as a tail. Oh dear. Plus fell into the joke, Craig. Ferguson made once in the show, so a reference you didn't know about. Nice! Georgie is because uh, George is a common name in the Northeast, especially for fit men. London has used Georgie after... Oh, Geordie is after George Stephenson. That's really interesting. I uh, literally... This is the thing. You could live in a country and still know absolute nothing. Me. Great example. Had no idea of any of that, honestly. But it's very hecking cool. Cool trivia. Oh dear. And in there. And get that in there. And get that up there. There you go. And get that one in there. And I kind of good i think that's pretty good yeah i like i like this i just need to make it look a little neater it's pretty okay yeah yeah sometimes i feel like i spend forever on the same thing with these folds and then other times they just, i don't know they just work first time i'm not sure what happens i'm not sure what the difference is sometimes they take forever <laughs> and sometimes they take no time at all other non-native english speaker i find liver puddly and easy to say than skilly <laughs> <laughs> Why is that a <laughs> But fair enough. <laughs> oh, good. Good words. Sorry. Sorry, Rebecca. Good morning. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. That got me a little bit there. So of all the words to say, yeah, you're right. Liver Podly is easier than Skilly Scrabble. <laughs> oh, dear. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh god, I can't afford to cry anymore though because, sorry, I, my, it's not, I'm not crying because of I'm being upset or anything. I got hay fever today and it means my eyes keep running, but then if I laugh too hard, I'm just like, <laughs> on a skittle daddle. I like your line, it reminds me of Tim Burton and Don't Starve. Don't Starve is the one we've had before, so mega good morning. Yeah, we've had a couple people mention Don't Starve, and while it's not a game that I've played myself, it's an art style I like a lot. So I definitely, I definitely do not mind. If people see "Don't Starve" in my in my line work, not not gonna complain. Not gonna complain at all. Definitely not gonna be mad at that one. Uh, so thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh dear. It's it's really just out of necessity because I don't have any other way of doing line work because again, mouse and keyboard. You just kind of work, build up a little bit at a time. But if it can give people those kind of vibes, oh, I can take that. I'll take that. That's nice. Hell yeah. Ah oh dear. Skedaddle? Skedaddle! I'm not sure. Skiddy scatter scrabble. I heard a show where two people were arguing and a kid stopped them. <laughs> Shit, this bizarre just is uh stream streak is unbreakable. How you doing? How you doing, Shifty? I hope you're doing well. We have we are making a little astronaut goblin today. Uh we have been we've been goblin all over the place. Specifically astronaut vibes today though. Although this guy, we need to do the tail. It's actually pretty close to done. We've uh, we've done a lot of them already. We've already kind of been working around thickening up the lines here and there just to make it look a little nicer. And at this stage, it's basically just the tails and any detail texture work I decide to add in. And then we're done, which is pretty good. Like, look at him. He's so cute. He's so cute. He needs this little like tail thingy though, which is like the bit that connects him to stuff. He needs that. Uh, but as a little, as far as just our little guy goes, I love him. Ah, uh, David, good morning, welcome on in, how are you doing? Skedaddle is a good word, it is. Mouse and keyboard artist is W. Yeah, I've, I, don't, I don't do a lot of digital art, I'm, a, I'm an embroidery artist, so I've never invested in, uh, in other things, because I do embroidery, that's what I do. So, uh, it's been, honestly, it's been a nice little adventure to try something a bit different, and especially when it's something you already love. I love goblins. I love drawing goblins. They're super fun. All right, let's get some little some little lines here and there for all of this because 
I would like to, I'd, I'd like to remember it. If I don't do this now, I will forget. And also the same thing for the bottom of the shoe. Just needs bonk and bonk and another maybe like a little donk and dink there. Maybe a little donk. That bonk in there and then some donk. So they look like proper space boots. And then we can decide if we want to add any like patches or anything. Which, the boots actually look pretty good. I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking about it. The option is on the table, but I'll have a little think. We still have the tails to draw anyway, so I have time before I have to make that decision. Which is nice. Donk. 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 Make it a little bit better. And then bonk. 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 Bonk and bonk. Nice. And if I zoom out then, yeah, they look pretty they look pretty good. And uh, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with that. I have not saved for a while, so let's get that in there. I love him as Gobbo Jelly. I love him too. Oh his face looks like a cute onesie and mum put him. It does. It's like too big for him. It's very baggy. Can't stay. No, you're fine. I hope work goes well, Shifty. Thank you for popping by. Ah, oh, dear little waddle. Go just lagging a bit for work. Oh, I hope your work I hope everyone's work goes well. Oh my god. I hope it all goes good. Alright. We need to tackle this. This tail. Which I have not decided, but I might do a second one of. I'm thinking, okay, two seconds. Let me let me get my thinking pen out. I'm thinking if we have this one here, right? And we have it go in like this. Very cute. Because the original character has a tail. So we've been trying to find creative ways to avoid just putting a tail on them because the goblins that I draw do not have tails, but to still have the uh, the effect of like, well, you know, there's something there that is tail-esque. So if I have that one there, my thought was, I could have another one. Here. I don't know, is it double the work? Yeah, but like, what if? What if our little friend had two tails? One in there and one in there. I don't know. That's just kind of what my brain is thinking of, is it'd be kind of cool to have a second tail. Plus, I feel like with the astronaut theming, would it kind of make sense? Sort of. I don't know. I'm, I'm deciding. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Of whether or not that would look nice or not it's tricky isn't it especially when you're messing with somebody else's design because just to be clear as well this this is not my original character i am redesigning someone else's original character as a goblin in this case it's power so in chat you should see power there in in this case it's powers so you know how much far i go and such you don't want to take it too far away from the original do you even though i'm putting the goblin spin on it I don't, want to, I don't want to take it too far away from its origin, but I am tempted. I am tempted to do something. Like I think it wouldn't come out this far. I think it'd be more like deer, maybe. We like to party. We like. We like to party. We like to party. We like. We like to party. We like to party. We like. We like to party. Something like that. Yeah. Kind of looks like a goblin. Do you have? Do you have? If you're not in the Discord, Mega, you're more than welcome to join. A lot of people have been sharing that. Wow. If you like to party, come on and move your body. I'm I'm happy either day. Oh, would you idea? Thank you. That's very kind of you. But I don't know. It's tricky. It's very tricky. I think. I think I might do two. Also, just to have like a little bit of something of interest in this space, I'll just doodle it in a little bit because right now I've I've been shifting it around. So if I have like the thing here, and I don't know if I want to have the the diamond on the end of it, it's the only thing because I don't think that necessarily makes much sense. But we could have because like spacesuit makes sense in a mythological kind of way. But for spacesuits, I feel like you just have like an opening. But what I could do is on this side, I could angle it so that the opening looks like... <laughs> God, the, the initial sketches always look so professional. Uh, I could have it so that the opening is facing a little bit more to the camera. You can kind of get an idea of it, like that. Or even have it like there and have like, yeah, this thing like around the edge of it. Yeah, like, like that. And then... 
Yeah, something a bit more like that. I don't know what that would press onto. I'm not an astronaut, unfortunately, but I feel like that could press onto something. And then you'd have these two little bits down. Yeah, yeah. Hasaki, how you doing? Made us. Oh, Hasaki made. Wait, when's the break? Break is in like a few minutes, so we're doing our next Discord art share very imminently. <laughs> All right, let's let's put this down to like a little invisible-ish, and use this as our base. And we'll just we'll just give it a go. And worst comes to worst, if it doesn't look quite right, I can just remove it. I've got it on a separate layer. I have options. Uh, let's get the end bit in first because I feel like that is kind of important. And yeah, since we'll have this on both sides, I think getting that bit in is kind of a big deal. There we go. And get that in there and get that in there. And then we can have that there and also that there. I think that can look pretty good. Okay, then Right, first of all, put this bit here, that's important, and then we have one, two, only two on this side. So between like here, I'm gonna say, and here, oh, okay, so that means one, two, to match up with the other side and then on this side we can we can actually do it quite easily because we can go one two and then three and have them a bit more stretched out like you kind of imagine gravity would make them and on this side i can have one oh god oh one <laughs> And then the next one would just be hidden anyway by the body. Okay, we can we can work with this. We can work with this. Ah uh, dear. Do I send live stream chat PN on Dizzy? You if it's if it's art, you can put it in the art channels, whatever you like, or you can put it in live stream chat. If I'd say yeah, live stream chat's always there for whenever you're not exactly sure where to put it. We all have those days where like the art doesn't quite fit into an art category. So we put it in live stream chat instead. So it's wherever you'd like it to, to be viewed from. We have a lot, a lot of artists in this community. We're very, very blessed with that, to be honest. So it's just kind of up to you. Right. Hmm. Okay. And then go down to five. And... Uh... Uh... Okay. <laughs> one. Okay. And then this one, this one's going to be a little tricky, but that's okay. Two. One. Two, three. Oh no, wait, we need this one as well. Three, four. There we go. Thank you for egg smashes. Oh, that's a nice little curve. Okay, we did it. We managed it. I'm holding my breath no longer. That in there, that in there, that in there. And I'm going to assume just like that in there. And that, oh, is too far in. I will need to thicken up these lines, but I think that's a good base. Yeah, that looks good. It looks just like a little tail. I like it. No progress. I've been doing organizing and cleaning up my tablet to make everything easy. It's taken a lot of time. Saki's been streaming their work as well, Sean. Actually, you know that. You, you sort of... <laughs> Ignore me. I was going to say, Saki's been streaming their work as well, which adds an extra layer of stuff to clean up and such. It's break now. It is break now. <laughs> But I'm so close to finishing this. <laughs> could I could I add five minutes onto onto the break cooldown? Maybe again, just because I would never I would never never normally do that ever. But I just happen to be so close to finishing this, and then we could start a new one straight after. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> Oh dear, yes! Alright, two seconds. I'm gonna cheat. No one saw this. You, none of you saw this, alright? Nobody saw it. Whoa, ten minutes left. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I guess it's nine minutes till the next break. <laughs> oh, I'll be really quick. It's only just because I'm so close to finishing this. And I'm like, it'd be really nice to be able to show you the finished piece 
Uh, especially because the next break we're going on is we're gonna obviously look at all the Discord art first, but it's also right before lunch my time, which means that I might be going on lunch like for a, like a quick 10-15 minutes right after break today. And so it'd be nice if we had this piece done before lunch, just so we can have a look at their little finished cute beanness. There we go, sorry. Curves, oh, always my enemy. Always my enemy. But we get there, also my stomach heard lunch and is like, <gasps> lunch? Yes, it will be lunch in a second, stomach. Just give me a moment. I'm t I just need to finish this goblin and then you can eat. And also we can look at Discord art. Give our eyes a bit of a break. Okay, and I want this build this color. Yeah. Also, sorry, Reigns, thank you for the follow. That's very hacking kind of you. Welcome on in. We're drawing many, many goblins, but this is a little space goblin, a little space friend, um, who I don't believe has a name, actually. It's done by Power, who you may see popping in and out of chat, but I don't think they actually have... Oh, God. I don't think they actually have a name yet. To be fair, though, I vibe with that a lot. Like, when I'm making stuff, it's often not named for a really long time afterwards. Like, I feel like I have to sit with things for a bit before I can come up with names. There we go. Ah, oh dear. Do you hope your tablet all cleaned up? Yeah, I hope so. We're, we are watching. You're not watching. <laughs> it's not one yet anyway. Exactly. It's not one yet. <laughs> Feels like deja vu from yesterday. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you could be right there. Maybe it is something I do more often. Also, my music give even my music's given up. It's like, come on. There you go. Get back in here. Get back in here, you. Alright. Uh <laughs> oh, it's just when you when you're really enjoying what you're drawing and you're like in a groove for it, right? I'm in a groove. I'm in my art groove. I don't wanna I don't wanna go. Alright, I'm gonna do some really, really small ones here. One, two, I think two. And then we'll do that there, and then we'll go one. <laughs> These are gonna be really stretched out on this side. That's one. Oh God, okay, one. And then two. And that's to go one, two, okay. Oh, actually we could do one, two, and then three. It's kind of cheating, but not really, not really. Stomach, please. <laughs> I'm busy being an artist right now. Not now. All right, one, two, three. And then we can, yep, yep, yep. And then that one will come to about here. No, too far. Go to about here. And then we'll do just some really small ones. Going around corners is a bit difficult, to be honest. But uh, we are managing. And I, I like how we're managing. I think we're doing pretty good, honestly. Uh, is that too far, even? I could do that, and then I can go one. Uh, I think we've actually over considered it, maybe? I might be able to even it out a bit with some longer ones anyway. Ah, you know what? I think that's good. Oh, I think that's good, that is. All right, we need one. I don't want it to look the other si same as the other side, so I'm going to do less this time. One two and three because otherwise they're gonna all look the same and that's gonna be kind of boring so then let's go up here one two three <laughs> four five I think it's gonna be, yeah, six, seven, eight, nine, and then maybe we'll go to ten, just because that's a nice easy number to stop at. Okay, sorry, the reason I'm counting as well is just so I can line these up later, it's just that, it's just that. Need to name him uh, in his bird. I'm not hugely great with names. I struggle with names too. So if we can call to hear what items did you sell? Oh yeah, did you sell a lot? Oh my god, Saki, tell us all about it. Were you? Did you manage to get a lot sold? Again, for anyone who doesn't know, Saki 
does a lot of typography art, but they have been doing other types of art as well. And yeah, they did mention that they were one. Sorry, <laughs> they did mention that they were going to be selling two. <laughs> Very heck exciting. I hope it went really well for you. Three. <laughs> Jelly is great. I am not great with names. That is not true. Four. Uh, five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Excuse me. And then we have this one, just like that. And then we'll go to here. One, two, I think that seems fine. And oh God, why can I? Okay, there you go. And then one, two. And then once again, just go like one, Actually, we could do two really big ones. I think that would be fine since it's pretty, it's meant to be pretty stretched out. I think that would look fine. There we go. Okay, so it has none of the lines on it, but hopefully you get the vibe. Yeah, I think, I think the vibe is there. That's a much bigger one, but I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. I think that looks pretty cute. We have three minutes. <laughs> oh dear. We don't change really, do we? It's always like this. That's okay. That's okay. Get that in there, and then five. I'm gonna start on this side because I remember what I'm doing because I just did this. Whereas on the other side, not that I've forgotten, but you know. And then we need to go into here and we need to go one and then two and then this one, wait, 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 wait. One. I see, I see. Okay, sorry, I've, I have confused myself. You know, a second ago when I was like, I'm not gonna confuse myself because I just did that? Lies, all, all lies, vicious lies. I have confused myself, that, that's what I was doing. Okay, it's not quite as dramatic as I thought it was. There we go, and, oh, come on, mouse. You got this, we've nearly finished our first one today. We do have another one to work on after this, we're not done. That's why I said we'll take a lunch break. We're not, oh, is that right? Because then that's bonk, bonk, but no, that's not right. That's not right. I've done something wrong. Uh, is this one maybe going to there? There? No. <laughs> is this one maybe going to there? And to there? Oh Lord. I said I wouldn't get lost, but I am lost. Um, wait, two seconds. If we undo those, right, clearly... <laughs> I'm gonna say this one goes to there, because they just line up so well. They must go to there. Does anyone remember what I said, like, two minutes ago? Because I, I unfortunately do not remember what I said two minutes ago. Oh, wait, that's over, over on the line. I think it's to there, and I think this one goes to there and then oh you can come in shiny has brought me a lunch i'm very appreciative but i need i need to finish these lines oh no, nope no idea it's like what did i say i had a plan my brain had an idea i've just forgotten it okay what if i do that one and then I see, okay, okay, we seem to have got it, I think. It's just taking a bit of finagling, but I think that looks right. I think that looks like what I was planning, right? And then I can just work my way down. <laughs> oh God, you're good. Orti, Orti, you're next on the chopping board. <laughs> your, one is, your one is coming up directly after lunch. How are you doing? I hope things are going good for you. You'll be a goblin soon. Uh, well, I think. Might have to do some stuff like this. And then. That one. 
this one, and then like this. Come on, come on, you got this. You've done it a few times now. You can finish this. Take that in there. There you go. <laughs> and then I think I remember this one. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. That took a thousand percent of my brain there. Two seconds. Get rid of that. Hee <laughs> hee. They have their little they have their little tubes. Hell yeah, I love it. Yay! <laughs> oh god, I got very lost halfway down there. I know I did it two seconds ago, but I already forgot. Well done, three more! Uh, so yeah, I need to Oh, save work. Good point. I need to just do the outlining, which should be relatively quick, do not fear. Because I just want to make them look nice and poppy compared to the rest of it, and then it's done. And it just it just needs its outlines fixed and like certain bits like this to be a bit thicker and darker um, so that it doesn't get lost in the rest of the design. But outside of that, once we've done that, we are done. And then we can do our Discord art share, which is a little overdue at this point, just a tiny bit. Um, and then I can eat some lunch and then we can start our second goblin for the day. And yeah, this is our 14th goblin, which means Orti is the 15th, which means after Orti, five more to go. And I'm not streaming tomorrow because it's Wednesday, uh, but what that means is I could probably- I, I have been given permission to do a couple of goblins off stream, so I'll probably do one of those goblins off stream tomorrow, and then when we come back it means we'll only have four more to go, and <laughs> we do about two a day on average, which means that's why I think we'll be finished on Friday. I think on Friday we'll have our full army of goblins, which is very exciting. Oh dear, there we go. There we are. I love him. Yeah, it's Orti's turn. Orti will be next. Yeah, better late than never. Exactly, exactly. We'll still get there. We'll still get there. I just, it's just, it's like really satisfying about having a lunch break when you've just finished a piece, you know? You're like, ah, oh, I did a good job. I finished this one. And now I can go have some nice lunch. And like, it does look really cool when they're like, Properly, probably outlined, looking nice and finished. Uh, yes, so I'm, I'm more than happy to just spend a minute and, and make them look nice and fitting in with the rest of it. Yeah. Yeah! And then I can have my lunch knowing that I finished one goblin. Go! Up down there. A lot of shorter lines, to be fair. <laughs> but I haven't like, again this whole thing was all about trying to grow as an artist and trying new things that I wouldn't normally do and like let's be honest if you weren't prompted to draw an astronaut would you ever really draw an astronaut I feel like it's kind of out there with a lot of unusual design that you wouldn't just, you just normally wouldn't right maybe you would okay maybe maybe you would but I would not if not fully prompted to draw an astronaut I would not draw an astronaut, ever. Which means I never get better at drawing astronauts because I just wouldn't do it. So yeah, I'm, re I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. My turn, yeah, or to yours is next. Then is it just colored? No, they're not being colored power, sorry. I, I would say I did, I did, I did post and tag people in the discord, I'm sorry. But no, we're not coloring them. Uh, what we're going to do is on when they're all finished, when all the line work is done, I'm going to give people the option about whether they're happy with the community to color them in. And if they're not, then they'll just receive the line work. If they are happy, then the line work will be posted publicly. And then, uh, and then anyone could color it in if they wanted to. But I do not have the time. It would literally take me several months if I was going to color them all in. And like, I mean this in the nicest way possible. It's free art. I, I think at that point I would have to start charging because that's months of my life. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna pay, if everyone wanted to pay me, that'd be maybe, but I don't think, I'm doing this as kind of like a free art for the community thing, so it's not really that vibe. Oh dear. And there we go. Thanks for allowing me to share. No, I'm looking forward to seeing it, Saki, honestly. Uh, the, the only thing that I, the reason that I haven't looked is just because we're so close to finishing this. But genuinely, I'm looking forward to seeing what you've made. And I'm like, again, heckin' congratulations. Oh dear. Having an art stand, not easy. It's very heckin' cool. 
Very heckin' cool. Dropped a whole novel in stream chat? I'm excited. Ah, uh, the most patient streamer happens to you. I wanna- Nah, I'm not that patient. Like, a patient streamer would probably have taken lunch break by now. I'm not that- I'm not that patient. Yay, Camp Cape- uh, Cape- da, 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 da. Camp Plague Princess. So, for some reason, that just would not come out. Yeah. Orti- Orti is a little, uh, a little plague kind of doctor vibe. But they're absolutely terrified of mice. Or, or disease. I think disease was the was the blurb, but we represented disease with a rat. Because if you're if you're doing plague doctor, I feel like rats were seen as like the spreaders of disease, so it kind of suits the vibe. But uh, yes, specifically a plague doctor who is just terrified of disease, and we've represented that with rat. And I'm very looking forward to it. They were the second one we drew, so it's nice as well just to get back to the ones we started with it's kind of just nice therapeutic all coming around you're gonna head to bed no you're fine great again thank you so much for popping by thank you for sharing your panel and for kindly looking away while we complimented you you know it's just british tradition complimenting people to their face what is that oh god no 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 we have to wait till people leave and then like while they're here it's like oh gray mouse oh my god and then Grey Mouse leaves and it's like, guys, did you see the art Grey Mouse made? It was just hecking stunning. We just loved it. All of us love it so much. The way. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know why it's like that. It's very toxic, but... <laughs> it, it, it do be like that. Cheese grommet. They, that's exactly what we were doing. We were like, oh, we want the cheese grommet pose because it just kind of works. Uh, just like the... Ugh. <laughs> Orty be scared. Yes, Orty and you, weirdly, lot of matching movements, Queena, but I don't think you'd get along. No, I think, I think Queena would get along with other people, but I don't think, I think you and Orty might be at opposite ends. Or maybe, you know, since you're, you know like how when people are afraid of spiders, it's useful to have a friend who is not afraid of spiders? Maybe that's you and Orty. Maybe, because Orty's afraid, but you are not, you're just actually, you're actually best mates. Because whenever there's like a rat or something, you're just like, ah, yeah, don't worry, Audie, I got this. And then you deal with it. You're that friend. Ah, oh, dear, maybe. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, dear. Night, 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 night. Get some good, good sleeps. All of them are OCs of people's comics. Or how, uh, are, are all of them OCs of people's comics? Or how do you know them? Do you have plans on Discord to share the OCs? So that's what we did. I will say, I'm really sorry, lady. I've already picked 20. But what we'd asked was, hey, community members, if you have an OC, drop it in this specific channel, which was called Temp OC channel. It's still there. You can still see all the ones people submitted. And then I originally was going to pick one or two, to be honest. I wasn't going to pick 20. But then we had so many really, really amazing OCs that I didn't want to leave out. We ended up picking one from every single person who submitted. So we had 20 people submit, then some people submitted multiple OCs. So I picked one OC from every person who submitted. And here we are. Some of them were written OCs, like D&D characters. Some of them were drawn. Some of them had been sketched, but not fully finished. So we have like a wide variety of OCs at different levels of finished. And that's how we did it. I I'm not against doing it again in the future. I just have a few things and projects I need to do first. But yeah, also, here he is. Oh! <laughs> I haven't connected the pieces. My <laughs> That's kind of intimidating. Let's get him out of there. Not quite, not quite. Let me connect the dots. <laughs> there we go. Look at our little friend. There he is. He's a little tall and grey mouse. Grey mouse is the shortest. Oh, there's his head. <laughs> there he goes. I think he looks really, really nice and I like him very much. Thank you for letting me draw your OC. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to put your Twitch one on here just because it's showing on Twitch, if that's okay, Power. Uh, just so people know, because other if I put the, the Discord name, I think people might be a little confused. So in this case, we'll just use your Twitch name. There we are. Is he going next to Goat? He will go next to Goat, but I'm going to finish both the ones for today so I can get a screenshot of them together, and then we'll put him next to Goat. Uh, he is he is gonna be next to go. He is he is I just I'm getting on this side so I can take my screenshot at the end of the day first And then I'll move them across later Ah, uh, did they were decapitated? They were decapitated. I vote besties. Hell yeah Ah, uh, no worries. Yeah, interested in how you did it. Yeah, that's how we did it So if you go into the discord, you'll see one called uh, I believe it is just called Oh, actually we're literally going what? Oh, we have stuff to look at 
oh my god we have stuff to look at um it, i believe in the discord it is called oc temp channel it is all right time for a discord art share before we have a quick lunch break first of all prism look at this <laughs> i <laughs> I love that. How do you sketch like such expressive emotion so quickly? I'll never know. But it's really like Jesus, you're speedy. Jesus, the speedy and the speediness on these beans. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm so happy. Like I'm not used to. Uh, I'm so happy. Like I'm not used to work. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, we will we will get them so you can have them. This is so good. So much practice. God damn it, it's always practice. It's always practice with you people. Two seconds. I need to hide really quickly. I've just noticed something. Okay. I will respond to that after stream. Sorry. I, I, there are sometimes I get DMs and I'm like, do I need to respond to it now? No? Okay. I need to respond to that later. I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> oh dear. Working on emote ideas. You speedy bean. You speedy, speedy bean, you. A hand supremacy. I did a deconstruction for you. Damn you. <laughs> go, Web, go. Bless you, Sean. Bless you. Bless you, Sean. Oh dear. Heckin' people that are good at drawing hands are wizards. Wizards and witches. Oh, except nothing else. They're always wizards and witches. This is this right here, this is witchcraft. Um <laughs> Thank you though, I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I need to at some point work out the insides of a goblin's hand so I can do like proper goblin anatomy, because they have less fingers, so they only have three fingers and one thumb, and the thumb sits further back on the hand than a human hand, because it's meant to be more like a talon. Go web, go! Such good hands. They are. They are really good hands. Oh dear. Go team, go! Hell yeah. Very, very good hands. It's because it's cause I noticed that Sean could just immediately do hands. It's like, how dare. But no, there is good reason. There is structure here. Draw feet as well, but then things get awkward. Now you got to charge for that, Sean. If you're drawing feet, you got to put a price tag on it. Don't do that for free. No free feet here. <laughs> oh dear. Another art project. I want to do an inspiration project. It's Slay the Princess! Oh, leafy vines, lots of vines. And this is one of the, yeah! Oh my god. Yeah, I will say we played Slay the Princess on stream a few weeks back and the art style is just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm I'm like not not in, like not surprised at all that that's what you're doing because yeah, as someone who also enjoyed the art, I get you. Gotcha, capitalism. Yeah. Why could you all feed so well, Sean? Hmm? Cuz capitalism. Prism because capitalism. Also, I update. Oh, wait. I see what you mean. Like yeah, like the hood is like nice and cool. It like if you have like a rounder one up here, like it'll look very cute, but like with the with the slightly straighter line here it does look a little bit more neutral like i think that's nice i think that's really nice i like yeah i like that a lot i like that a lot we have of, of course with other eyes as well i think that's really really nice i love this yeah no it's really really good i think i think the slightly more neutral eyes suit really really well and of course prism has rainbow eyes their name is prismatic prisms they have every color in the rainbow uh and <laughs> <the> structure <laughs> it's my theme <laughs> i love them hell yeah uh, too big or too small? I see, I see. Oh, whether the eyes are too big? Mm, no, I don't think so. They look pretty well sized in here, I would say. I mean, of course, like, I would say the art style makes them a little larger than, like, you know, if you were doing hyper-realism, but I don't think they look too big. I, uh, I said mine on the wrong server! Oh, Mega! I'm so sorry. Listen, we've all been there. Delete it. Uh, I, I guess, say, oopsies. <laughs> and, and leave. I said it in the wrong server. What server did you send yours in? Ah, oh dear. I'm here now. Yes, yes. In this one. Pop it in there. Pop it in there. Well, we've got other people's to look at. So don't worry. Because first of all, look at this. They. I think they, well, you said it was going to be like a scale pattern. And I see it. I see it growing. An absolute beautiful scale pattern. It's so pretty. Oh my god. Oh, so it's bothering me. You are the artist, and I think the artist always has the harsher side towards their own work. But from an outsider's perspective, it looks fine. But if you change it, let us know. I'd be curious. This is so cute and so cool and such a lovely idea of building up that texture. I, it's, it's coming along great. It is coming along hecking great. Very cool. Thank you for the progress shot. Just keep yarning, just keep yarning, just keep yarning, yarning, yarning. What do we do? We yarn. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh dear. And in cosplay, oh, pattern for the jacket. This is some like very much technical drawing, very much technical drawing, uh, which anime is very, very good at. Uh, but you can see yeah, all the lines and like all the all the pieces, like where the edging is and the arm, it looks really, really good. Anime's drawings, anime's patterns are always just perfect. They're just perfect. They're perfect, sparkly, uh, neat. God damn it. It's very unfair. Don't get me wrong. I, I stand by it. It's incredibly unfair. It's gonna be a baby body, like a like with the scales. Hell yeah. Well, baby body. This is, this is very heckin' nice. Was there art posted here? Send them now, okay, gotcha. In that case, what's going on on live stream? A rat hole? <laughs> Thank you for the rat hole. Thank you for the rat hole. Thank you, Larry Jess. So let me draw some info. Moko Min on Twitch has their third annual PP partner anniversary in April celebration. I said yesterday and there's 500 giveaways plus 100 arts and crafters. I'm offering two beloved letter commissions and a sticker pack and two neon signs. Oh, heckin' lovely. We're aiming to reach 500 sales for small business. Hey, you can find my art. Thank you. I will say, Saki, um, wait, if you're ever interested, we do actually have in here, uh, so we have some forums for like community member shops and such. So when people are offering commissions, you can scroll through and see what commissions people are, uh, are offering if you're curious we also have uh like youtube shop drops if you have any like updates and such like here's some new stuff that i added kind of stuff if you're interested we have it there but you don't have to use it but it's an option just because i know in the channel like live stream chat this will be basically this this will get covered like because it just takes a few people to send messages and then you can't see this anymore whereas it will be permanently in that other place if anyone's ever interested can't wait to start with the final ones next week damn you lost my house oh sorry my bad my bad we can move out of there Oh dear. Ooh! Okay, my OC that looks like a goblin is not absolutely a goblin, but he looks like one. His name's Fasco! And he's a goblin looking yellow superpower. It's like, oh my god, wait! I love him. I love him. He is such a good bean. He is a good hecking bean. Oh my god! What the heck? He's hecking stun. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. Too much freedom was an art of beautiful. <laughs> yeah, this, this. <laughs> okay, listen. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my god. Oh, that's stunning. The color work on this. It's so weird that this is next to this. Why? <laughs> like that is stunning. That is absolutely stunning color work. I love the texture. I love. Ev I love everything about this. This is so beautiful. What is this? <laughs> Oh my god. Amazing. Amazing. Rotate to the comic of Doodles and Comics. Call up some submissions. The one in the uh, right nose. Oh, I see. So it's pretty much Orc. Okay. I vibe, I vibe with that. I vibe with that. I love these. Also, context. I see. No, I, I fully agree with you. I think the straighter eyes are more neutral. Yeah. Very cute. Don't get me wrong. But if that's not the vibe you're looking for, yeah, I, I feel like this. This fits the less cute and more neutral, like more in the middle, because it's still not like super hard edge or anything like that. It's like just in, in the middle. I think, that's, I think that's really good. I see where you're coming from. Wait, did I respond to this correctly? I, I've put a heart, right? Yeah, I put a heart, but I don't know. I think I should also put a star. Sparkle, because you've put sparkles and sparkly eyes. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, 100%, I agree, yep. At least I'm a sleepy heck. No, you're fine. All right. All right. In that case, thank you everyone for sharing your art. I am going to be having a little lunch break because it's been a few hours and I haven't eaten. So what I'm going to be doing is for anyone who's new here, who doesn't know how we do lunches here. Well, stra strap on in. Uh, basically, we play words on stream, which means that while I'm eating some lunch, you still have something to be looking at. So it's not super like, you know, but we I get an opportunity to mute and eat so you don't listen to me eating. But also you have an opportunity to flex your dictionaries. <laughs> <laughs> Should you want to. Of course, if you would rather go take a break, please go take a break. Completely understand. Otherwise, I will be muting for a few minutes while I quickly eat this rice. It's right in front of me, so I don't even need to go anywhere. It's right here. And with words on stream, the way that it works is all you have to do is be in Twitch chat. And if you're in Twitch chat, you can play. Basically, I click play, and if you see a word, like for instance, I see... 
real. I see real and I type it in and now I get real. Now I'm locked and I can't get another word until I'm unlocked. Nice helper. Nice heel. Nice peel. Look, you get, the, you get the idea. And the person who gets it first gets the word. Nice help. I'm gonna mute because I think you guys are gonna finish this really quickly and I need to eat. Yes, first person to get the word gets the points. Goodbye. Oh, that was fast. Jesus. People like putting them in so quickly. Well done. All to use in the lead from the first round, followed by Power, then Queena. Then we got Sandler, Dan, myself, and Prism. GG's, everyone. Well done. Yeah, just keep an eye on ones that have already been got. I know a few people were repeating them. Keep an eye out. Only the first person can get the word. Okay, back to mute so I can eat. Nice, GG's everyone. God, you're going so quick. I'm barely getting a mouthful in. My lord. All right, we have Queen in the lead that round. Overall, we got Queen in the lead followed by Power and then Orti, then Shondler, Prismatics, Pongo, Dan, and myself. GG's, you're very quick. I'm barely, I've got like two mouthfuls in and then Jesus. MLG Game of everyone's so quick. All right, back to muting. I gotta get some food before you finish another level. Just so fast. Yeah, I, I checked cock because I was like, it might get blocked by auto mod. So let me do cock. And it, it still didn't work. <laughs> we had power in the lead that round. We had power in the lead overall, followed by Queena and then our team. Then we got Saki, Prism, Sean, Dan, Mango, Mega, and my Mango, Mega, and myself. Nice. <laughs> the three M's. All right, good luck, everyone. Not that you really need it. Remember to keep an eye out for fake letters and eventually hidden letters.
Wow, I got a bit rude. I was just trying to be helpful. <laughs> I was in the lead that round. Power is in the lead overall, followed by Queen and then Orgy. Then we have Prism, Saki, myself, Shondla, Throwdown, Pongo, Grobbit, Mega, Grim, and Clues. Also, Grim, good morning. Welcome back. All right, let me go back to mute. I'm trying my best. You guys are finishing the levels too quickly. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> I need you to leave like one mouthful in per round, please. Well done, Clues, for leading that round. Power in the lead over all, followed by Queen and then Prism. Then we have Orti, Clues, Saki, Grobbit, myself, Dan, Grim, Shondla, Pongo, Mango, and Mega. Well done, everyone. I'm just going to quickly nip to the loo because I have finished my rice, thankfully. Uh, but it means I won't be able to help. Good luck. You got this. I'm back. I'm back just in time to see that you get mango. Good mango. <laughs> nice moans. <laughs> oh god. Wait, it was a monk. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the Among Us round. Damn it, nice atoms. Mm. A nice mason as well. Jesus, you're still doing very well. Mm. Nice moat. Mm. And a stoma. Nice stoma. Brain is not cooperating this round. I didn't see anything either. I did come in a bit late though. Well done, Queen, for leading that round. Overall, we have Queen in the lead, followed by Power and then Clues. Then we've got Grobbit, Prism, Orti, Saki, myself, Dan, Shondla, Grim, Mega, and Pongo. Well heckin' done. Well heckin' done. GG's team. All right, I can actually help you now. Uh, Jelly is, is back in the building, maybe. Uh, mm. Were you running? Yes. I got scale. I got scale. Do with that what you will. Oh dear. Scale is already on the board, but you are right. Queena, you got laces, nice laces. Can we do scales? Nope. <laughs> I tried. Um. Hmm. Oh, Robert Castle! Good castle! 
Very good castle. Okay, the long word is castle. Oh, stale. Nice stale. And nice, uh, cast day. Oh, grab it. Nice cleats. Uh, oh, God. Nice tails. Queen, a nice cleat. -er. And what was the other one? It was cleat. Oh, it was just cleats. <laughs> Fantastic. Good morning. Welcome on in. Five letters only at the moment. You've joined a hard round. Nice steel. Nice slate. Ah, oh, dead. Oh, here we are. Here we are. That was a, that was rough. But well done. Hmm. I can't think of any. No, honestly, at these these levels, it gets really hard. Prism. Like when everything's hidden and you can't even see the answers, it makes it really difficult. Do not fear, it is not just you. That is, that is def- it's hard. Some people are just very good at it. Alright. Being a bit gross and you're not allowed to see it. You're gonna need to get the stuff- Oh my god, have we nearly 100%? Nice class and nice little eclat. Okay. I had I had something stuck in my tooth. It's gone now. It's just a little bit of chilly. Just a little bit of chilly. I skipped three levels. Hell yeah. Record is 33, Queener. Uh, Grobbit in the lead that round overall. We have Queener in the lead, followed by Power, and then Grobbit. Then we have Clues, Prismatics, Orti, Saki, myself, Dan, Sean, Grim, Mega, and Pongo. Jeez, yeah, we've got to 33, which is pretty intense. Oh, God. Uh... I got slays. <laughs> oh my god! Analysis! Analysis! Alright, nice analysis. Uh, that's the long word. Uh, so that means R is fake. Uh, nice nails. Um, oh god, that is uh, inlays, nice inlays. And Shadow got snails, nice snails. Is a single snail on the board? Oh, someone's already got it. Nice snail, Saki. Uh, oh! And then uh, Clues got slain. Is inlay on the board? Oh, there you go. And Queena got a sail. Nice a sail. Uh, Grobbit got alias. Oh god, it's hard, isn't it? I have sails. Uh, Linius. Lanius. Lanius. <laughs> nasals. Nice nasals. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just speaking gobbledygook constantly. Oh, what was that? That was Lanai. What nice Lanai. Oh, dear. Oh, Salsa. Good Salsa. I'll take Nasal. Oh, dear. GG's, everyone. Well done. That was hard. They made us get a lot of words to get through. Oh, Liana. Nice Liana. <laughs> I don't know what all these words mean. <laughs> Oh dear. Hmm. Oh. Lanias? Lan nice Lanias. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's all a bit silly. Isn't it? <laughs> face. Good face. Oh, nice anals. <laughs> anals is a word. Is anals a word? Because I thought it, the plural of it was just anal, like fish. Like, it's not fishes, it's still fish. Isn't it the same with anal? <laughs> also, nice two levels. Very heckin' good. Up to level 24. I somehow led that round. Don't think that's quite right. We had Queen and Lead overall, followed by Power and then Grobbit. All over 100 now. Then we've got Clues, myself, Prism, Saki, Orti, Sean, Throwdown, uh, Grim, Mega, Pongo, and Shadow. Ah, oh, dear. 24. Ayo! <laughs> Alright. Oh, God. Hmm. Uh, oh, oh, Orti, nice denim. E, E is hidden. E is hidden. Oh, nice mind. Oh. Was that maiden is a long word? Nice maiden. And then the shadow got uh, maimed. Nice maimed. And Queena got... Oh, already mined. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got uh, named. 
Oh, median, nice median. Very nice median. I see a lot of you are getting that median. Nice median. So that means that B is fake. Okay, nice anime. <gasps> Wait, you got anime? All of the other ones, they all begin with A. Everything begins with A now. Oh my God, nice aimed. The everything begins with A. The last, the last four all begin with A. Nice amend. Jesus, that's a lot of A's. Uh, admin is a word. I, I think it's shortened, isn't it? Amine. Nice Amine. <laughs> I think I used my brain just might have mind. Uh, admin. You know admin, but you can't have admin. A hundred percent at level 24. Jesus, guys. All right. Well done, Grobbit, for leading that round over with Queen in the lead, followed by Grobbit and then Power. Then we've got Clues, Myself, Prism, Orti, Saki, Shondler, Dan, Grim, uh, Shadow, Mega, Pongo, and Lady. Well done, everyone. Jesus. Robert is good for getting the missing. They are very good for that. Oh, my God. Okay. Try to steal lover. Oh, yeah, I did get lover. <laughs> okay, that means R is the hidden one. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. R is hidden. <laughs> I got lover. Oh, dear. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, grab it. Removal. Nice removal. Uh, oh, Orty got mover. Queener got... Moral. Can I have morale? I can have morale. Ravioli. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. What was the long word again? Removal. Removal. Okay. And power got morale. Uh, oh, and Marvel. Nice Marvel. Yes. Ah, uh, the oh, Orti got. What the hell did also get M? Oh, remove. Uh, is it? I don't know. Oh, uh, the nice realm. I have no idea what Aussie got because on my screen it just says M. <laughs> well done, Aussie. Ah, uh, dear. Oh, and it's like. Do we need two more? Mm. Oh, Ravel. Nice Ravel. Okay, get ready. I mean, we kind of already knew what the long word was, but... Okay. Lama, nice Lama, very nice. Oh my God, GG's right at the end. These levels are hard. I bet it only gives us like one star as well, which is very mean, but I bet it's always like this. Oh, Valor, nice Valor. Okay, how many stars is that? We only missed one. We only missed one and we still only got up two levels. It's so stingy at these late levels. But up to 29, Queen led that round. Over we have Queen in the lead, Grobbit in second and Power in third. Then we got Clues, Myself, Orti, Prism, Saki, Shonda, Dan, Grim, Shadow, Mega, Pongo and Lady. Oh, have a good burp. We are very close to record. Record is 33. We've never, oh my God. We've never got past 33. Snoot. I got snoot. Oh, Clues got snogs. Nice. No, wait, no, 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 no. What did Clues get? Tunes. Clues got tunes, not snog. I'm sorry, Queena. I got snoot. H is fake because snoot works and shoot doesn't. H is fake. Oh, 
Oh lord, this always happens. They hit you with one and it's like, we know H is fake, I don't know what the other one is. And I do not know what the hidden one is. Alright, go on. Tell us what it is. Ooh. Okay, G and H. G is fake and P? Okay. Okay, that's really, that's a really mean one. Oh my god. Can you do... Oh, position, points, point, nice. Ah, oh, dear. Well, well done. Listen, we gave it our hecking best. That was, that was mean. That was, that was very, very hard. Don't worry. GG's. We got to level 29. That is the furthest we've got in a long time. A long hecking time. You're off. Good luck, power. All right, let's look at the final scores on the doors. In that last round, clues led the pack, but overall, in first place was Queener, second place was Grover, and third place was Power. Then we then had clues, myself, Orti, Prism, Faki, Shondler, Dan, Grim, Lady, Shadow, Mega, and Pongo. GG's, everyone. And Shadow, thank you so, so much for the follow. That's very hecking kind of you. Let me remove this. I'm not having a quick break anymore. I'm actually back. <laughs> Surprise. It, it do... It do be me. I need to reset this because I ruined my timer by turning it to a 10 minute one. Uh, so let, it, let us get that back and then there we go. And then there we go. One hour. Well done, everyone. GG's everyone. Well done. So if where we left off before we had a little lunch break, we just finished getting Powers, uh, Powers little, little guy. Look at him. Look at his little, little face. He's very cute. Um, so we have a new friend joining the lineup. This is our second lineup as well. Don't worry, we still have all of these same friends that we had last time. Uh, but this is our second lineup. Our second lineup. There he is. There he is. 10 minute timer seems sensible to me. No, I need to get a bit more work done. Uh, I couldn't even see the alphabet at the end. No, literally, it gets to a stage where it's, and it also spins faster and faster as time goes on, which makes it really hard. Also, I don't have another cup of tea. I have the grapefruit drink or the blood orange drink. I always call it grapefruit, but it's not grapefruit. It's blood orange. There you go. Nice. I have that now. Very loud. <laughs> oh dear. All right. We can close this one for now then. I'm very pleased with it. I think they look really cute. We can get a proper good before and after because that was what they look like as a sketch. And that's what they finished looking like. We get a good before and after. Uh, that being said, that is the end of that one. And it is now time for Audi. There you go, Audi saw who I think we've already, yeah, yeah, I've already scaled this, so it's the right height, um, who is our little bean who is very, very afraid of mice. <laughs> Here they are. Oh dear. Yummy. Yeah, yummy. It's like extra, extra power for doing art. Mm. Looks to me like Powie. Pow. <laughs> Powie. Ah, oh, this is the uh, power, power pup. There they are. I like them. I like them very much. They're a bit more modern than, like, we have a gladiator right here and then we have an astronaut, but I like them. And now, time for Audisaur. So we're going to do the same thing as we do always do, which, first of all, lock this layer because otherwise I will heck this up. But we'll start with doing the eyes and the nose and then we'll go from there. In this case, I actually don't think Audi will take as long. Like, there are details and, of course, like the big flowing cloak and stuff like that. We do have all of that to do. But also, Orty doesn't have any hair, <laughs> or at least not visible hair, which means that the bit that takes me the longest normally, I don't even need to do, because Orty doesn't have any. Or if they do, I can't see it. So I actually think this will be, for the line art, at least one of the speedier ones, because we don't have to do all of the hair. <laughs> I say have to do as if I don't like doing the hair. I do like doing the hair. But every now and again, it is nice to tackle a goblin that's a little different and doesn't have that. Although we do have a few. We have a few goblins without hair. Because we have um, Pipia, who is bald. Uh, we have Cthulhu, who is not hair, but it's like not, not, not. There's like something going on there. Anime has a skull instead of any hair. So again, it's all covered in there. And I think, oh yeah, I think that is it. So we've got three so far. Three so far. But yeah, but no hair. Schrodinger's hair. Could be hair. Creativity knows no bounds. I love this OC. I love all of them, to be clear. I love every OC that I'm making. But I do love this OC. Uh, I could actually read the description of this one, because uh, I believe I should still have it if I go into. Where is it? 
Where is it? It's near the top, I remember that much, right? Wait, is it not near the top? Wait, where the hell is Ortiz? Is Ortiz in... There it is. Uh, a DD character, yeah, yeah. Currently an unnamed bumbling idiot type character, tall and lanky, playing Dr. Mask and Robe. They're a necromancer who's completely afraid of uh, disease and infection. So it's not that they're bad at their magic, but it, it, it raises a dead and like, don't touch me. Yeah, time up, thank you. <laughs> right you are. We need, we need like a timer command at this point. Uh, looks to me like powers uh, looking at Grey's while Grey's admiring Sonne. They're all just like, oh. <laughs> That's so fetch. Yeah. Oh dear. Wait, what am I meant to say? Stop trying to make fetch a thing. I think that's what I meant to say. But, uh... <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I, I, li I like them a lot. They're just a necromancer who hates disease. And again, we're representing disease with a little rat because it goes with the whole Plague Doctor vibe. So they have a bit of an unusual nose, but they also have a little friend. There's a little, little friend down here. Look at him. I like him. He is... There is three characters with rats on them. <laughs> Somehow. Because uh, Schleeves... Schleeves is already finished. And Schleeves has... Da -da -da -da. This friend. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 this friend. Uh, so we have this one, and then Queena, uh, they, they're like, they got a couple of rats on them. And then, yeah, Orty. Orty doesn't have a rat on them, but there is a rat in their picture. It's just kind of interesting that it's happened multiple times. I don't know, I'm not against it. I like, I like rat. Not quite. I have to alter the shape of the eye a little bit because I noticed that I made a slight mistake in the... in a, a bit of it. So I'm just... Yeah, it's not it's not quite right. It needs to come down a little lower. And then do that, I think. Yes. Yeah, that's better. That's better. <laughs> rat friends, many rat friends. Are you still gonna feed? Oh no, you're fine. Go look after yourself. I hope you feel better. I'll be back on on Thursday, so don't worry. I'll have a nice day off. <laughs> enjoy your enjoy your heckin' uh, Wednesday. I'll see you soon. Yeah, feel better soon. Exactly. Stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. That's the one. Thank you. I was like, I know there's something you're meant to say after someone says something's fetch, but I can't quite remember the quote. I just, all I remember is that I'm meant to say something. Oh dear, yes, it's stop trying to make fetch happen, it's never gonna happen. Thank you. <laughs> oh dear rat friends, gay rat wedding, we support, what did we support? We support gay rats? Oh gay, yeah, yeah, gay rats, yeah, 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 I remember. God, my brain is having to like overdrive to remember all of the memes today. <laughs> oh dear, there we go. Get that in there. So we're gonna do this like it's a mask means. Uh, do I want to have the ears poking? Actually, no, the ears can go behind in this one. I'm okay with that. Oh. That's pretty good. <laughs> that, that, is, that is not bad. I am okay with that. And then... There we go. Yeah, we drew Orty before we were like doing full face coverings. So Orty gets like the half face. But in retrospect, I'm actually really glad we did that. Because otherwise I feel like Orty's character might have accidentally blended into some of the other characters we were about to draw. Because when, when we did Orty, again, it was like the second goblin we designed, which meant that we didn't really have any basis for the rest of them and like what they were all gonna look like and stuff like that. So I'm really glad that we uh we did this with Ortiz, where we did like a half mask because it made them a little different in the end. Yeah, happy, happy coincidence. Is that right? I don't know, something about the perspective seems off to me, but it's hard. It could be because I can see like an eye there and an eye there. That's gonna look very unhinged, isn't it? <laughs> There you are, Orty. Nice and unhinged looking. Ah, oh, dear. Yeah, feel better soon. Why does Caesar get to stomp around while we all get switched onto his big feet? What's so great about Caesar anyways? Mm, Brutus is just a Caesar. <laughs> oh my god. 
Yeah, okay, no, no, no dot eyes for you, but I think that is kind of what's throwing me off. I think it, I think it's that the eyes are not quite in the right place, but we'll get there. They will be in the right place. We just have to, we have to do a little more work first. You're also one of the only two characters that has their mouth open. I think it's just you and Pipia. Everyone else has their mouth closed. Oh dear. But it does, it does offer options, which is nice. There we go. Excuse me, oh my god. That was a horrible hiccup. Excuse me. All right, and then. Nice. I think this eye is a bit high up. Do you feel that? I feel that. I think this eye is too high. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it off. Something about this eye. It's too high. Bring it down. Yeah, to there. Remove the background. Why is the music so intense? I'm just, tr just trying to fix the eyes. Please. And then, like, to there. Yeah, I think I think that suits a little better. Mm mm mm. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm. All right, and then just erase the extra bit. I don't really know what happened here. We'll pretend that it never happened. Nothing ever happened. Don't worry about it. I don't make any mistakes. I'm an artist. I never make mistakes. There we go. That's perfect. <laughs> it was a little high up on one side. Oh, how to provide differences for your practice? Hell yeah! That's only okay when I see. <laughs> What was to gauge function? Wait a minute! <laughs> Just happy little axes, exactly. The eyes do look really weird now though. So what I'm gonna do is, I, you are gonna have small eyes, I will say, but I'm going to go like, like, and get them in a little earlier, just because the old eyes are throwing me off just a little bit. There we go. <laughs> I have a silly little face. I like it very much. It's a very good f <laughs> it's a very good face. Oh dear. Alright. Let's start just chipping away, I guess. There's no reason to not start because you don't have hair that I have to worry about. Uh should I fill your mouth in black? Maybe. Maybe. I think that would suit. But now let's just get some of these bits a little bit more. Go. Thicken the lines up a little. Get them looking nice and snazzy. There you go. And I will... There you go. Nice. And then we'll just fix that. I don't know why when it... Actually, we probably have some art aficionados here, right? People that are really good at art. Is there any reason why when I use the fill bucket on Photoshop, it always leaves this little white line around it? I mean, it's happened for as long as I can remember, and I've never- I, 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 you'd think at this point that I maybe would just Google it, but I've kind of just lived with it now for so long that it's like, eh, whatever. But it is odd that when I use a fill bucket on, uh, on Photoshop that it does that to it. Like, I, I couldn't tell you why. Ooh, a bit big there. Bit big! <coughs> it's okay, I love it, yeah! Here's a little, here's a little camp beam. I don't know how he, what, I don't know how any of them ended up how they did. They kind of just did. We we're doodling and it kind of was come together, but I like him a lot. He's a good bean. And you know what? In the year of 2024, nothing wrong with being a bit cautious around diseases. None of us want to pick up any extra diseases, especially not from the dead. So if anything, he's just before his time, you know? He would fit in very well around now. There we go. And get that in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you need to use a sharper, more pixelated brush. Oh, okay. I see, I see. Thank you, thank you. Because brush isn't sharp enough. I see. Is there, do I have to, would you suggest to change that anyway? I just used the default brush. I'm sorry, I'm a little noob artist. I used the default. Should I be changing from that anyway? Is is default art brush not actually good? 
There we go. Because I can change. I probably won't change at this point, but I can change in the future. I'll get all these guys finished regardless, but after that... I'm not against changing. <laughs> Especially if it means that I can fill bucket things, because oh my god. That would be so cool if I could fill bucket things without having to fix the edges all the time. Okay, get that up there. Get that up there. You can get a shower wash or change the bucket settings. I see. Diseases from dis diseases from diseases. Yeah, you don't want to be deceased from diseases. That's no good. Hey, he's just ahead of his time. He'd do just fine in our modern society. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, spooked face. I need to make him look a lot more old. <coughs> okay, then there's... Okay, oh that's really scary. Open the processes, dialog box, in Photoshop. Go to edit, go to preferences, Windows or Photoshop, preferences, Mac. In the preferences dialog box, uh, click on the general tab, scroll down to the... I'm going to copy and paste this. Two seconds. I'm going to copy and paste this because I'm not going to do that on stream. But after stream, I could do that. So let me just put that in live stream channel. There you go. That's going to make no sense to anyone who's not on stream. I'm so sorry, but otherwise I'm going to forget that. <laughs> and I, I, don't want, I don't want to forget it just because it's a slightly longer process. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. That's a lot, which is fair. I've copied and pasted it so I can have a little look after stream. Thank you. I genuinely appreciate it. Uh, I am... Um, very much when it especially with digital art because it's not something i'm very proficient and very open to suggestion um the most suggestion i've had is get a drawing tablet and you know what you're right you're heckin right i can't fight you on that you are right but for now <laughs> for these guys at least they will be drawn they will be drawn with mouse but doing all this has made me definitely want to rethink whether or not that's something i ever want to do so you know what I have I have kind of learned a little bit as a small amount of growth an old lady you can't make me grow too much quickly it's no it's no good I have to take it as small steps there we go and get this up here and get that just nice and sharp look at that Look at that anxious face! <laughs> that looks so anxious! That it works. I probably use Ibis Pen. I see. I've always been a Photoshop person, so when I started trying to draw, I never considered changing. But I will say that's another thing that's actually been on my list. Um, I've been recommended Clip Studio Paint many a time, and I've always kind of been like, well, I don't really do digital painting that often, so like, there's not really any point in me trying a new thing, right? Like, why bother if I'm not ever really going to use it? But at this stage, since I am using it more than I used to, I do think it makes more sense to maybe look into alternatives. And Clip Studio Paint was one that many people have recommended to me to give it a go. So it's it's on the list. Again, it's not something that I'm going to do right now. I have other things I need to do first, but it's on the list. Hell yeah. <laughs> the anxiety. Let us get you a drawing tablet. <laughs> no. <laughs> Real artists use MS Paint. I remember, uh, again, I have been very lucky that I have been surrounded by very talented artists for a very long time. But I had a friend, and this would have been back in secondary school. And I remember they did this piece of art, right? And it was like a portrait. And it was for a charity piece, and they'd been asked to do it. I will say they were very good at art, so they were often asked to do things for people, even though they were really young, because their art was out there and they were very good. Uh, very, very lucky. Very lucky to have been inspired by so many cool people. But uh, yes, so they were doing that. And I remember them, they came in, they were like, oh yeah, I quickly did this because I thought it'd be like a fun experiment. And it was the same picture, basically, that they had drawn with like some color changes. And we were like, oh yeah, that's really, really cool. It looks really cool in different colors. I think that, that makes it look really expressive. Like, really interesting. Thanks for showing us. And they were like, no, no, you don't get it. Look at it again. And they drawn a hyper-realistic portrait in MS Paint. <laughs> <laughs> I remember looking at it a second time and being like, what the hell? <laughs> How dare you? Oh dear. Some people, well I say some people, people that put in, put in that much effort into getting good at things, 
like that, I have a lot of respect for. I do question you a little bit. Like, are you doing okay? Why are you doing hyper-realism in MS Paint? What's happened? Are you okay? But I also do think it's, uh, it's, it's pretty amazing. Oh, dear. Normally, they were someone, they, they did oil pastels predominantly, I believe. Oil pastels and oil paints, like very strong, bright colours. Which honestly, for me, those are the things I find the scariest. Give me a pastel palette any day. But, uh, but bright colours? Oh, terrifying. Very scary. Every time I'm at a pride parade, it's like, whoa! Oh my god, look at these bright, bright saturated colours! Where are my pastels? Where are my pastel rainbows? Oi oi! <laughs> oh dear. There we go. I think this ear needs to be a little less straight on. I think it's a bit too big. At where, it, at where it's at. Um... There we go. This is not the first time I did that, to be fair. That's, I, I think I've made that same mistake on a few of them. Yeah, I like that a bit more. It just looks a bit more comic-y, because if it sticks out... Yeah, too, too much. Ah, dear. Truth. Holy MS Paint. MS Paint is the real one. It's the exception. is superior. <laughs> No one of the other goblin arts thinking about Ew, is that Blaffle? <laughs> Blaffle, look at all the goblins we've made. You're not ready. You're not ready. They're really cute. Am I biased? Yeah. But look, look how cute they all are. Look how many goblins we have. We have like a whole army of goblins. Look at them. And then we've also got even more. I've got some really small ones. Look at these tiny friends. And then I have one very, very tall one who doesn't fit in the screen yet. But <laughs> I've got some small friends. They're so cute. I'm really, I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased. Oh dear. Uh, if I told about what you do, it is, it is, it is. Holy MS Paint. I'm struggling with very mean brain goblins. Oh, okay. But trying to get back to art and craft and have a feeling that it's a waste to invest in myself. So I'm trying to use free digital art software like Creator or Fire Packer. Honestly, if that helps you get back into it, fair enough. Uh, I can't speak for you because we're different people and we've got different brains. Uh, I started trying to get back into drawing art about a year and a bit ago. And I know people have talked about it a lot. I think I think PewDiePie did it, and so everyone started talking about it a bit more. But I, I listen, I, I started this before that, okay? <laughs> Which was to do like a sketch every single day. And like, not big sketches. I literally have my sketchbook from this year's. So last year I did it all on plain paper for the same reason. I didn't like a lot of my artwork and I didn't want to keep it around. I'm in my second year of doing a sketch every single day now. And like, it's stuff like this, where like, this is for one day, that took a little bit longer, this is another day, and then this is another day. So sometimes the sketches I do are like the size of a thumb. <laughs> so I do really, really small art, depending on like, because some days you wake up and you just don't have the energy to do a really big piece. But I've been trying to do at least a pe one piece of art every single day, and there are some that I hate, and there are some that I love. And that's just kind of how it goes. But I think it takes away, at least for me, it took away a lot of the pressure because like, I, I'm just drawing tiny things sometimes. And if I don't like them, I've used like this much space on a page and it's fine. Also, this is really cheap paper, which makes me feel better about it, probably for the same reason, like trying to do things, uh, trying to do things like without spending a lot of money on yourself. For me, it was to buy a cheap sketchbook. And that made me feel a lot better about it. But again, this I am also at a place where like I've been doing this for over a year now of like doing a sketch every single day. So I remember it was much harder. Harder at the beginning. Much, much harder. Whereas now it's like, whatever. <laughs> oh dear, we can relate. We can relate. The story writing has different space. I made your character a small plant person. Hell yeah. Bright color tip. Yellow is my nightmare. Help, not the yellow. What about gold? Do we like gold? Oh, I hate autocorrect. No, you're allowed. Different species. No, I like different spaces. I'm, I'm story writing different spaces. Like, liminal spaces. They look good. I'm really pleased with them. Really, really pleased. It's not a waste. You're learning new skills. Yes! Every, every day, Pommy gets smaller. <laughs> she does. She keeps getting smaller. Where has she gone? Oh my god! Matcha! Oh, bless you! Oh, thank you so much for shouting Matcha! You were doing travel and outdoors? <gasps> Wait! What were you doing? What were you doing? You were outside? <laughs> you you went outside? Oh my god. Well, now we need to know what you were doing. Let me just make... I got... Okay, it's ma... Ma... There you go. I think I got you. Sorry, I apologize. Typing is not my skill. <laughs> 
her drawing. How was your stream? I hope you had a good one. Imagine raid. How was it? Yes, we like gold. We do like gold. Digital art saves a lot of money. It does. It saves money on like sketchbooks and pens. Oh my god, the amount of biros I get through. Oh dear. Welcome on in. It's Spirits. Welcome on in. And Per. Welcome on in. And T. And Black Cat. Oh my god. Good names. Walkabout in Illinois. Oh, lovely. I would love that sort of thing. Like, I live on the other side of the world, so I have no idea what it's like to walk around in Illinois. Sounds heckin' lovely. Jelly only uses a mouse. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Keyboard too hard. I only do art with mouse now. Welcome on in. We- oh god, I'm zooming in. Ooh, get that out there. Welcome on in. We are drawing community members' OCs as goblins. It's been taking us a while, I will say, but we are getting through them. You can see the names of the community members above them, so you can- these are all their OCs reimagined as goblins, right? Reimagined. So there's a bit of a variety, but I really like them. I'm really- I'm a big fan. I'm a big heckin' fan of goblins, and we've been drawing everyone as goblins. We finished powers earlier today, and we've literally just moved on to Orties. I did a little sketch in my sketchbook first, which is what you can see here, and now we're drawing them. Yes! Ah, oh, dear. Oh, yeah, and we draw with mouse and keyboard, so get ready for that. Also, Ash, thank you for the follow, and Black Cat, thank you for the follow. I should say, as always, especially if you've been out and about, uh, Ma, if you need to go look after yourself post stream, if you need to eat, put away your cameras, do anything, sort yourself out, please do, as much as you're super welcome here. I uh, completely understand if you can't stick around. Otherwise, welcome on in, everyone. She can't type, she doesn't have a keyboard. It's true, I only use a mouse. Broken, hello again, how you doing? I hope you're doing good. And Spears, it's nice to meet you. I hope you're doing well as well. Very cute, yeah. That is clever. I never finished Inktober such because I felt pressure to be like all those amazing people do. Yeah, so mostly end up crying because I don't like what I have in mind. It would post myself since like once per week and even then it's a big improvement. So I guess I'm slowly getting back into it. Well, that's the thing. If it's like, for, I think for you and me, we're the same. I'm not a professional artist. I'm assuming you're not a professional artist. We're just people having a bit of fun and like if it stops being fun what's the point like for me i doing a drawing every day to try and get better but if i started hating it i would stop <laughs> but doing just small arts like little teeny tiny ones we drew cats and fish and a lot of it's really silly stuff i've also been sticking stuff in here like stickers so it's become like a bit of a scrapbook at points as well because i like that yeah here is my dinosaur page they're really really vague I turned the, that into a little embroidery we ended up doing. But like silly things like that where I just, there's a tiny pig in the corner. I love him. I love tiny, here's a dinosaur burger. <laughs> you know, stupid stuff. Whereas like, whatever. There is no pressure for my dinosaur burger to be of any good <laughs> because it's just for me. That's my dinosaur burger. <laughs> Also, T, thank you for the follow, and Mega, thank you for the follow, and Spheres, thank you for the follow. I think my music has given up on me. It's like, can you, can you come back, please? <laughs> I'm not finished with you yet. We've got more goblins to draw. You are a professional artist. What are you talking about? Well, I don't do it as a job. Oh, dear. Oh, embroidery. Actually, yeah, you're right. I do do embroidery. Actually, yeah, sorry. <laughs> If anyone new here, hi. I don't do digital art normally. I do embroidery. Like the dinosaurs you just saw. We made them into a little embroidery because I liked them. Look at them. Here they are. They're in a swamp. They're having a dinosaur pool party. I love them very much. <laughs> we, we do do stuff like that. This is a little different to what I normally do. I've got some, I can show you those. Some people knew Pomni, right? Here's a embroidery we made of Pomni. Actually, wait, where's the other camera? We have a big camera for this. There you go. We make, we do embroidered art. That's what we do. This is normally, <laughs> that's what we do because that, that's where I enjoy. But we're going to be doing a goblin animation next, after this. So uh, yeah, we need to get good at drawing goblins. And that's why we're drawing everyone's OCs as goblins because I need to get good at it because we're about to do an animation for it. <laughs> uh, we've made embroidered animations before. I don't know how many of you watch Iron Mouse. Um, we made an embroidered animation for their animation competition uh, and that was the first embroidered animation I'd ever made uh, so we are making another one because I want to do a better one I think I can, I've learned a lot <laughs> I can do better it looks something like this though because it's all hand embroidered it's very stop motion right, I, think... <laughs> I feel like I should get my class first you know you have to be a part of the country club Connor play along uh, yeah yeah I'd love to join the country club good I got my snakeskin boots ready. Four big guys, and they stole my eyes. They eat my ass just like apple pie. If they Shut up, Black. Like I see this, you. I might just die. <laughs> they pop my booty till I cry. He lit my in the and start dripping. Took a bite of to taste like lemon pepper chicken. He throw me up in the air, my booty. What the fuck is this? My booty like he's Scotty Pippen. It should have been me. <laughs> 
That's what we do. Oh, did you keep a lot of loops? I, I, yes, to be honest, I should put them away properly, but I like, I put them somewhere where they can't gather dust because it's fed. Also, here's all of my frames that I avoided frame by frame. <laughs> there was 124 frames in total. We did it in three weeks. Uh, we're doing that again soon. Once all of these are over, it's, it's crunch time and I'm excited. Uh, but that's what we do. That's why we're in the art category at the moment. <laughs> but um, I am very new. Again, I, I'm more of an embroidery artist. Animation very much is the thing that I've been wanting to learn more about. But it's like putting two hobbies together. I like that. Uh, my mum did that. I never learned the craft. I didn't learn till more recently because I didn't think that I was going to like it that much. And then I did it for like a month and I loved it. And then I was like, well, I guess I like it then. <laughs> Sometimes it's like that. I didn't think that I would love embroidery that much. It doesn't seem like something I would enjoy, really. But I do. I think also because like cross stitch, for instance, I love watching cross stitch, but I don't really love doing cross stitch. So I was like, I probably won't like any other kind of embroidery anymore because otherwise I would like cross stitch, right? I don't. But I like watching people do cross stitch. <laughs> I like watching pixel art for the same reason. I don't like drawing pixel art, but I like watching it. <laughs> Ah, uh, dear. Don't make me start gift wars again. I will fight you, Blapple. Uh, you said you said yesterday on your stream, right? That uh, you, you, you take me out back. <laughs> I wanted to make a joke about Australian that we don't have the outback in Wales, but I didn't do it because one, my brain was slow, but two, I was like, I don't know how to word this in a way that it's funny, but I wanted to make a joke. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. A uh, friend of mine does animation. Cartoon Therapy is his name. Hell yeah. I've actually been following more animators because I've been really enjoying seeing other people's methods. It's interesting, right? Just watching it. Love the music. Oh, that was a clip from Iron Mouse's channel, I should say. So like, there was a clip from one of her streams. The competition was to animate a clip of, of Iron Mouse. So I was like, oh, I've been a fan of Iron Mouse for a long time. I'd love to make them something. I did not expect to win. I actually thought I'd been disqualified um, because... Shortly before it, they had like a little thing where they were like, hey, if it falls outside of like, you know, certain rules, like certain like boundaries, I'm not going to show it. And I was like, oh, mine's all about like four big guys. I bet mine falls outside. And so I thought I'd been disqualified. So we made the whole thing. And then I was like, hey, guys, just so you know, it's all about the process. And I don't want you guys to feel bad if mine doesn't get shown uh, because I have a sneaking suspicion. <laughs> <laughs> that it won't be shown on the stream, uh, but then it was not me apparently, so it's fine. But I straight up thought I got disqualified. <laughs> uh, except for modern art, if you ever click on a canvas that represents your inner child, I'm not accepting that. What if I did it? Would you accept it if I did it, Grobbit? What if I did it? What about, okay, this over here? That's my inner child. Can you accept this? <laughs> Can you accept me? <laughs> that here? Uh, oh, actually, wait. There, there we go. That's my inner child. See, it's got the brightness in it with the darkness around it. <laughs> That's my inner child. <laughs> don't, don't you dare. Don't you, that, this, this means something to me. Look, now that, now that you don't agree. Oh my God, I'm going to put some red on it. There you go. Now I'm angry. Now my inner child is mad. <laughs> I'm waiting for a comeback then. <laughs> my bad. Oh, did Undertale. Yeah, I got Undertale by OSC playing in the background. Uh, he uses Adobe Animate. It's like a mental health meets animation kind of thing. And it's funny. I like that. I like that. That's chill. How do I report you? You can't. <laughs> it's impossible. Don't try, please. The amount of times I there was oh, this was a while ago. There was something I was looking about. Was it? Oh yeah, I was looking. Okay, so this was a while ago. Please <laughs> understand. I was a bit newer to Twitch when this happened, but a friend of mine had started streaming recently and i wanted to go support them so i wanted to go sub to their channel while they were offline and stuff and just you know send some offline love kind of vibes so i went to their channel and i i couldn't find the subscribe button and there's the little dot 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 that says report and i was like is it in here somewhere <laughs> like where where's the subscribe button why can't i subscribe to my friend um it turns out they hadn't hit affiliate yet and the reason why i couldn't subscribe to them was because they weren't an affiliate and i very very nearly reported my friend <laughs> because i was like oh yeah easy this is definitely how it goes 
Are you going to clean up? No, you're fine. Take care of yourself. Again, it was lovely to meet you. Thank you for the recommendation. I might already be following them. I will double check though. Uh, otherwise, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. I, it sounds, I, I love the idea of IRL streams. I like watching, a f I watch a few people that do IRL streams just because it's interesting to see areas outside of your own home. Like I watch George wandering around Australia, visiting chocolate factories. Dang, I want to wander around Australia and visit chocolate factories. That sounds amazing. What the heck? How can I do that? <laughs> oh dear. Whips. Yeah, big whips. I'm back. Finished. Oh, Teresa, we finished the goblin we started on earlier. So here is Powers, Goblin, the little astronaut friend. There they are. And then we are just working on Ortiz one now. So we've just started the second goblin of the day. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Have a nice time. Yeah, just a pleasant walk and type kind of thing. Yeah, I like that. I like that. It's just like, I would never normally have the chance to look around Illinois. It's literally the other side of the world for me. So it's interesting, interesting to watch streamers that do show that kind of stuff. I think it's really nice. Again, I just like, I just like seeing. Oh dear. I don't want you here. Show me around Blackwell. <laughs> show me around the back where we're gonna fight. <laughs> when I visit Australia, right? You need to, you need to give me an idea of where we're having our, uh, our duel. They're very important. Report, this is wrong word. I can't sub to my friend. Yeah, why can I sub to them? What's this? Cutie, good morning. And all good morning. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I can get out of lunch for lunch, but oh, you're on a lunch break. I hope we have a delicious, delicious lunch. We are slowly but surely chipping away at some goblins. We're gonna have a little, a little army, a little army of 20, which I guess is not a ridiculously large army. But a little army of 20 goblins. And this one is Ortisaurs, uh, which is a little a little necromancer who is deathly afraid of disease. <laughs> so here they are. They are afraid. They live in fear. Uh, did you see Scott? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did, Grob it. I don't, I don't think you can avoid... I don't think you can avoid it. It was everywhere. <laughs> I you know Capri is, is by where I live. Oh, nice. Thank you for the hick. Blapple, show me the back. Yeah, show me the back. I was like the country to Blapple. Does that mean I'm on the back side? The back side of the back? Also, I don't think I ever said, but Rotten and Perth, thank you for the follows. I'm so sorry. Please excuse my scattered mind, but thank you, thank you. Oh, dear. We got, we got a lot coming up. We got a lot coming up. I'm very excited, though. I'm really, really excited to do another animation. Uh, it's not going to be... It will probably have more of a focus on the media than the animation again, but I have this time been learning how to do smear frames, which means that we have smear frames planned in, which before I was terrified of. I'm still kind of terrified of, to be honest. Is there ever a point in animation where you stop being afraid of smear frames? Because I'm very new, so I feel like that's still something I could grow out of maybe at some point. <laughs> but, uh... You know, I'm still deathly afraid of smear frames. However, I will do them. And I have done them in the plans. So, mm, I look forward to embroidering a smear frame. That's gonna look, that's gonna be a weird embroidery stream. Yeah, guys, let me just, uh, this jaggedy shape. Let's embroider it. It will look good, I promise. Trust me. Oh, dear. Hell yeah. Cute. <laughs> Cute little bean, cute little bean, love him. My lunch was delicious, thank you. Have you been a great day? I am. It's going good. We got lots of goblins on the go, so things are going well. You're from Perth. I'm not from Perth. Can we about ten minutes? Oh, nice. Hell yeah. I love smear frames. Really? You're not afraid of them? For what I understand, animation is all fear and screaming. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know what? In my limited, in my limited knowledge of animation so far as a complete noob, that sounds about right. Honestly, screaming and uh, and yeah, just screaming and maybe an animation of his. Yeah, cool. Well, it sounds like we're doing it right then, because that is pretty, <laughs> that's pretty much the experience. Is that is that right? I should have had them both in screen. Ah, yeah, that looks fine. That looks fine. Ah, oh, there needs to be more these nuts. We've had so many goblin and these nuts jokes. Is this goblin wearing a mask? They are! They got like a little plague doctor mask on. Uh, do you need special software to animate? I've got it in Photoshop. Two seconds. It's gonna be invisible for a minute just because I have to make sure I don't accidentally open the wrong one here. Wait, is it gonna be invisible for a minute? Yes, it is. Two seconds. I, I had it open recently. Which means... Is 
Is this the one? Is is this it? What? I've basically been drawing some basic outlines so that we have a idea of where to start. Uh, it's because I didn't want to start like completely without any information. So I've been I've been sketching some stuff, right? And this is just to get my timings right. So this is where we oh we're not playing. Yeah, this is where we're at with my basic what I want to have happen. And like the basic times that I want to have it. Yeah, there you go. So I have, it, this is all in Photoshop, by the way. Same, same, same thing. <laughs> also, the reason there's a square in the minute is it's because my embroidery hope is circular. <laughs> so I need, I need to know where that square is because I can't do big screens. <laughs> oh dear. Yep. 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 Just beep boop beep boop 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 beep boop beep 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 boop boop boop. But it, it's very very not detailed at the moment because oh there's a smear. Look at that. Look at that smear. <laughs> it's very not detailed at the moment. Oh there's my fella. Uh, we don't need we don't need this open. I will say uh, hello fella. Uh, there we go. Um, it's it's a start. It's a start. Photoshop's too expensive for me. That's the only one I know anything about. But if you always post in the Discord, sometimes you'll get a lot of answers. I'll say. They don't have a problem with smear. It's an important thing, but it's no, none of our favorites, I will say. I think of another Aussie stroke. Oh no, you might need a bigger canvas. That's true. Ah oh, dear. I use Medibang unless you're talking about animation. I think Krita has animation. Oh, fair enough. Gimp. Oh, Vile's been trying to get me into Gimp. Um, <laughs> it's a silly name for a program. <laughs> Vile's been trying to get me into Gimp. Because <laughs> Vile uses it a lot and says it's really good. <laughs> Thank you, Crap, for the follow. It's not an AO. Uh, flip, uh, flip a clip is free and it's okay. I just want to rig this model and I'm still working on the art. You've got so much to do. I completely understand. On phone and tablets. Nice. Nice. Reed has animation and art things. Lord, listen, it's Vile. You know Vile Blathel. You know what Vile's like. <laughs> you have any amount of money at all? I suggest not using Gimp. <laughs> Many bags, plate shows, casting is 58. Are you a Domino's? I'll fight you. <laughs> oh dear. I will, I will fight. Fight everyone. Including Blapple, because I know that I could beat Blapple, because Blapple said on stream the other day that they're only like four foot tall. So I think, I think they have the height advantage on Blapple. I'm pretty sure they said they were four foot tall. <laughs> Are you not four foot tall, Blapple? Oh dear. <laughs> you hear this chat? You said it on your stream, right? On your stream, you were like, oh yeah, I'm four foot tall, so... <laughs> I don't know what you- I am not 30 centimeters. Ah, oh, dear. So I think I had the height advantage, which means I think I win against Blapple. Uh, I want to put some stitches and stuff on this, by the way. If you're not going to have- you're not going to have uh, any intense details, but I'm going to put some little stitches on you because you don't have any- I was going to say you don't have any skin. You do have skin, but you don't have any hair. So let's get some little stitches on you. Oh, dear. I might actually be four foot. I don't know. I don't know. No, I think I think five foot maybe. Also, party. Good morning. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Good morning. Ah, oh, dear. Jelly party. I'm I'm not four foot. I'm five. I'm five six. Yeah, I'm a I'm a very average height. Oh god. I'm the most average heightest heighted person you ever did see. I'm right in the middle of everyone. Well. <laughs> A jelly pop. That's not true. I'm 5'2". Yeah. Jelly's a whole inch tall. I'm not a whole inch. I'm pretty sure Blapple said they were four foot tall. Yeah. So I'm like a whole foot taller and a half than Blapple. Which means I have the height advantage. Uh, yes. I'm 5'10". Uh, oh, man, I wish I was 5'10". <laughs> Lies and slander. Is it? I don't know that it is. I feel like it's truth and consequence. The, the consequences of your actions. Of telling me your height. Oh dear. It's like, uh, it's like, was it the Walking Dead games? You told me your height. Blapple will remember. No, Jelly will remember this. I'm not Blapple. Jesus Christ. How long have I been streaming for? Ah, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough, me. Understandable. You get a pass this time. All right, let's do the stitches across here. Uh, 
and then a little pretty decorative stitch. Oh, fancy. Oh my god, you see that? The fanciest. Oh my god, whoa. Goblin fashion, who? Oh my god. So nice. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Get your little stitches on there. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, the less me, me, me specifically that I'm <laughs> 63. Oh no. Doing good. Just getting some work done. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. We've got a couple more goblins done since you last in. We finished uh, Grey Mouse and we've got power done as well. We're just working at Autisaw right now. Yes. Ah, oh, 170. So I think 57. Yeah, we're about with similar heights, cutie. I think. I think, yo. I think. Uh, I like it in my tall equal stronger. It does. It does for sure. <laughs> I know that's not how it works in reality, but it is in here. My splits, I didn't have it, it's not that strong. I'm so sorry. 210? Can I have a few of those centimeters? Like, <laughs> you got so many, I could use a few more. Uh, lower set of gravity makes you harder to knock over. <sighs> True. That, uh, oh no, Blackwell said it doesn't, so it's fine. I made a tiny pixel art emote for a friend in it. Oh, that's really cute. It's easy to find out. I'm looking forward to trying more with it. Heckin' lovely. It doesn't know. Oh dear. I, I, I'm not, but okay. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Me neither. When I get taller, I don't get stronger. No, when I get stronger, I don't get taller. Oh my god. <laughs> the other way around. <laughs> oh dear. Take your legs. Yeah, I'll just take the legs. Please do. I want some more leg room on the plane. Understandable, honestly. They're not built for you. The world is not built for you. Where are your eyebrows? Ah, I see. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Auntie. Please, Alex, let me get you some eyebrows. I suddenly realized you were looking very plain above the eyes. I don't think you have eyebrows, actually, because I think the mask is covering them. But you have these, like, specific wrinkles, right? Which, while not eyebrows, I think are effectively doing the job of eyebrows, which is here. Sorry. That was concentrated hick right there. Where the hell are your eyes? Why are they like this? Okay, there you go. And... Yes. Good. Hush you. No, you. Takes your leg. <laughs> 210, that's 60. That is tall. That is very tall. Do you get all... I'm assuming if you're that tall, you're going to get a lot of comments, though. People being like, yeah, like, how's the weather up there? Or... Uh, what's the deal with airline food? I don't know what else they talk <laughs> I've never been a tall person, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what they say. But I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure you get a lot of a lot of people saying a lot of kind of different things to you. There we go. I'm such an average height, I don't get anything. Oh dear. No eyebrows, only stress wrinkles. Yes. I I think I remember this. Yeah, you don't have eyebrows, but you do have little wrinklies. Kind of where your eyebrows would be. So like almost like faux eyebrows. Not quite eyebrows, but they do the job of making you look extra surprised. There you go, just get them a little... There you are. And then... Like so. And... Come on. There you go. I think that should look pretty good. Yeah. I think you look suitably horrified. <laughs> look at you. Ah, oh, you're tall because they don't know. Yeah, you're tall. And the smallest of my volleyball grips, I don't know. Okay, so you're not, you have tall friends who you can be tall with. To be fair, I think that's the thing. If you're tall and you have a lot of short friends and you're constantly like this, whereas if, and if you're short and you have a lot of tall friends and you're constantly like this, and I feel like neither of those are good for your back. So as long as you have friends of a similar height. But <laughs> gills, not gills. No, 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 no. Stress lines. It was cute, but I did never realize uh, you hiccup until someone posted it. At some point, we started counting them, and I don't remember why, but we did. And so now we count them whenever I hiccup. And they- oh, sorry, I just drew another me inside there. Uh, but yeah, no. At some point, they just started getting counted, and there they are. And now you can see how many times- I, it, they started in like a December, not of this year, of last year. So they've been going for like a year and a little bit now if you needed any idea of just how many hiccups we've done. Some days are worse than others. If I eat, like, the spicy noodles for lunch, oh my god, they are much worse. I, I will hiccup so much more. But uh, I, I had rice for lunch today, so it's like, it's probably not going to be that bad. Ah, oh, dear. So I did see it. 
<laughs> it's like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. As a tall person, if someone really gets on your nerves and happens to ask about the weather, now you can always spit on them and say it's raining. <laughs> it's no longer lugging your hips anymore. Is it not? Oh, is it not? Oh, okay, my bad. I thought it was. Uh, only using this technique in emergencies. Yeah, as long as you have friends. As long as you have friends. Above the mask? Like when gladiators have nipples on their armor? I'm not putting a nipple on Autisaur's mask. Excuse me. We, we've we already discussed that goblins don't have nipples because as soon as goblins are born, they can eat anything. So they don't need to be breastfed because as soon as your, go as soon as your goblin is born, as soon as a goblin is born, they can eat anything. How does it log that you hiccuped? It's just a counting thing. It's just like, it's a, if you look on like Reddit for like nightbot commands, you just alter it to be what you want it to be. And then voila, <laughs> counting. As soon as they are goblin, yeah. And when they are born goblin, they are born goblin. <laughs> so they don't need breast milk, which means goblins don't have nipples. Um, <laughs> Law that none of what you really needed. Well, it was important though, because we were doing Somne's character and Somne, their chest is open, so we needed to work out, does Somne have a nipple? But no, as a goblin, Somne would not have a nipple because goblins don't have nipples, because they don't breastfeed, because they don't need to. Yes. Uh, so does he hate, but it never comes up now. I think it's because everyone goes for it and it's on a timer, which means that only one person ever gets it. Yeah. Oh dear, because I can still see it. I see it right there. Oh dear. Uh, the fun fact, the belly button is connected to the bladder because that's where people piss from before they're born. <sighs> oh. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh my god. But does it pick up? It depends on the hiccup, Teresa. Sometimes it does. Sometimes people notice that I've done it and moved away from the mic so it doesn't pick up and they'll still count it. So it depends. You have to be, you have to be watching really closely some of the time. Oh dear. There we go. That's the stitches. That's the eyeballs. That's that. I think I've drawn them all in the correct layers, and I think that means the head is done. I love. I, I love. Hell yeah. We'll never know. Yeah, I just do this really quietly, and then some people still realize. I think because when I hiccup, like, this bit goes in, right? Uh, what was it like? Like the. So you can see it, right? <laughs> Like, because it does suck in pretty hard. So even if I, I like, you know, you don't see it in my mouth. If you see it, you're like, <laughs> I think you'd know. <laughs> then some people are keeping an eye out. Uh, sometimes the belly button opens for some people and they are uh, able to piss from it. Nice. Now that right there, that's a skill. Also, Princess Book Room, thank you so much for the follow. It's very kind of you. Do you think we should tackle the hands first? The hands I'm a bit nervous about, to be honest, because they're a little complicated for what I'm used to. So maybe we should tackle the hands first simply because they're gonna be a bit more difficult, right? And if I tackle the bit that I'm nervous about first, then as time goes on, I will be less nervous and more happy. And less nervous and more happy sounds good to me. So let's, first of all, get this one, this one. I'm, I, I don't mind if these are not the correct size. I'm basically just redrawing the hands because uh, it's a bit easier for me to start from scratch rather than trying to mimic the ones behind it if I don't think the ones behind it are quite right, which I don't. I think... Thumb. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if I was to be like, ugh, thumb is here. Okay. Thank you. We know where thumb is. Thumb is in here. It'd be. Oh, that looks a bit weird though, doesn't it? That looks a bit weird though. It wouldn't be inside, would it? It'd be like, maybe outside? If this is wrist, donk, donk. Maybe like this. Yeah, I think more like that, right? But just a bit bigger than that. Like, that's not quite the right size. Uh, let me just stretch you up a little bit and stretch you out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's about what it would look like. I did a very rough sketch. I think they just needed to be a bit more detailed. I can, I can work with this. Now make that subtle and remove the background. 
<laughs> is that a little toothy? It is a little toothy. Just one though. Two frames of my animation. I think I'll take a break for a year now. Honestly, that sounds like a good balance. <laughs> That's a good work-life balance there. Uh, if only there's a way to see hands, but I know, right? If only, if only I could see hands. It's just, it's a shame that at any one point I can't just check what hands look like. That would make things infinitely easier. Ooh. See now, that was weird. How did I do that? Oh my god, the power. Power, that I, okay, sure. It wasn't on the right layer anyway. But okay, I, that was really odd. I have no idea how I managed that. It was such a straight line as well. I mean, it's not a straight line in the correct direction. I could understand if I was holding down shift, but my other hand was nowhere near my keyboard. A ghost, in fact. There we go, and then get this here. Not quite, not quite. And... Too far, too far! In there, please. No! Yes, okay. Okay, I think I think this is fine. Get that a little thinner up there because it was a bit it was a bit too thick at the bottom, I think. Oh, actually, was it? Mm, mm, maybe, <laughs> maybe too thick. And then get the little talony claw up. I think we can be a little closer. Oh, actually, is that, does that make his thumb look really small? Oh god, wrong, wrong button, wrong button. Wait. Oh, actually, I don't know if I kind of like that. Just a teeny tiny, teeny teeny tiny one. Ghost hands. Yeah, it's important. Ghost hands are important. Such a mystery, Robert. Whatever will we do? Yeah, I like, I like your tiny little hands. Very nice. Oh god. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Oh yeah, and you have the smallest arms. I forgot. Yeah, Orti, I did this back when I was like being very careful about some of the the stuff we were doing. And I, one of the the few rules that I've made for making my own goblins is their wrists and their ankles are always tiny, regardless of how bulky they are, regardless of how strong they are. They always have teeny tiny wrists and teeny tiny knobbly ankles, uh, because it gives me a joy to draw them. But in the case of Orti in particular, they also have pretty small arms in general. Like we've not, you know, we've not given them a whole lot of meat. Give them little teeny tiny, little tiny lump there. And then made them quite fragile. Quite a fragile friend. I like that though. I think it suits them. I think they suit being a little fragile friend and I like them. I like them with their little knobbly bits and bobs. Ah oh dear, Gyatso, thank you so much for the follow, it's very kind of you, is that right, Gya... Gyatso? Yeah, thank you, thank you. There they are. Their hand is in slightly a different position than it was, but I... <laughs> I like I like them very much. Let's get their long neck in as well. I also gave them an incredibly long neck. They are like... Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> Uh, we try to follow like what plague doctors kind of look like. Oh, that's too that's too thick of a neck, isn't it? Actually, wait a minute. I think because we've done so skinny on the arms, I think we're gonna have to just go a little skinnier on the neck as well. Sorry, you get a little stick neck. I think does Sonny have our biggest neck yet? Maybe. Ooh. There you go. Yes, important. Little sticky neck. I kind of wish my goblin was buff now to see the ripped arms. We did a uh, Sonne. Sonne is the upside down because the way that I think you were here when we explained it, but for anyone who wasn't, um, the way that we've been doing goblins is regular goblins, like your everyday goblins, you know, they all look like this. They're a little pear people. So they have their little legs like this. And then they have their big old oval heads. Like that, with their big old ears. Oh my god, so big. So big. Oh, that's a good ear. And then, sticky neck, sticky arm, sticky arm. And that's a, that's a, that's a goblin. That's not an egg. <laughs> that right there, that's a goblin. However, in the case of like Sonne and any goblin that's a bit stronger, 
We take the pear shape of the body. Now this is complicated, so make sure that you're watching. And we just turn it around. <laughs> so they're no longer pear shaped. And then we do the same thing with the legs. But instead of coming out of the bottom of the pear, they come out the top of the hair. Their head is the same. The ears are the same. Oh, they still got their big ears. Oh yeah. And the arms are pretty much the same. The only difference is, where's the pear? Is it upside down or right way up? If it's right way up, they're an average goblin. If it's upside down, they're super strong. <laughs> that's why, that's why Somne uh, looks like this, because they're an upside down pair. Work, don't work harder, work smarter. Is goblin strong <laughs> or weak? It's easy. There are only two genders in goblin world, and it's weak goblin and strong goblin. <laughs> They're the, they're the two they're the two genders weak and strong <laughs> what are you and the majority of them you are weak goblins but you know what me too my goblin is also a weak goblin so don't don't worry about it <laughs> there's only actually two strong goblins like goblins with that shape in the whole thing the rest of them i think you can kind of see it right if i zoom out i think you can see it like obviously at this point it's a bit subtle because We've been working on them for a bit, but like Diana's was here. Anime's was there. Uh, there's one there. Look at all these little, there's a big one here. Whee! They're all little pears. <laughs> oh dear. It's nice and easy though. This is the thing. Like you said, work, work. I uh, Smarter, not harder. It doesn't doesn't make things any more difficult. And again, same with Audie. Audie was a pair, but then Audie's wearing a big dress, so you don't notice it as much. But they were a pair before all of this clothing happened. Oh dear. Ah, uh, yeah, we work, we work, we work in pairs. I think though, it's just a shape that I really like. I don't know. It, I think it's fun to draw. <laughs> it's fun to draw. The other thing is, which I did work out pretty early, well there's no nipples, but also no breasts, none of that kind of stuff. Um, male and female goblins regardless, they're all in the same shapes. Like all of, all like these are both our female goblins, these are male goblins, same shapes. Heights, like I, I don't even know why they bother having genders honestly, because there's literally, I have nothing to separate male and female goblins as far as like uh, how we're drawing them. Um, not even like, you know, the, the typical cartoon eyelashes because if I think eyelashes will suit your character you're getting eyelashes <laughs> I just don't think they suit every character also like Jean has eyeliner that's a there's a bloke <laughs> I don't know I have originally I was like we should work out a way to distinguish them but honestly it's kind of more fun just having them overlap a lot so that's what we've done <laughs> oh dear I haven't worked out how that's gonna work with clothing and such yet, but I guess we'll work it out. I just, I think part of the reason is I've drawn a lot of tits in my life, right? I've been, I've, I, my whole job has been boobs for a long hecking time. Kind of nice to have a little break every now and again. Not just boobs, other thing as well. And I mean, if you find these goblins sexy, good for you. Listen, I'm not here to judge. You do you. Um, but I'm not, I, I think it's kind of fun not making them to be like that. I'm kind of enjoying that. I'm kind of enjoying that, to be honest. Slightly, slightly different from what I'm used to, at least. There we go. And I, again, I'm not gonna copy what I did perfectly. The, the, the sketch was like for an idea so that I could kind of remember what I wanted to do, but it wasn't for me to just copy exactly. Unless I do a sketch, I guess, where I'm like, it's perfect and I don't need to change it. But that doesn't happen that often. <laughs> Ah, oh, I love the art style. I'm really enjoying it too. Thank you. I'm very new to digital art, so I'm still kind of developing it, but I'm having a really good time and I really like drawing goblins. It's really fun. Very free. They're just silly little guys and there's something very nice about drawing that. Would recommend genuinely. You're having some art block. Draw yourself as a goblin or someone else that you like as a goblin and there's no pressure and goblins can be whatever you want. If you want your goblins to have nipples, your goblins can have nipples. <laughs> if you want your goblins to be more reptilian, they can be more reptilian. I guess that goes the same with any fantasy character though, right? I think that's why I've been having so much fun with it. Like drawing humans is fine, but there is a very set like 
this is how humans look and this is how human anatomy is. I don't know, kind of enjoying not having that. Kind of enjoying not having to worry about what human anatomy looks like. Actually, can I just copy this hand across and use that as a base? Is it cheating? Kind of. Oh, actually, no, because the thumb, you won't see it on this side, will you? No, the thumb will be hidden on this side because uh, because it's you know, where it is. Yeah, 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 that's fine, that's fine. We can use that as a base. Gasp, boobs was your life. Goops was boobs was my life. Draw me as one of your goblin girls anytime. <laughs> for you anytime. Who am I asking? If you find it too intrusive, don't answer. But I'm interested. What do you do for a job? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> sorry, that was a really a passive aggressive grip. <laughs> um, well, for a long time, I worked as a post surgery bra fitter for like five years, which is someone who does the fits for your stuff if you've had breast cancer, but also if you've had enlargement reduction or transitional surgeries. It's just predominantly breast cancer because I worked with the NHS, which is the national health system in the UK, where we would be fitting bras, binders, things for tubes, bits and bobs, people who had surgery on their chest. Uh, and that's what I did. I fit those for people. <laughs> I did that for five years. Um, unfortunately, uh, I have had a traumatic head injury uh, and I have been left with some brain damage and I have migraines nearly every single day, and I have done for the past eight years, which means that at this point, I am not actually allowed to work. And uh, <laughs> even if I wanted to, uh, because of the way that work goes in the UK, uh, it's very, very difficult for me to get a job since you have to go for a three month probation without taking more than three sicknesses. And for someone who has migraines every single day, it's very difficult for me to go through three months without taking a single sickness. <laughs> or even without taking three sicknesses. So these days I'm unemployed um, I, and I do a lot of charity and advocacy work. Yeah. Uh, so I spoke in parliament a couple months ago uh, to basically protest how people with chronic pain are handled in the UK, how migraine is seen in the UK, how it is not, it is considered a medical disability, but it is not a disability that you can gain benefits from. So I'm on no benefits, even though I am not allowed to work, stuff like that. So that's what I do. Don't worry, it's not intrusive. I am literally an advocate. It's most part, of, while it is not a job that I get paid for at this point, it is my job uh, to talk about stuff like that. I don't talk about it every stream because it's kind of a heavy subject to be honest, uh, but that's, that's what I do. That's what I do. Uh, I got kind of handed a bit of a rubbish deck of cards. <laughs> and so we've been working around it best that we can. Uh, if, if you're wondering why I'm on Twitch so often though, that's why, because it is at this stage where, as I am right now, very hard for me to get out the house. <laughs> I, get, I get trapped inside a lot. So here we are. Oh dear. But I'll be honest, Twitch was definitely one of the best things I ever did for both my mental health, but also genuinely like, just, just generally it makes me, like even outside of mental health, it's given me so many opportunities and things like that, that I would never have had before. So yeah, it's, it's definitely we're at a stage now where there's a lot more silver linings than there used to be. So yes, been on Twitch for nearly four years. Uh, and again, couldn't, couldn't recommend it more. I, I, everyone's situation is different, especially when it comes to something very complicated like disability. But for me, it's given me a window into the rest of the world where I can talk to people and we can meet other people that like goblins <laughs> and talk to people about goblins. And yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> I'm pretty happy, honestly. <laughs> oh dear. I have to be quite careful when talking about it because obviously it is a heavy subject. And also I don't want anyone to think I'm in a bad place. I'm not. I like this house. I'm in a pretty good place. I'm gonna talk about goblins all the time. But yeah, that's why. That's why it says invisible disability under my stream though, because if people are asking, hey, you're doing, especially when it comes to crafting, like why aren't you using a machine to do it? Can't, my vision's not good enough at this stage. And also once again, when you're working with someone who has brain damage, <laughs> you just can't trust me. Honestly, I cannot be trusted. I'll, uh, I'll find, even if you think there's no way she could possibly injure herself doing that. Oh, I'll find a way. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find a way. So uh, yes, you have to be quite careful. I think that's good. I think having the thumbs slightly different is good because it makes the hands look like individuals. Yeah, jelly for partner, black or for partner, you for partner. Too easy to hit the uncanny hand, it is. Well, the, the, the nice thing is humans, it's very set rules. Goblins, no rules. You make the rules. Goblins can be whatever you want them to be. And I like that. Twitch is a great medium to socialize without getting out and life finds a way. Yeah, honestly, it, it's been one of those things, right? Where it's like when I first was stuck in this position, I was not happy, but at this point, I've met so many people that I would have never met before. Like, I won't, I won't go into details, 
However, I'm being, I'm going out, I was invited out by some other Twitch streamers to go fabric shopping. And like, that, for me, that's the happiest. That's the happiest. It doesn't get, in my life, better than that. So I'm going fabric shopping with other streamer friends and I'm really excited and I'm being taken out so I can actually go out and it's just like, yes, <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> so I am super happy. I, I, again, it's a hefty story, which is why I don't talk about it too often because it is heavy. I know it's heavy. I went through it, but uh, I, I, I don't want it to come across as all doom and gloom either, especially for other people that might be in a similar situation where I was a few years ago. Like the whole, it gets better. Like I didn't get better. I'm still the same level as ill I was when I was diagnosed, but I'm happier. <laughs> I am so, so much better with everything that's going on. It just took a time, just took time. There we go. Also, it took being able to draw goblins. <laughs> that was a bit of pretty big part of my healing process. <laughs> Prince of the Great Reader. It is! I understand I'm dealing with headache migraines from time to time for many years, but just to survive walking through it and flopping bed when I get home. Hope they'll be more mindful. It's very hard to get a bra fitter in general. Oh my god, I loved bra fitting. I, like, I'll be honest, I was gutted when I had to leave that job because it was something that I really cared about. Uh, I think, okay, first of all, is when, when I was younger, there was a program that was on that shaped my entire world, and it was Gok One's How to Look Good Naked. Now, does anyone else remember that show? <laughs> or was this just in the UK? <laughs> it was Gokwan's How to Look Good Naked. And it would base, yes, I'm so glad it's not just me. Time, you're damn right. However, I might need just a moment to gush about this and then we can go have a look. It was Gokwan's How to Look Good Naked. And it would basically get women who were going through, there was often like new mothers, people who'd been through big changes, might have been through cancer, stuff like that, where they've had big body changes over the years, or they've just aged. Um, like basically finding ways to feel comfortable about themselves and like find ways to dress that made you, you feel happy and stuff like that. And I remember watching that show growing up and being like, wouldn't it be lovely to be in that position where you could make people feel better? And bra fitting, specifically people who'd been through surgery, is very, 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 very similar. <laughs> like very similar. Uh, because if you've been through cancer, a lot of the time your body does change. It changes in a lot of ways that are completely out of your control. Fat redistribution. A lot of people gain or lose weight during their treatments. And also for surgery, yes, you will look different after surgery, right? So there's a lot of really big changes. For women, breasts is a big part of femininity whether they're big small whatever that's a big part of how a lot of people express their femininity if that's something they want to do it often is and uh if you've had breast cancer it takes that away for a lot of people even if you have a reconstruction it can be really difficult to come to terms with your body again and a big part of my job was fitting people through the very much surgical bits of it like you know one day post-surgery six weeks and then a few months but at the end of it you would get to go to like one of the boutiques and you would fit people when they'd been they'd been all cleared for cancer they've gone they're done they've done their treatment they've been out for a year and they would get fit into these really beautiful bras and it was such a privilege to be able to go with women from the very start when they've just had their surgery all the way to the end and i'm gonna get emotional <laughs> i guess this this really gets to me it's why i did this job it's because it was lovely it was absolutely wonderful being able to go with women from the very beginning to the very end is why we do all the breast cancer awareness stuff because it it's important to me i've met thousands of women with breast cancer and is it more mental or physical comfort mental at that stage you can wear whatever you want when your scars are healed and your doctor's giving you the all clear, you can wear wired bras, you can wear no bras, it's completely up to you, right? But a lot of women post-cancer will only ever go for the neutral bras, only. They will only go for the most full coverage neutral bras, even if their chest technically looks exactly the same as it did before cancer. Like they had the reconstruction at the same size, they had very minimal scarage. Even if it's super similar, they will still only go for those neutral bras because it's something about going through cancer that makes people feel like they can't be feminine anymore. And 
it's it's really sad it's 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 really sad so part of our job obviously we had the more surgical side of things getting people where they needed to be but then at the end would be getting people a, a bit of a boost to kick them out the door like this is your last appointment with us let's get you in some really really pretty things and it's different for everyone for some people yes you want something structured and so you'll have like a pretty wired like but still like beautiful colors and stuff bra for other people especially for younger women something a bit strappy is a really good option covers a lot of scar tissue if that's a concern for you um for other people we had like brands which would come in and we'd work with brands like Blue Bella, who have like a real emphasis on covering the nipple and nothing else. For women that might have lost their nipple during breast cancer, they were an excellent option because they would always cover the space where the nipple would have been. And but otherwise it's just beautiful and floral and lacy. And even if, for instance, it's like a bralette or something just pretty, and sometimes just pretty pajamas, but it's something feminine. And it was always really important where we could to get them in something that wasn't just beige or wasn't just black or wasn't just white. Because otherwise, if you left them like that, they might pick those up for the rest of their lives. <laughs> and in the grand scheme of things, you might not see that as a really big problem, but there is something really nice about being able to get someone someone who's been through a really rough time in a really really pretty floral bra was something really really beautiful that they didn't think they'd ever go for and yeah sending them off in that and fe them feeling just as supportive as if they were in anything else and it's nice it, it, it was a really lovely part of the job it's the bit that i missed the most <laughs> <laughs> was was that final appointment where you'd get them in something really nice and then have them feeling happy. And you'd have people that'd come in, to be fair, who'd had breast cancer like 30 years ago and would still be seeking that service because they'd like talk to someone and be like, hey, I've been told that I'm allowed wired bras and I checked with my doctor and they said it was fine. I've been wearing non-wired for 30 years. Do you mind checking me out? And it's like, yeah, let's have a look. And it, it was really nice. It was just really nice. I will say as well, because we were people that did a lot of surgery fits, um, a lot of the people that were even just coming in and trying things were people that might have been through some sort of surgery. So the, the support network of women who had been through breast cancer and non-binary people and men, and men, <laughs> but they wouldn't normally come in for bra fittings, but we did meet men with breast cancer, um, was so strong and so tight. And it was really lovely to see them hyping each other up. And so, yeah, it was good. It was good. It was a really good job. It was a hard job at points, but it was a really good job. And that's that's why I'm so passionate about breast cancer. It's why I'm so passionate about fundraising for BCRF, why we do Boobtober every year, uh, because my whole life when I was working was boobs. <laughs> uh, male boobs, women boobs, non-binary boobs, any boobs, young boobs, old boobs, making sure that they were safe, making sure they had a good time through surgery as best as you could, and getting them in something nice at the end. Yeah, it's nice. This makes me emotional just hearing it, like a little in a good way. Like, I, I care a lot about breast cancer. <laughs> I've met thousands of people with breast cancer. Not seen as well as a kid. There's more mental or physical. It was more more mental. Like a lot of at the end was more mental. At the beginning it would be more physical and as at the end it would be more mental. Very emotional, it was. Everyone's journey was very different as well. Like you didn't have two the same. Ah, uh, do you bag? Welcome, welcome back, Zomboti! Enrique, good morning, how you doing? We've just been, I've been, been gushing about breast cancer again, I'm so sorry. Cons are bra fitting, so it's like, yep, sorry, Jelly's off on one again. She's gone off on one again. Oh, it's break time! Ah, <laughs> uh, that makes sense. Good morning, it's 4pm here. That's good morning, good morning, Riku, good morning. <laughs> While I am live, it is always morning. You just got off work? Oh, I hope work went well today. Hell yeah, alright. Let's have a look. Do we have? We do. All right. So, oh my God, how dare you? All right, two seconds. <laughs> we have some art. I'm sorry for caring about people. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, I mean, I, I, I know it's a lot for a lot of people where they're like, breast cancer is also, you have to bear in mind, it, because it's so common, it can be a really hard topic to hear about. You know, when we talk about one in seven, one in eight women get breast cancer, most of us know eight women. Not all of us, but most of us know eight women. Statistically, one of which will get breast cancer in their life. If you're a bloke as well, don't you not? You too. You can also get breast cancer. If you're non-binary, I'm afraid you can also get breast cancer. Uh, but yeah, that's why that's why I understand when people need to leave when we talk about breast cancer because it can be really close to your heart. You know, as someone who has seen many families go through a family member having breast cancer, it's difficult. It's cancer. It's hard. Completely understand. But we do our best to talk about it casually because it is such a common condition. The more casually we can talk about it the better uh, the more likely people will to get their checks if they need it uh, when you're uh, above a certain age to get your mammograms if you're a woman if you're someone of a high uh, likelihood of getting cancer just to get checks and stuff like that and also to know what's normal for you so if anything changes you can be your biggest advocate and take yourself to the doctors 
you've got to talk about it casually because if you talk about it scarily no one will listen people are just gonna leave it's twitch <laughs> oh dear it's been break time for a while no you haven't love to hear you talk about things you care about i'm glad I haven't done anything new to show. Well, we have some stuff to show. First of all, from Fenigma, who is showing us predominantly... Uh, oh, wait, that was the wrong... Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Did that not work? Can you not see that? Oh, maybe I've done it on the wrong layer. Two seconds. Let me double check. Is it this one? There we go. Uh, who has done Kingdom of Addiction, the lyrics you see on the image. Okay, so these are some plans when there will eventually be... Yeah, yeah, alongside the lyrics. Hell yeah. I'll get bored of hearing about these serious topics like it's some sort of trend oh yeah i'm sure i'm sure i'm sure there are some people who will say it once for a reason and then never say it again for me it's it's very close to my heart again having met and worked with thousands of people going through it it's hard for you not to care after that but i also understand when it's like i don't know the best guys my mom had oh that's very scary as well. Yeah, like this is the thing. Uh, because uh, people living with it don't have the luxury of getting bored of it, uh, at least most of us can do is listen. I mean, yeah, and this is the thing as well. I am not someone who's ever had breast cancer and I hope that I never am. Uh, the reason I talk about it is because I was someone who worked with people with breast cancer and I, I met so many of them. <laughs> and you hear all their different stories, different backgrounds, you hear people having it multiple times. And it's like, damn, I wish more people knew. I could, and again, for me, it's all about the the awareness of if if you're aware of breast cancer, like for instance, for men, if you're aware that men get breast cancer too, you're more likely to take yourself to the doctor if you find anything unusual, right? Uh, so many men don't realize they can get breast cancer. So many, again, also trans men, men who have had uh, mastectomies don't realize they can still get breast cancer. And it's important to know so that if you ever do notice something unusual, that you can take yourself to the doctor because no one's going to force you to the doctor. And if you get to a point with cancer where you're unable to do anything without going to the doctor, it's probably too late. So it's important to go. Yes. Ah, dear. I don't have big cancer. Productive system. I got you. Got you. You have to post naked. Oh, god damn it. Also, for Nygma. This looks like a really good plan. I'm very excited. Uh, I look forward to seeing how it goes. I like the arrows. I like. I like that we have an idea where this is going to go, and I look forward to seeing it. Hell yeah. You've got so much art to do for Nygma. Because <laughs> you've got these plans, and and these plans, and these plans. You got this though, I believe. I believe. Also, some goblin hand. <gasps> Who was this? This is Shondler, isn't it? Oh my god. Look at this. Okay. Okay. If anyone here was like, I'm interested in drawing goblins, but I'm worried about the hands. Well, fear not, for Sean has given you a step-by-step -step on how to draw goblin hands so that you too can have the goblin of your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Sean, goblin hand reference sheet for Jelly. And anyone else, and anyone else who is just interested in drawing goblins. This is so good. In movement surgery, you gotta eat more than a few spoons every hour or so. Yeah, it's true. A lot of them, unfortunately, were the more intense surgeries. I mean, I'm glad she's still with you, of course. But yeah, it's difficult. It's very tough. You got still work in cancer care with a lot of people that don't realize. Uh, for sure. Twitch is a wonderful platform to spread it on, though. My god. Ah, oh, dear. Sean is your goblin rival. They're not my goblin rival. They're my goblin friend. Look how much they're helping me. <laughs> also, yeah, wait, Sean, didn't you have a headache? Aren't you resting? I hope you are resting. Domingo, what a, what a legend. What a legend. Oh, yeah, and we're taking notes, but we're also like, god dang. God dang. That's amazing. Thank you so much. And in rigging, oh, meta human creatures unleashed. Okay. Might not apply, but it's amazing. Okay. I probably, just for copyright purposes, I'm not going to watch another video, but this is, in, this is in the rigging. If anyone is interested in stuff like that, you can see that in the rigging section right now. Oh! <gasps> God, every okay, everyone, please, yes. We can't have such a large range of skills. This is hecking adorable. Even made sense. Oh, what's your good news? Hell yeah. My good news is, God, everyone, everyone is so, so gosh darn talented. My God, I, really good, really good. Just applause all around. Wow, wow. What in the heck? <laughs> what in the heck? Smiles nervously. That's amazing. I like that. I like that a lot. I really like the way that you've done the blink, honestly. I think it works really well, making it really obvious, but it, in, within, it's just very good. We love that. 
Oh, we do an art share? Every hour, uh, we have a little break because otherwise I don't take breaks. <laughs> so every hour we have a little timer set up and when the timer hits zero, we go through the Discord and anyone who shared art over the other hour, we have a little look at what people are doing. Uh, that way it gets me away from just being like this, especially because like I'll forget to blink <laughs> when I'm drawing. So it gets me away from doing that. And also it means that we get to have a little look at what everybody else is doing. And normally, because we're not normally digital artists, we're normally embroidery artists it doesn't seem like embroidery is that physically intensive but it is when you're doing this for up to 12 hours a day you can imagine you're going to get a repetitive strain injury so every hour when we're doing embroidery we also take a break to do stretches and like to do some weight exercises and weight training so that we are properly working out our shoulder and our back so that we're not getting any repetitive strain injuries we don't, we're not doing that right now because we're drawing with a mouse and keyboard, it's a little different, but when we're doing embroidery, when we get to the animation side of things and we're doing all the embroideries, we'll 100% be doing that because it's good safety. Ah oh dear. You also forget to blink. I know. I, I'm glad it's not just me because I've met a few people now who are like, we all forget to blink when we're doing art. Oh, I'm getting a PC next week? <gasps> Hell yeah, about heckin' time, Riku. You're gonna be able to play so many games. Oh, I see, yeah. I don't far better than a headache on a cup of tea. I'm glad. I will say, heads up people, I just noticed the time. Six hours is our limit. We're not allowed to go longer than six hours. And we've been going for six hours 20, which does mean I have to end stream for the day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, six hours is how long I'm allowed to go for. Uh, we will be back on Thursday doing the same thing though. Uh, I'll probably finish Autisaurs offline um, and then we'll get like a couple more done on Thursday and then we should be finishing on Friday if I had to guess. So yes, I'm sorry, I, I do. <gasps> One last thing. <laughs> One last thing. <laughs> One last thing. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> I, listen, I love both of them, don't get me wrong. This one, also great. However, I could not not look at this. <laughs> Show the one on the left. The one on the left is also great. This one's fine, but what the hell is this? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> good things only good things i love them very much uh so yes we will we will we will be ending stream there not because i want to necessarily end but because i want to come back on thursday and do another stream and then i want to come back on friday six hours a day the, the problem is time flies when you're doing this i get why digital artists go for so long because oh my god you are just whoosh ah oh dear all right let's have a little look at who is Oh God, we have so many options. It's because we go a little longer now. Um, wait, do you guys want to go see a mushy? Do you want to go see mushrooms and frogs? How do you guys feel about mushrooms and frogs? Are we feeling mushroom and froggy? Because anyone to raid by the way? Yes, mushrooms and frogs. Shrooms. <laughs> We're gonna raid Kells. I, I sometimes miss Kells these days, so it's nice to be able to raid them every now and again. Um, I'm gonna shout them out just in case any of you get stuck behind, because unfortunately, with people still get stuck behind in raids. <laughs> it just never fixed. Sometimes people just get stuck. Uh, so we do like shrooms, shrooms and frogs. Frames be like, I think it's really cool. Not supposed to show the frames. Like I think, I think I like it though, Mega, with the frames being shown. Maybe a, not, not a popular opinion, but I kind of think it adds to the chaos that you just see the whole thing. So I actually kind of like it. I don't know. I feel like that you could lean into that. <laughs> I, th I think that's my favorite bit. <laughs> I think it looks really funny. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. All right. We're going to bring to Kels. If you've never met Kels before, Kels is a fiber artist. They do a mixture of knitting, crochet kind of stuff. They do a lot of really cute things. They have their own patterns that they sell if you are interested in getting into it. And they're also just a very chaotic bean. So if you've got some chaos with you, they're a little chaotic bean as well. And um, they're always a good time to go hang out with. So I'm sure we'll enjoy ourselves there. I am not streaming tomorrow because tomorrow is Wednesday and Wednesdays I don't stream. <laughs> Unless, unless I do, but most of the time I don't. Um, so I'll be back now on Thursday where we'll be getting two more goblins and then Friday when we'll be finishing.
Yeah, that sounds pretty good. No, I'm really looking forward to it, Fenigma. Yes, we did have a little look at the ones before. And I think I, I was saying that you had a lot of plans and a lot to do, but you got this. Take care, everyone. Have a lovely rest of your day. See you soon. And if you're watching on the YouTube, thank you so, so much for all of the support over there and helping me get my numbers.